I am a young man with no money, no car, no house, no girl. But since I was a child, I was a stupid martial artist and always believed that the truth had the power to create miracles, so I worked hard to practice all kinds of martial arts, in the end. Don't you teach martial arts to young people? Before the young man could finish his sentence, the male lead's mouth was beaten to pieces. The entire group of martial arts masters at the academy were beaten up in just one moment. One guy couldn't stand it anymore so he clasped his hands and prayed, We admit defeat, we will immediately disappear, please raise your hand and hit lightly. Brothers, please give us a little respect today. The male lead spoke very dignifiedly, Didn't you just say that your great boxing is unbeatable in the world, you really don't fight anymore? The guys on this side looked at him with sparkling eyes, he was a blue man, a legendary demon who destroyed an entire martial arts arena in one person, it was him, it seemed his strength wasn't just that, you see he's not even sweating yet, we have to follow him, boss. Originally, I just wanted to challenge a few people to see my own strength, but I didn't expect to receive a group of younger brothers. The crowd gathered around him, today I will let you know who has the say in this city, rush forward, let them taste the power of our blue people gang, old man, great power, from then on, I took my younger disciples with me and started practicing chivalry in Eleven City, where I lived. Occasionally, I will also run a small business, and the splendid scenery that appears is truly something that only exists in movies. The blue man spoke up, the bosses and the gang have been quelled by us, from now on, we will protect this place from the blue man. These amounts of money are all from the people of the state who are respectful to me. He revealed, I will take it to invest in everyone's business, have money to make money together. Everyone present here was in tears of joy. In the past, people from the Axe Gang used to bully us. Now that the blue man is here, we can finally do business properly. Lam Nyan, from now on, my CA Teve shop will share five years with you. The crowd cheered, he was powerful. Very quickly, I went from being a poor young man to a big factory with money, women and status. Everything is developing, of course there are also many stupid people who dream of killing me. A bunch of them are planning to cover up the blue people's basket. But he has never lost a battle. With just a few basic punches, they were finally on their way safely. But ironically, one day, his subordinates carried his coffin in happiness, the boss was powerful and powerful, the proverb says that if you often walk in water, your shoes will get wet, but unexpectedly, I will eventually die in the hands of my people. Suddenly, a strange type of space appeared. Lam Yan wondered, oh, where is this? He dreamily looked at the strange phenomenon around him. The blue man fights in the ghostly room. He felt more and more confused, I remembered, it wasn't me. The image of that plane exploding appeared in my mind, Lam Nyan wondered, am I dead? He panted and lamented to himself, not expecting his blue man to die like that, but he could not have imagined that he would end up dying in the hands of his own people. It really makes people unhappy. The other female partner said, blue man, I hope we have a happy cooperation this time, oh yeah, you should be a little careful lately, someone has started following you. Lam Nyan said, thank you for the reminder from the beautiful Du Fan, but those idiots are not afraid yet. Moreover, no one else knows about this secret conversation except me and my friend, you just need to prepare a celebration party. Du Fan was surprised, just who, the woman clearly knew that gun wouldn't hurt her but she still took it upon herself to shield him with love, ha ha, you can trust her, but I can't. Lam Nyan replied, well, there is indeed something wrong, if logically speaking Chi Nu has arrived, why hasn't it appeared yet, Chi Nu, why are you sending me a message now? He opened the message, honey, I have a gift to give you, prepare to receive it. From behind, through the glass window, a plane was flying in without the blue man knowing. He felt cold and turned back. Lam Nyan sneered, ha, I really didn't expect that, because he wanted to kill me, he even used a plane, he really was pampered too much, Du Fan exclaimed in horror, damn, I was right, don't run away quickly, do you want to die? The blue man replied quietly, the plane was in front of me, there was no time, besides, my style has always been the same. The image of the dragon god appeared blazingly bright. Lam Nyan is determined, fighting head on. Look at me, he wasn't afraid at all, he jumped straight forward. Martial arts jang long consciousness, thud, the impact exploded. The blue man braced himself to block the nose of that plane. He smiled arrogantly, always confident that he would win. Lam Nyan laughed happily, indeed, even after practice, hitting an airplane with your hands is impossible. 
but that woman didn't have the audacity to dare plot to harm me like that. Maybe someone else took advantage of her. If I had the chance, I would definitely find that person and chop it into a hundred pieces. He was in a daze when a notification appeared, Lam Yan, Lam Yan, the boss of the gang died on May 2, 2020, and now the system has chosen the privilege of being the master to save the end of the world and be reborn, if you don't return to the end of the world. Completing the mission will give you the opportunity to be reborn in the original world. If you refuse, you will be exploded on the spot. Please accept the invitation or not. The blue man still doesn't understand this monkey situation. Traveling back to the end of the world and completing the mission. Wait a minute, isn't this the trick of rebirth and time travel in novels? Moreover, if you refuse, you will be blown up on the spot, so you still have a choice. He thought about it, but if he was given a chance to take revenge, why wouldn't he need it? Lam Yan immediately spoke up, I accepted, he clicked on the word yes. A mysterious light flashed before his eyes. The female body appeared, people call it the system goddess, welcome to the system space, I am the system goddess, now you have become the host of this system. The blue man admired the dipping sauce, oh, this goddess's body is not bad. The system goddess said, next you will be transported to the end of the world, before that, let me introduce you a little about the situation of the end of the world. In 2030, a strange drink is popular globally. But what people don't know, the system goddess exudes mystery. The ingredients of this drink bring about very serious consequences. After the man drank that can of water, he turned into a zombie. The main food of zombies is blood, which begins to attack humans. The person caught or bitten by this zombie will become infected and become a zombie. Very quickly, the social order lost control, the world turned into an apocalypse. The system goddess explained, so, your mission now is to travel back to the end of the world, rescue the people there, let them rebuild their homeland, but when you are in the end of the world, you will not have the opportunity chance to live again. So we must rely on our own strength to try to continue to survive. Lam Yang was surprised, what is that, the end of the world is so dangerous, I am a person who doesn't even have a chicken tied up, you tell me that walking empty handed like that isn't it looking for death, he thought to himself, hmm, this system can bring the dead back to life, let's see if there is any benefit that can be earned. The system goddess thought about this guy and felt like her butt was burning, a person who didn't even tie a chicken tightly, and even destroyed a plane, the devil would believe him, but if he was the chosen one, he must give he just needs more reinforcements. She revealed that the previous 98 chosen saviors had all died in battle, so you are the 99th person we will definitely provide to help you. The blue man was surprised, 98. System goddess gloated, yes, scary, that's why you beg me, beg me to help you. Lam Yan replied, what is that, your entire army has been destroyed, this system of you people is really stupid. The system goddess is powerless against him, you're just a coward, in order to increase the chances of the savior's survival, the system will provide you with a few more skills to choose from, but only you can only choose one type, after choosing it, you can't change it anymore, so before choosing, think carefully, Lam Nyan exclaimed, what is that, is there only one type, that's right, stingy. The system goddess pointed to the control panel, the skills are probably all here, when you open it, you can look up the skill introduction. Lam Yan feels that most of the lost knowledge of this martial arts world has already been mastered, if I choose these things, I will waste this opportunity. Suddenly, the blue man saw something. Dujin Chi, specialized skill, level 0, can be upgraded, currently has no effect, only basic ability to see through. Lam Yan is excited, it's decided, it's you. The magic activated and absorbed into his body in a flash. The blue man's eyes immediately changed color. He opportunistically looked back at the system goddess. As the young man wished to see, the goddess's pink panties were exposed before his eyes, huh, so they were pink and lace. The goddess got angry and threw him a slap, pervert, don't use doujinshi on my body, the blue man complains, what kind of pervert, this is the normal route for consumers, using try the product. The goddess felt more and more confused, why did she choose this name to be the savior, she left, because it was a big matter and she had to hold back. She told the blue man again, that dong magic is so powerful and yet you only see through it. Let me tell you, this dong magic also includes a system of functions called puppetry. In the end of the world, gold and money have completely lost their original value, but in your hands, they can play a huge role. Because using the leveling system to make himself stronger, can even open the bronze gate for him to return to the original world, but his current bronze magic is already golden, the ability to see through. 
The blue man realized, oh, the bronze gate, so this cripple can let me return to the original world. Ha ha ha, those idiots who killed me, I'm sorry, unintentionally letting me be reborn is declaring your death. The system goddess further explained that in addition to skills, the system also gave him a large gift, inside were canned goods, fruit and a dagger enough to last a person for 20 days. You can use your thoughts to get it out, you have to take advantage of them, good luck, that's right, here's a warning, killing zombies will be a surprise, Bebe. The goddess said and then disappeared. Lam Nyan saw that he was also turning into an image, his body immediately disappeared as well. In the blink of an eye, he was in a room, the blue man was curious, where was this? There's a noise behind him, huh? A naked woman appeared vaguely behind the curtain, the blue man was losing blood, he already had benefits so quickly. No no no, am I such an exuberant person, this place is just the end of the world, there are zombies everywhere, don't be negligent. Let me use magic to see what's behind it. His eyes immediately activated, oh my god, what catches my eye is a whole song like this. Then there was no more doubt. Blue man, after stopping the bleeding, quickly calculated, this is human, no, this is the first time coming to the end of the world, so be careful. Maybe the zombies in this place are all like that. Something rushed from behind the curtain, the blue man felt guilty. He was able to dodge that fatal knife, howling. That person lifted up her dress and threw the knife spinning in the air. It was a woman, not a zombie, she discovered the blue man's intrusion. He thought to himself, his skills are not bad, he is skill. The little girl rushed forward, knife in hand. She performed a few slashes that were as sharp as her hot body, but after that, she was unable to touch the blue man. The blue man grabbed his hand and choked it, the knife fell and he swiped away. The little girl was lying on the ground. Only now did he have time to closely observe the beauty's face. Deep Chula blushed, after that, she shouted, where does that guy come from, let's see if I can gouge your eyes out or not. The blue man quickly retracted his hand, I didn't mean it, it was just her towel, that style seemed a bit sexy. His words were indeed correct, the towel was completely torn and full of holes, and the little tear lay there dumbfounded. She rose up again with that overbearing, lustful guy, I will kill you. Suddenly, both hands were grabbed tightly by him, little La could not move. He let go. Tula raised her foot and gave a blow, eating one of my legs. The blue man quickly grabbed that foot and hugged him tightly. Little beauty, do you want to kill me or do you want to hug me? Blue man teased her. Tula doesn't understand, how is this possible, since the end of the world broke out until now, I have relied on my own skills to survive from that group of zombies, but just now I couldn't block this guy's three moves, he is very strong. Chula spoke up, I can't fight you, meeting you means I'm unlucky, instead of being humiliated by you, I'll just use blood to lure zombies over here, can you, I can defeat myself alone, but how can I defeat many zombies? Deep Chula shouted threateningly, they will constantly be attracted by blood, and will eventually eat you until you're exhausted. The blue man seemed to agree, oh, that's a good idea, but your hands and feet are already tied by me, how can I use blood to lure you over here, little Le is helpless and can't say anything. Can't move your arms or legs, can't move your mouth, wait until I bite your big artery to see if you can still smile. Lam Nyan feels like something is wrong, could it be? Before she could figure it out, Deep Chula opened her adorable mouth. And so my stomach growled and gurgled. Chuli's face darkened, she fell to the ground, hateful, she was exhausted. She raised her head and explained, hmm, if I hadn't been hungry for the past few days, I wouldn't have lost to you. The blue man heard her say that and thought to himself, the blue man has always been a woman who listens to himself. Chula grumbled, in the end of the world, no one can be trusted, especially a vulgar blue person like you. He suddenly remembered that the system goddess had provided him with a food basket, that's right. Lam Nyan took out a canned food. Put it in front of Tula, are you hungry, let's eat, deep Tula froze for five seconds, the blue man in her eyes suddenly became the legendary canned goods tycoon. Chula wondered, canned food is a rare thing in the end of the world, I don't believe you have such good intentions, say, what are you planning, lamb people listen to it, I will deal with you if you need to use canned food, star. He opened the lid to tease her, humph, high class food only needs to be prepared in the simplest way, high class pork belly can be boiled, boiled in sugar water, fried in the simplest way, then it can be cooked, into the tastiest canned meat. Deep Chula is so chubby. 
Lan Yan's thoughts became more and more interesting. Hey, it's really delicious, it's disgusting, I feel even more hungry. Leave, it's better to die from poison than to starve to death. Tula won't force me to ask anymore. If Tula has poisonous leaves, I'll eat it too. Ma'am, it's so delicious. Little tears are as ecstatic as being on a cloud. Moreover nothing is happening now. It seems like he has no thoughts of wanting to harm me. Tula turned around and focused on handling the box. After a while, the girl looked at the blue man again. Sparkling eyes, pleading mouth, you still don't have that canned food. Lam Yan replied, your name is Deep Tula, right? Yes, but you have to answer my question. Tula warns, no question, don't think that by giving me canned food you can take advantage of me. After a short exchange, the two of them also understood a few things about each other. Through the conversation just now with Tula, I learned that the location of the city I live in is called Chuan Chao, located in the south of Hoa Kwok. After three years of the poison Asambi outbreak, the vast majority of survivors gathered in the safe area in the central region, but many survivors gathered because of the only exit from the northern city, with a large number of corpses and being forced to stay here. Little La gave me a map of Chuan Chao. The next action will be much more convenient. The blue man stood up and signaled, Okay, the transaction is complete, we don't owe anyone anymore, let's go now. Before leaving, Lan Yan also advised, That's right, I forgot to tell you, your body is not bad. He jumped away, Little Le even scolded him, he's so greedy. She looked after him, muttering, Hum, this blue man suddenly appeared in her bathroom, and brought with him a large amount of rare food. Taking out the knife to defend herself, Tula felt uneasy, no matter what she thought, it seemed very suspicious, No, I had to go see what was going on, maybe I could get a few more harvests. Little La secretly followed the blue man. Lam Yan immediately realized, oh, that restaurant guy was following him. Ha, leave it alone, she's not a bad person, just let it go. He remembered that the system goddess said that killing a zombie would bring a surprise. I don't know what the surprise is, just kill the zombie first, the blue man wandered into the dark area. There was a noise, he looked around cautiously. Well, that noise was intentionally created by the blue man himself to attract the attention of the zombies. There was a snout in the building next door, it kept an eye on him immediately. A young man with a drugged face and a rotten mouth. The blue man waited forever, strangely, why didn't he see any corpses eating him, could it be that he wasn't delicious? Suddenly, the zombie jumped out of the glass window, intending to attack him. Lam Yan is excited, it's finally here. The zombie cut it once, and the blue man dodged it lightly. The attack scene is like something out of a zombie movie. The blue man mocked the ghost, was this zombie lured by the sound of opening a can? Looks like these guys are very sensitive to sound. The zombie slowly ran forward. It jumped up, eyes filled with determination. The blue man has compliments for it, oh, its speed is also fast, if it gets swiped by a claw it will turn into a zombie. Then wouldn't it be okay if I cut off your claws first? The blue man summoned a dagger. He rushed forward. With a bang, my hands are now falling off. The blue man laughed happily. Ha, you little trash come and get me. Something crunched in the zombie's arm. The blue man was mixed with its flesh, causing psychological trauma. He frantically ran away. Reborn oh my god, hey hey hey, don't you say martial virtue. The zombie jumped forward a second time. Lam Yan waved her hands again. The zombie opened his hand again and counted his fingers. Blue people repeat the state. Even though zombies don't like it very much, they still have to open their hands and count their fingers. And it goes on and on, like a tape rewinding a thousand times. The zombie's hands were also piled up, and the two looked at each other exhaustedly. The zombie continues to revive its hands. Lam Yan thought silently, if it is possible to regenerate, it is not the way to keep cutting like that. He immediately put the dagger away. Using a knife is not as good as using his fist, activating earth-shattering branches. Unconsciously, Lam Yan punched him. The zombie sensed something was wrong. He quickly cupped his hands to support his face. Bang, this power seems to be beyond its expectations. Top unconsciously knocked the zombie's hand off, hitting it straight in the face with a thud. The jar's head exploded. That's it, knife and hammer, it's easy to do with your bare hands. Lam Yan recalls, according to my previous experience playing zombies, zombies must be directly detonated to be killed, right? This is, the blue man stopped. 
The situation in front of him is the game's privilege, gold. Lam Yan's eyes lit up, oh oh oh. Could this be a surprise because the system goddess said something? But the piece of gold in his hand suddenly disappeared. The blue man returned to the system space, the goddess spoke, congratulating the host on successfully destroying the first zombie. Killing the zombie can win 100 Vigentillion VND. The blue man understood, oh, it seems I guessed right, the zombie's weak point is the head, and every time he kills a zombie he gets 100,000, so making money is simpler than before. The goddess announced that since she had won a box of gold, the leveling up of her magic skills could be activated. However, to upgrade the martial spirit bronze level, 1,000,000 gold coins were needed, and his money was still not enough. The blue man's face darkened, 1,000,000, that's too stingy. The goddess left it open, the host's current golden eye ability is seeing through, the ability of the next Lamal martial spirit is temporarily secret, if you want to know, try to fight for money. In addition, the host also activates the bronze gate function, the bronze gate appears. She introduced to Lam Yan that the function of the bronze gate can let the host return to the original world. Lam Yan exclaimed happily, great, that's what I've been waiting for, quickly tell me how much gold I can use. The system goddess smiled and replied, it's not expensive, each teleportation only costs 100 million, each teleportation can stop for 24 hours in the original world. A feeling of death enveloped him. The system goddess encourages you, don't be discouraged, come on, make money, young man, and also give you a small reminder. Fictional spaces can send and reflect objects, but not living things. She explained that the normal person's perspective and the host's perspective are different, the gold that the zombie explodes can only be seen by the host. When the gold is exploded, you don't need to lift your hands to get it. Gold will automatically fill up the system and convert into your wealth. After the host enters fictional space, time in the outside world will stand still, so the host does not need to worry about being discovered or injured after entering space. The system goddess said goodbye again, the host must take advantage of these reminders, if you have any questions, please call me at any time, how about it, please continue to try your best. Lam Yan frowned in thought, trying hard, it sounds simple, just thinking that there is still more than 9,900 missing to be able to open the bronze gate gives me a headache. He stretches his shoulders, makes money, makes money, goes out and fights zombies. In the distance, little Lu was still quietly watching. Even though I only used my fist to deal with zombies, it was still a fatal blow, the power was so scary. Her look suddenly became exaggerated, he was not familiar with this place, it seemed like someone from far away, but such a powerful person, how could he come to a place that wanted people without people, wanted resources, I don't have any resources, but I have so much precious food on me. Deep Chula couldn't understand what he was like. She decided to jump down. Chula thought about it over and over, it was so mysterious, I had to figure it out. Who are you anyway? The sky was dawning over the dead city. Blue Man has now destroyed a whole bunch of zombies. The value of the property was 500,000, he lamented that after walking for so long, he only met a few zombies, if he wanted to reach 100 million, it would be too slow, the zombies would have gathered somewhere. There was something emitting a sweet scent, the Blue Man noticed it. This is, a towel soaked in perfume, the blue man frowned, this fragrance makes people dizzy. Save my life, I'm hiding in a building near the amusement park, there are a lot of zombies nearby, please save me, thank you very much, the blue man is surprised, very good, it seems like there are corpses to give gold already for me. By the way, let's ask where the most zombies are, he he. To the location on that cloth. The blue man quietly observed for a while. He immediately discovered movement. A woman peered out from the hole, crying bitterly, save my life, ah, big brother, quickly save me. Big brother, quickly save me, her eyes lit up. Suddenly, the sound of a zombie squawking came from inside, and the woman's face turned pale. Two zombies shaped like a clown and a monkey loomed in front. That clown grinned so disgustingly. A beauty like this should be scared to death. Zombies rushed forward. At that moment, the blue man threw the stone towards him. Blood splattered on that little girl's face. The clown was hit with a broken arm. Blue Man uses the second stone. When he spoke up, they all turned into zombies and only knew how to bully girls. Maybe my past life wasn't a good one either. The clown glared at him. And its juniors, immediately followed suit. They rushed forward simultaneously. Lam Yan enjoyed that scene the most. 
Poof, the stone pierced the mouse's head. Lam Nyan stomped the ground and jumped. Boom, he flew over the clown's heads. The clown felt like there was something different about this guy. Bok, dagger cut off its rotten head, plus 100,000 money. The remaining animals rushed forward. Blue man throws knives, the female ghost dodged. But he let the younger brother who was behind him have to cut off his head instead. Lam Nyan took a shot, pop, right foot. The witch fell down. The blue man grabbed its head tightly. Hand holding the knife. Daggers are really handy. He grinned and punched. Golden bouncing chimpanzee on the system. Gold exploded like firecrackers. The blue man has finished, it's been done, he he, so handsome. The little girl staggered out of the alcove, there was only one person who had dealt with the zombies, this blue man. She has breasts that must be said to be breathtakingly beautiful. Brother, you're so cool, your hobby is really out of sauce. So Chu pursed his lips and puffed his chest out for about 10 seconds, 20 seconds later, the young man did not see any movement. I wonder why there's no reaction. Looking back and forth, the blue man was sticking his hand into the zombie's pants. What if the chicken is strangled? Chu Chu suddenly shivered, his hands, what are he doing? What kind of perverted hobby is that? The blue man is fumbling right now, all the zombies are bursting with gold, why don't you have it? Could it be that you've hidden it? You can't touch it. He jerked that damn corpse back and forth, hateful, dropped it for me, it was my hard-earned money. I have a feeling that this guy is not like a normal person. The scene that appeared was truly horrifying, it was too cruel. Only then will the gold coins fall out. True gold coins of sweat and tears. Lam Nyan was then relieved, he was finally out, this feeling was really good. Chu Chu quickly hid, she felt guilty, could she run now? Lam Nyan looked back and asked, what did her younger sister say just now? After a minute, Chu Chu was startled, but when he thought about it, he couldn't run away, it wasn't easy to meet a man. No matter if he's straight or curvy, just seduce him once. I showed off those giant breasts again, I said, thank you brother for saving me, if it weren't for you, I'm afraid I would have died here. The blue man let out a loud noise. So-so introduced himself, my name was So-so, I was out looking for food, but I didn't expect to alarm the zombies nearby, my leg was injured while running, so I was locked here. Chu So whimpered, my brother is very skilled in martial arts, can he take Chu Chu home, when that time comes, he will definitely be extremely grateful to his brother. Lam Nyan suddenly felt like an electric current ran down his spine, extremely grateful. He took the opportunity right away, grateful that only a few people here had gold, right? Chu So shook his head, his brother was joking, who wouldn't need that at the end of the world? Can't eat it, can't use it, you're different, I'm sure if you use it once, you'll be addicted. The blue man quickly waved his hand and turned away, next time, there's work to do now. So-so started to lose his temper, hey, stop there, don't drink the celebration wine, instead go drink the punishment wine. Today he must take me home, his voice has changed strangely. Lam Nyan sneered, what if I say no? I was dumbfounded in a corner, damn it, could it be that my sloppiness didn't make him vibrate? Then I just have to use my own way to keep him. Having said that, she clapped her hands to signal. Lam Nyan now felt guilty. Ladies, it's everyone's turn to go out onto the field, footsteps are heard from all directions. Where are all the beauties, what's the plot? The four of them surrounded the blue man. The red man complimented her, oh my god, where did you find such a handsome guy? She swooped in on the blue man and said, that's truly the best. The two sisters also came forward and nodded in agreement. Falling into a dangerous situation, the blue man was dumbfounded. You guys, it's true, hi hi. The red face patted his butt, hey, Marshall, you really know how to talk. And so the sisters competed to pat his butt, Chu Chu stood outside and cheered, dear sister, this is my life-saving benefactor, don't allow everyone to bully him. Lam Nyan quickly explained, no, don't stop, I like girls bullying me. I thought quietly, this guy just seemed like a gay guy, why is he so interested in girls now? Suddenly she remembered the saying of a famous person, in this world, there is no man that a girl cannot seduce, if there is, there must be more girls to do it, so I understand, see that statement is not wrong. These sisters really like you, do you agree to go home with them? The red one put the blue one's face into her chest and said, just follow me, we are all yours. 
So So added, that's right, brother, we have a lot of delicious dishes to treat you to, let's go home with So So. The blue man seemed to fall into a silk cave, a feeling of ecstasy overwhelmed him. Maybe he made his own decision. No problem, no problem, listen to everyone, there are so many beautiful girls, I will do whatever you tell me to do. The sisters are so petulant, they hate it so much, I thought to myself, I was fooled so easily, it's really boring. The sisters all looked sinister, this person was extremely dangerous, we had to take advantage of him when he wasn't paying attention and kill him, the sisters had never been defeated before, so today we had to give this person a taste, our benefit. The sisters signaled to each other and took action at the same time, but at this part the tape broke. The department and her sisters were confused, oh, what's going on? Why can't I see the weapon anymore? Lam Yan was now sitting in the distance, calling after him, no need to search anymore. The things are in my place, he smiled friendly, with the tools of those bad girls. So so surprised, how could this be possible, could it be that you were pretending just now? Lam Yan replied, your students have already seen through it. Back to ten minutes ago, before everything happened. As soon as I got here, I realized something was wrong. Even though she was surrounded by zombies, this woman was not afraid at all. So I directly opened the magic trick to check. Unexpectedly, this woman who asked for help carried an anesthetic needle on her body. Anesthesia needles have no effect on zombies, so her target must be me. But it's too dangerous for a girl in the end of the world to go out and lure bait, so I guess there must be accomplices around. And so, the Dujinchi scanned the surrounding area. I saw a few girls ambushing me nearby. Their bodies were fully equipped, with no signs of girlish weakness. It seems that this is a trap aimed at me, although I don't know what to do to capture a man. But on this path, up until now, only I have allowed others to deceive me, if they want to deceive me, they must accept my punishment. So I use the tricks I practiced when doing business in the original world, by the way, catching sheep, he he. Take all their weapons away, let me see, they have no weapons. What else can you do, blue man is provocative, if you have any other tricks, just use them. Otherwise, there won't be another chance in the future. The red man was so angry that he was crazy, damn it, his plan had been seen through, his weapon was gone, he had no choice but to take the risk. But even if you have seen it, until now, no man has escaped the hands of the old lady, her sisters are screaming. All, the sisters came up, they rushed forward at the same time. Lam Yan was excited, so what, then I won't be polite anymore. The first sister to make a move, just be obedient. Follow us, rush, swing your fists. The blue man grabbed his hand and grabbed his leg. She lost her bearings and fell down. Lam, by the way, has an anesthetic injection stuck in his ass. The girl's eyes widened because it was too fast and too dangerous. The next person rushed forward again. This little lady kicked her feet. The blue man used the whip to wrap tightly around his leg. The girl had nowhere to run and could not move. At this moment, he scolds and curses, hateful, you. The blue man smiled and immediately turned around. The remaining Chu Chu and Hong Yan, the two sisters, went up together. Each person has a move, it's all legs and thighs, falling on the blue man's head. Lam Yan gently nudged him but he was able to dodge it. He quickly used the handcuffs to lock their arms together. The cold voice warned, don't move, the tip of the knife is at your waist. The red man snorted, you think. Before she could speak, she knocked the red man unconscious. Someone was watching him with binoculars. Oh, isn't it true that guys can't resist a girl's charm? Chula thought to herself, I didn't expect him to not fall into the trap, he appeared in my bathroom before, was it really a misunderstanding? After being tied up in a corner, the sisters began to regain consciousness. The blue man stood there watching and felt sad, well, it was a pity for such a beautiful body, but it was very strange, why after the end of the world did he meet all the living people who were women? The red man shouted angrily, hatefully, do you know who I am, we are members of the Dark Federation, you dare to do that to us, just wait and be avenged. The blue man scolded her, the black gang, I think it's more like the black heart gang. Obediently answer my questions, otherwise I will throw you to the zombies. He bent down and said in an open voice, looking at you guys dressed like that, don't you know that Chu So and others all use this method to capture men? 
Plus you guys said that not a single man could escape from your hands. What happened to the men of this world? Not only did they last half a day, they were nowhere to be found. They also became your prey. I'm surprised. Don't you know that men have become rare animals? The blue man didn't understand what she meant. A rare animal. The department recounted, after the virus broke out. Phenomena have appeared. Under equal conditions, the vast majority of symptoms appear in men. According to the survey, the rate of being infected with the virus is much higher than that of girls, so please protect yourself well. Within a short time, in the group of people infected with the virus nationwide, two-thirds are boys, so all boys are becoming fewer and fewer. Because the rate of boys being infected with the virus is very high, in the end boys were almost wiped out. Boss, we discovered a boy hiding here. Therefore, the tribe exists as if its power is dominated by girls, while boys are a lacking resource. Dai was satisfied, very good, brought it back, we will slowly use it. Captured boys will be enslaved in the tribe. After that, all boys will be turned into tools for reproduction and entertainment, gradually being exploited very seriously. Big sister threatened, hurry up and do the job for me, otherwise I will go to sleep with her. Ha hoo, no, I'm not going anywhere, I really can't stand it, I want to work. The whips were continuously inflicted if he did not obey. The blue man was speechless, it seemed that the situation here was more chaotic than he thought, under the threat of zombies, the strong oppressing the weak, even girls became so ferocious and cruel, just it's already very difficult to rely on being able to fight, to continue to survive alone let alone rescuing the end of the world. He suddenly had an idea, that's right, we can rebuild a society in this world forever, if there are more women than men in the end of the world, building a legion of beautiful women wouldn't be bad. A car rushed forward. Lam Yan is alert, the movement is so loud. The sound of zombies running from outside, so many zombies, were probably attracted by the sound of fighting just now. The zombies jumped up and down. Lam Yan really likes this, not bad, while he was still sad because he had no money, a zombie immediately came to give him money. He pulled out his dagger and made a few quick strokes, the heads fluttered. On this side, the red man cried out, attracting the blue man's attention. The zombies had gathered around that group of women. The red man was trembling uncontrollably, hesitating, quickly save me, quickly untie me. I don't want to die, the zombie grabbed her. I have no other choice now, you yourself are infected, don't involve me. Quickly let go of my hand and slapped me hard. And so she ran away, leaving her teammates behind to the zombie worms. Choo Choo is still angry at Lam Yan, please wait. The blue man smirked, ha, always welcome. He focused on his work again. The more zombies he meets with blue people, the less he sees. I'm so happy, this time the harvest is not bad. The gold in the warehouse keeps bouncing. The blue man's ecstasy was even greater than the feeling of pressing his face against the red man's chest. It's true that happiness is about to flow out. Tula looked at his triumphant face. I don't understand why, why wasn't he attracted to beautiful women just now, but when he killed the zombies, he showed such a moved expression. Could it be that he likes it, Xiaola suddenly felt. The image of the blue man about to eat a zombie made her nauseous. Down here, another group of zombies came. They rushed towards the blue man. Looks like I'll stop here for today. These zombies are all gold. It's truly a bit of a pity. He put the knife away and thought about it, but the gold he had earned was almost enough. If he kept fighting, he would attract more zombies. At that point, he couldn't resist anymore. It would be too troublesome. It was time to disperse. One came at him and he pulled his hand back. He summoned something. Let's take care of that annoying zombie. And what he took out was. Tula paused for three seconds, this is it. Is the legendary canned food. Little Tear saw all the stars in broad daylight. Three seconds later, saliva flooded the cabin. Lam Yan's pleasure, haven't we had enough of watching movies, I have to turn it off, these delicious canned foods are about to run out. Tula quickly signaled to him that he would come right away, just wait there. The motorbike was already parked on the ground, lightly pressing the accelerator, sprint across the street. It's true, seeing a piece of food is like seeing an open horizon. The little tear soared, the bright sunset behind her. Tula transforms into a cool, apocalyptic female monster. The zombies had no time to react. Little tears fell down while they were crowded together like ants in the grass. She skillfully took a turn and signaled the blue man to get in the car, quickly. 
Hold on to the canned goods, I will absolutely not forgive you if you are missing one box. Lam Yan giggled, rode, okay, drove away. The motorbike exploded again. Little roared at the gas, causing his head to burn. Whoosh, the zombies were swept aside by the glide. They tried to hold on, but the hateful blue man kicked them and went away. Don't bother me and the beautiful lady going sightseeing. Tula corrected, excited, who is watching the scenery with me. Hug me tightly, speed up, the blue man obeyed, grabbed the two balls tightly. A strange feeling ran through his body, holding him tightly. He tiptoed his fingers, why are they so soft? Pop, pop. Lam Yan lamented, woman, this time I won't deal with you. Tula was furious, if it weren't for food, I wouldn't waste my gas on a man. The two of them headed straight home. That night, at little Lee's house. She sat with him in the living room. Lam Yan wondered, is this also your base? Tula replied, yes, after the virus broke out at the end of the world, the rich people's area had already become a deserted pile of people, when the villa was converted into a stronghold by me. Lam Yang was curious, but since the resources of the apocalypse were lacking, where could she find a motorbike with gas left? Tula replied, this is the birthday gift my dad gave me. I originally wanted to rely on it to go to the base in central China to find my parents, but the north gate in Yuanzhou had a bunch of zombies, I tried several times but couldn't get out. I just have to take good care of it, and keep collecting gas, but who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to leave here, and I don't know if my parents will still be alive or not. Lam Man heard little Lee's story, he became completely quiet. Then he took out the apple and comforted her, eat it, then eat it and then have the strength to go find them. Coincidentally, one bite grabbed his hand. Tula exclaimed in surprise, so sweet. It's been a long time since I've eaten an apple, the last time I ate it was two years ago, in a very large cold storage, and it was spoiled, Lam Nyan thought to himself, what a glutton. He flashed in his mind, that's right, take this opportunity to ask her. Little beauty, why are you always following me? You like me already, little beauty almost spit it out. She said in a clear voice to the young man, who likes you, I'm just sorry for the food. Besides, if you died, wouldn't there be no way to get the food from you? Chu Mai lowered her voice, but now I remember, who are you and where do you get so much food? The blue man crossed his arms and replied, even though we said we were together twice, I still don't know who you are, so how can I tell you my secret? Chu Mai was surprised, you already knew my name. Before the end of the world, I was a member of the National Swordsmanship Team, and received many awards, I had a knack for cold weapons, combined with the training of the past few years, my skills were not bad. Chumai asserted that, of course, compared to a freak like him, he was just normal. The blue man understood, oh, so it's the swordsmanship team, no wonder his skills are so good, but, but why is he so weak in surviving in the end times? That's right, right at the moment I want to build my own society, although boys are rare, wouldn't it be more interesting to form a group of girls who can fight and are beautiful like that, male stars? He decided that he would form a girl group at the end of the world. If that's the case then I can, the blue man thinks about the results of enjoyment and he gets extremely excited. Popping, snapping, why is it all over my head? It turns out it was the little tears brought to him, what vile things are you thinking about, you still haven't told me who you are. Lam Yan felt guilty, he couldn't say that he had traveled here and there, he had to make up an identity first. My name is Lam Yan, I'm a martial arts instructor, even my food. The blue man said loudly and clearly, it's in my crotch, if you don't believe me, come over here and pick it up yourself. Chula got mad and gave him a flying jaw, dare to tease me, do you want to be beaten? Lam Yan sat back in his chair, asked, back to the main topic, deep Chula, are you interested in making a deal with me? Chula didn't understand what he meant, what kind of transaction? Lam Yan revealed that I want to hunt and kill zombies in this area, and she is very familiar with this area, so... I want you to be my guide, little tears thought to herself, hunting and killing zombies, I'm afraid I have to have a mental illness to go there. Lam Yan immediately mentioned the most important thing, if I agree, then I will cover all the food and drinks during this time, every meal includes canned meat and apples, and so, Tula did not hesitate at all, hesitantly raised his hand in agreement. Looks like he's not a bad person, although I don't know why he took the risk of killing zombies. Little T's heart is full of hope, but if being bitten by a zombie is better than starving to death, just help him this once. Tula excitedly signaled, then, let's decide. 
The blue man smiled gently at the girl for the first time. Okay, you too, that's it. The first of her group of girls at the end of the world, has appeared. Chula wondered, but before that, when he was seduced by the woman of the Dark Federation, I thought he was almost trapped, otherwise he is a gentleman who is not seduced by beauty, Lam Yan replied, of course, fate has arranged it, I will be a dominating person in one direction, how can I be blinded by that little benefit? I tell you, nothing in this world makes me. Before he finished speaking, the door suddenly creaked open. The blue man was startled and looked back. That sight made his nose bleed. Tumai appeared at this time, her naked body was extremely exposed, Tumai spoke up, is her sister back? Seeing the appearance of the blue man, the confused little beauty quickly pulled her shirt back. The sounds of loud banging rang out in the house again. The blue man couldn't understand why he was beaten. Chula warned again, I'll take you to change clothes, if you dare to peek, I'll beat you. Bang, the door closed furiously. Lam Yan was dissatisfied, really, suddenly a girl appeared in the house, still dressed like that, I didn't do it on purpose, I don't know why it was so harsh. He accidentally saw something. In the cupboard, there is gold. Lam Yan was surprised, the real owner of this house is also rich, it seems that the end of the world suddenly came and left in a hurry so he didn't have time to take any assets with him, what a pity, if only I could it would be nice to take it away. The golden ring was absorbed by the system, making the blue man even more surprised. The goddess explained, the host's wealth increased by 10,000 yuan, no matter what it was, as long as it was made of gold, if the host contacted or touched it, it could be converted into property value, of the system. Lam Yan is very happy, hi hi, if that's the case, then I can find some more gold, won't I have a chance to return to the original world soon. Cute little guy, he rummaged around the room trying to find as much gold as possible, where are you guys? Deep Chula lazily walked out of the inner room. What are you doing? The blue man was startled. He frantically changed the subject, no, it's nothing, I think it's a bit dirty here so I'll help you clean up a bit. Chula wondered why she was still cleaning at this time. Lam Yan hummed to warm his voice, of course, because... I am a good man, I am a blue person, making everyone feel comfortable is my responsibility. Chula expressed her rejection of that useless concern. Chu Mai introduced herself, hello, I am Deep Chu Mai, Chu Li's twin sister. I'm really sorry just now, I didn't know there were guests in the house so I left it like that. The blue man scratched his head in confusion, aha, it's nothing, it's all a misunderstanding. Chula interrupted, why should I apologize to him, it was obvious that he was taking advantage of me, Tumai quickly advised her sister, did you forget what you told me just now, about him sharing food with you, yes, he helped me, then he is our great benefactor. Tula is in the process of fierce struggle. No matter how stubborn the girl is, she still has to be a little humble, humph, let's see if this time is even, Tumai gently said, it's really embarrassing. The blue man now understood that these two sisters were very similar, but their personalities were exactly the difference between a devil and an angel. Chumai asked again, your name is Lam Yan, right? May I ask how you and my sister know each other? Lam Yan immediately recounted, this is what happened that day. A guy's secret story was about to be spilled out when two teary hands clamped his mouth shut. Chula explained on his behalf, well, that day it was time to meet him. Well, he was plotted by the Dark Federation, then I saved him. Finally got to know each other, yes, it's as simple as that. Chula thought, she absolutely couldn't let her sister know that he was peeking at her while bathing. Chumai realized there was something mysterious here, oh, but it seems like he just said it was in the bathroom. The blue man was held up by little Lee's neck, of course he had to cooperate, no, no, she heard wrong. Chumai nodded and replied, Okay, but if I find out that you have any evil plans with my sister, I will definitely not forgive you. Lam Yan heard this sentence and his face turned pale. On the outside, Deep Chumai looked gentler than Deep Chula, but when it came to matters related to his sister, Chumai suddenly coughed loudly. Chula worriedly asked, but then Lam Yan noticed, there's a bandage on her body and her face is white, let me see where this little beauty feels uncomfortable. He activated his dong magic, the blue man was surprised, why was he infected so seriously? It's also true that in an apocalypse with severe pollution and indiscriminate destruction of viruses, even small injuries can occur on a large area, and if not treated promptly, it can even cause death. The blue man spoke up, little beauty, what happened to your wound? Chula suddenly became extremely angry. Isn't it because of the damn dark federation? 
A few dozen days ago, my sister and I went to some cold storage to find food and drinks. Memories told by two sisters, Tula Tuma found a place to stay together. That day, our luck wasn't bad, we found a few things, but when we were happy. Unexpectedly, he encountered people from the Dark Federation, they were fully equipped, many had great power, and always relied on robbery to get food. This is a very rare food that my sister and I had to fight to find, how could we give up like that? After that, we and the Dark Federation fought. Tula threw the knife and stabbed it straight into Chu Chu's leg. Since I was a child, I have practiced martial arts with swords and have a knack for close combat. And her older sister is an expert marksman, she shoots arrows in the dark, seemingly hitting every shot. We coordinated very well and quickly defeated them. That woman begged me to spare her life, I originally wanted to spare them. He bitterly pulled out the knife that was stuck in his thigh. Tumai discovered that the enemy was secretly attacking, she turned around to block her sister's attack. As a result, that bitch played a bad trick, took the opportunity to sneak attack me without paying attention, and my sister blocked the knife for me. She seriously injured my sister, I originally wanted revenge. But the sound of our fighting caught the zombies' attention. When the zombies came, my sister and I had to leave there. Even though we managed to escape. But her wound became infected. Tula took Tumai to hide temporarily in a medicine room. But originally, just a little bit of nylon can solve the infection. But because he couldn't find medicine, the wound couldn't heal, and his body became weaker and weaker. She is now in so much pain every day that she can't sleep, she probably won't be able to stand it anymore. When Tula said this, she burst into tears, Lam Nyan, you have many ways to get so much food in the end of the world, so can you have some medicine to help my sister treat her? The blue man is thinking eagerly, this little beauty herself is not bad, she said that little beauty is an expert at shooting, it must not be fake, plus her beauty is very high, hi hi, she is indeed a member of the group, the woman that the blue man chose, this little beauty, must be saved. As for medicine, just go back to the original world, there's no medicine, but right now there's not enough gold, so I have to let Tula and Tumai help me find it. The blue man spoke coldly, can save. But, you guys have to help me collect the gold. The two sisters listened and were surprised, Tula wondered, gold, gold is not a valuable thing, why do you collect gold? Lam Nyan replied, I need to collect gold to help you two find the medicine, as for the reason, you two don't need to worry, if you believe me, then come with me to find gold. As long as you two agree, I will not only think of a way to help you find the medicine, but also I will help you provide the best food in this world. Tu Li's mind was clouded again, the food was the best in the end, so he didn't care anymore, after all, following him wouldn't do any harm. Tu Mai thought in a different way, this person wanted to share even the food, and he had already taken action if he wanted to deal with us, it seemed that he was not a bad person, and in the end of the world, it's normal for him to have a secret, if he can help me survive, why should I ask so much? Thinking clearly, the two cousins made a deal and officially allied with the blue man. Chumai said, I know there is a casino in the West City, it is the number one casino in Chuan Chao, they all use gold directly to make gambling cards, so there must be a lot of gold reserves there. Tula gently reminded, did you forget that there is a huge nest of zombies there? Tumai nodded. The blue man has one more piece of information, a zombie nest, at the right time, one side is fighting zombies, the other is picking up gold, I believe I will definitely quickly earn money to return to the original world. Lam Nyan replied, no need to worry, just go there, I will find my own way. Having said that, he reached into his shirt again. Eat some food first, after you're full, rest here for the night and leave early tomorrow morning for the casino. Xiaola saw the food. Of course he's as good as a puppy, okay, thank you. A while later, Tumai returned to bed. The room was always so quiet. Only Lam Nyan can't sleep. He had a lot of mixed thoughts in his heart, and he didn't know what the company and his brothers were doing now. I have to quickly return to the original world, investigate everything clearly, find the person behind it and take advantage of it to kill me. Little Liz still pays attention to him. Looking at his face, she thought, before when she went out to look for medicine and met someone from the Dark Federation, during the fight, there was still a little blood on his body, afraid that it would attract the attention of the newly found zombie, right in a place to clean up. I really didn't expect to meet him that way. Even though this is a guy who eagerly barged into my bathroom, I don't know why, but being next to him makes me feel very secure. There was the sound of footsteps echoing from the meadow. 
Chula and Lan Yan were immediately alert. Something changed. What was it? The blue man activates dong magic. He shined his eyes through the head high grass. Shadows of people appeared from far away. And clearly, the Dark Federation army is advancing with full force in the dark of night. The older sister signaled her younger brother to stop. No, it's a zombie trying to get over the fence. It suddenly discovered the presence of the others. Bang, the bullet went through its brain. The big sister struck decisively without a trace. But launching the team, she ordered her juniors. Go ahead and raid Tula and Tu Mai's house. Some of them hurriedly entered the battlefield. The blue man realized, oh so, she brought people from the Dark Federation to take revenge. Tula was worried and called her sister. Tu Mai also smelled the enemy, she nodded and replied, I heard you, so quickly grab your weapon. Let's quickly call the blue man to leave here. The blue man was busy thinking, there were a lot of prostitutes in the Dark Federation, and there were guns, so he could escape alone. But there is also Tula, in addition to Tu Mai, who is seriously injured and cannot take any risks. He had an idea, that's right, I used to make a lot of money fighting zombies, so I should take the money and see if I can get anything good. The blue man immediately entered the system's space. He met the beautiful system goddess again. The blue man spoke up, I remember it takes one million to level up Dujutsu, maybe that's enough now. The goddess system announced that the current host has 3,100,000 and can upgrade their dong magic. Lam Yan was happy, very good, immediately promoted. Level up bronze magic, to martial spirit bronze. The blue man's eyes absorb a large amount of energy. It immediately changed from yellow to blue. Successfully promoted. The goddess said, congratulating the host, the martial spirit bronze has successfully upgraded, the news about the martial spirit bronze's function has been transmitted to the host's memory. The blue man felt a source of burning energy in his body, this, is the power of the martial soul, amazing, the dark federation, you wait, the goddess feels, it is not the power of martial arts, where's the soul, oh my god, are you drunk? She explained that the system's output must be top-notch, and the Dujin she upgrade consumes 1 million, and the host's current assets are only 2,100,000 remaining. The next dong technique is the red DM dong, leveling up requires 2 million, I would like to ask if you want to continue leveling up or not. Lam Yan frowned and was annoyed, it's so expensive, this system is getting more and more strict, if you level up, you'll run out of money and return to the original world, first don't level up anymore, later earn money and move on. He replied decisively, no thanks, I have my own arrangements. The goddess replied, then yes, after upgrading the dong magic, the new function of the dong magic turntable will be activated. The turntable of dojutsu begins. The system goddess summoned it right before the blue man's eyes. The dojutsu turntable is a lucky draw, it costs 200,000 to do once, you can use any technique, props, or equipment to draw. Prizes include 7-star acupressure hand, zombie antidote, and divine sword. The blue man exclaimed, oh, the prize isn't bad either. He immediately clicked agree, the account was deducted 200,000, so let me try my luck. The engine wheels roll. The turntable spins loudly. Lam Yan held his breath and pulled the trigger. Turntable stops. The reward was a roll of toilet paper, which made the blue man dumbfounded. What the hell, 200,000 for me a roll of toilet paper, are you playing with me? Once again, the bitter young man refused to lose. The turntable spins loudly. Minus 200,000, and. Disgusting, even if I force you to, you don't need tissues and nutritional drinks. He's crazy, I can't believe my luck is so bad again. The turntable brought back a gift. Oh, bikini, this style is quite good, but what effect does this have? He suddenly had an idea, hi hi, yes, I can. The boss's face appeared clearly again. Little Li is knocking loudly on the door. Blue man, blue man, quickly open the door, the people of the Dark Federation are here. Tula feels worried, there's no way, please stay away for a bit. She carries out her work, get the momentum to run. Just when someone opened the door. Tula was startled but couldn't stop in time. And the blue man's face appeared bewildered again. Tula closed her eyes and nose and fell towards him. Thud. A moment later. When I opened my eyes, I saw the person sitting on the horse, I was so embarrassed. 
Lam Yan also used a sarcastic voice, crying, I want to stand up, but you still refuse to stand up. The golden bird is rising strongly, little tear can clearly feel it. Just because you're so beautiful, the little girl exclaimed, what, this hot-tempered name? Chu Mai walked in and signaled, you two stop joking around, people from the Black Federation are coming. She carefully warned everyone, they were very large, with an army like that, I guess their boss Lam Mok Lin had also arrived, she had an assault rifle and a silent pistol installed on her, it's not easy to deal with. Chula replied angrily, your injury was caused by them, today even if I risk my life, I will take this opportunity to avenge you. The blue man then spoke up, don't be agitated, this revenge will definitely be repaid, but I have a way to keep us from suffering any loss and still get revenge. The two sisters asked him in surprise, what way? The blue man smiled and replied, of course. Beauty's plan, he said, showing off the trophy and drawing the prize. Little Beauty quickly imagined the scene of you wearing a bikini, next Beauty. Chula immediately punched the young man in the face a few times, damn this Beauty, my sister and I will absolutely not wear those dirty clothes. Lan Yan had to try very hard to breathe out the sentence, who said what you guys are wearing, listen to me slowly first. Black Federation men surrounded the front door. The subordinate stepped forward and said, Boss, we are here. So Chu said in a voice full of anger, the person who killed the red lady was inside, and the pair of sisters who had previously confronted us were also in there. Lam Mok Lin was extremely proud, leading the group in, very good, today, even if they grew wings, it would be difficult to fly. They groped their way through the main door. Chu Chu signaled, they didn't lock the door. She opened the door. The dark confederate gingerly walked inside step by step. Lan Mok Lin ordered the troops to stop. There's a noise, they're right in front. Lan Mok Lin smirked, very good, ready. The gun was loaded, the knife was in hand. Up, Lan Mok Lin and Chu Chu jumped in. The two sisters glared in surprise, what, this is? A slender body and claws appeared. A female zombie with a curvy figure is practicing pole dancing under the extremely romantic moonlight. I can't believe it, what's going on, zombies, still dancing, where are they? The other female zombie discovered their arrival. Whenever I see a zombie, my soul and spirit fly away, trembling violently. Suddenly a crashing sound rang out. A charmingly dressed zombie appeared in a cool manner. She has a fierce face, leading a group of zombies. So Chu trembled in fear and asked, Why, why are there so many zombies? Could it be that the vulgar male zombie was here watching it dance? Outside, a group of zombies are torturing a miserable man. They aggressively clawed at a normal human being. They began to slowly move closer towards them. The boss of the Dark Federation saw that the situation was not good, she quickly said, Damn, I've been tricked, let's run quickly. Then, the boss of the Dark Federation raised his gun. Aim forward and fire a few shots. At this moment, that man weakly walked in and said, Boss, it's not okay. There are zombies outside the door, we are surrounded. As soon as he finished speaking, he was bitten by the ghost without any injuries. Witnessing the scene of his teammates being eaten alive in front of him, Chu Chu did not dare to move. A large mouth with sharp teeth. Directly biting that man, causing blood stains on Chu Chu's face. Chu Chu secretly said in fear, No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die, someone reached out and grabbed her leg. So so trembled and raised her hands to hold her head, she kept muttering, I don't want to die. On this side, the boss of the Dark Federation is dealing with each zombie. The sound of gunfire kept echoing in the facility's ears. The bullets rushed towards the zombies. Those zombies were covered in bullet wounds, but they were unharmed. Lan Mok Lin silently exclaimed in panic, hateful, the last bullet. Suddenly, the police forcefully hit her in the face and shouted, Damn it, give me the gun. Damn it, I sold my life to you for so long, I didn't get any profit, I'm not willing to die like that. Lan Mok Lin was confused and replied, What, are you crazy, if it weren't for you sisters, I wouldn't have come to this point, you useless thing, go die. You release your hand and let me, the female zombie sat on one side and watched the actions of the two of them. She secretly chuckled, her unpleasant personality was fully exposed at this moment, it was truly disgusting, you guys should go to hell together. The time has come, it's not easy to get gasoline from the little guy's place. So Chu fiercely took the gun from the boss of the Dark Federation and let go. 
At the same time, the female zombie jumped down in front of the two of them. Choo Choo was scared and quickly shouted, Don't come here. The female zombie just smiled disdainfully. When Chu saw that she was about to approach, she immediately shot continuously towards the zombie. Lan Mok Lin was scared and quickly stopped him. No way, he opened fire, damn it. Bullets shot through zombies. Suddenly, Chu So looked panicked and shouted loudly, it was gasoline. Damn it, Chu Chu's whole body was shaking. A fire began to flare up fiercely. On the other side, somewhere in the chaos, Hao Lam Yan looked proud and said goodbye. After that, Hao Lam Yan carried Deep Tu Mai on his back and left with Deep Tu La. At this time, the system sent a notification, congratulating the host on winning 6 million gold coins. Seeing these lines, Hao Lan happily secretly exclaimed, so controlling zombies and killing zombies can explode gold. Deep Tu La asked curiously, hey, that hot-tempered guy, don't think I don't know what you're thinking. Stop quickly, otherwise don't blame me for being rude. Deep Chu Mai quickly reconciled, Tula, don't talk nonsense, now it's helpless, and this sneak attack by the Black Federation is also arrogant and saved us. Hao Lam Yan quickly continued, yes, that's right, her sister still understood how she could repay gratitude with resentment. Deep Chu La replied sullenly, what's the point of repaying kindness with resentment, isn't that also thanks to my gasoline, moreover, my beloved motorbike can no longer be used. Deep Chu Mai wondered and asked, but I'm sorry, why did that female zombie suddenly jump up? Hao Lam Yan replied in a deep voice, is that so, it's simple, just use it. Using my reincarnated hand to press acupuncture points on her pulse point, she won't be able to restrain herself and jump like crazy, do you want to try? Hearing these words, Deep Chu Mai and Deep Chu La both looked puzzled and stared at Hao Lam Yan. After that, the two of them rushed together to attack the blue man mercilessly. Hao Lam Yan thought painfully, even if he told them directly that the zombie was under his control, they probably wouldn't believe it. About 20 minutes ago, Hao Lam Yan has arrived at the control system. He leveled up in Dong Arts and Martial Arts. The system goddess said that the Martial Soul Bronze had successfully upgraded, meaning that the Martial Soul Bronze's functions had been transmitted to the host's memory. Hao Lam Yan was confused and asked, this is it. The goddess system explained that you can only control one zombie at a time, and can only activate martial spirit once every two hours. You should let the zombies resonate with your vision while controlling the zombies. Hao Lan Yan exclaimed, this is the ability of the martial soul, I didn't expect to be able to achieve such a strong skill, I didn't expect to be able to control zombies, and also be able to resonate with vision, just take advantage of it, well, it can have a huge effect. In the housing area near the villa area, the overbearing blue man sat high up. He looked down, thinking deeply. Hao Lan Yan looked excited and exclaimed, that's right, it's you. Hao Lan Yan looked far away. He saw a group of people appearing there. Hao Lan Yan silently controls the female zombie from afar. After that, Hao Lan Yan used his special ability, the martial spirit Dong. Use it to influence the female zombie's genome. Hao Lam Yan secretly sighed, it was successful, but still. Good movies are still behind. Having said that, Hao Lam Yan is starting to carry out his plan. He seductively controlled the female zombie to turn backwards. Then, make her shake her butt skillfully. Making other zombies have to strain their eyes to follow. They were drooling, some even had nosebleeds. The zombie even shyly hung up. Another male zombie embarrassedly raised his hand and scratched his head. Wherever the female zombie goes, the zombies follow closely. Hao Lam Yan on the side laughed loudly and said that even though they all turned into zombies, the nature of men still remained unchanged. This beauty is truly so perfect, even I have to admire myself. Remembering this, Hao Lam Yan couldn't control himself and laughed out loud. Causing Deep Tula to panic and quickly call out, Sister, you look at him, smiling so sinisterly, he must be thinking of something naughty. Hearing these words, Hao Lam Yan began to sneak around. He quickly explained, No, I just felt happy because I finished dealing with the Dark Confederates, Deep Tula replied coldly, I don't believe it. Deep Tula quickly comforted her, Okay, if you keep smiling, you will lure the zombies there quickly. Even though the casino is far away, it's good to be able to get there before dawn. Hao Lan Yan continued, what Chu Mai said was right, we should go quickly to catch up. Suddenly, there was a zombie hiding nearby watching the three of them. 
The zombie was so busy looking at Hao Lan Yan's group that he didn't notice. Someone was holding a small sharp knife moving towards him. That mysterious person slashed at the zombie, causing its head to immediately fall to the ground. At this time, that mysterious person was immediately added 100,000 points by the system. He is also a zombie, with fierce eyes full of calculation. Kang Din silently said, Zombies are controlled by me using Dong magic and zombies that are killed can also explode into gold, this time saving a lot of energy for me. Having killed three zombies, this skill is not bad. Just like that, the three of us, one side fighting zombies, the other side headed towards the casino. Soon, the sun reached its peak. The sunlight shined throughout the sky, causing even the zombies to look up. The zombies are bustling back and forth in front of the casino door. Hak Lam Nyan was surprised and then looked at the situation. He kept exclaiming, so he said, if you go through that big door blocked by zombies, it will be a casino, right? Deep Chula replied, yes, but why are there so many zombies, I'll go distract them, so you two can sneak in. Suddenly Deep Chumai stopped, wait. Let me try, then, Deep Chula extended her bow towards the zombies. Deep Chumai looked accurately, her eyes were determined. Deep Chumai secretly thought, there are too many zombies at the door, if only I could find that one at the door. Yes, Deep Chumai looked at the kerosene tank next to her. She turned her sights to the kerosene tanks. After that, Deep Chumai tensed the bowstring. Then gently release your hand, the arrow immediately rushes forward. Through some zombie person. Next is the oil tank, right behind the zombie. Arrow shot into oil tank. Immediately, the fire burned fiercely. The fire began to spread, causing the confused zombies to look after it. Everyone was scared and their mouths were open. After that, they were scared and immediately ran away. They rushed away from the fire, next to the casino. As expected, at this time, there was no longer a single zombie in front of the casino door. Deep Chumai said, if successful, the zombies at the door will basically all disperse. Hao Lam Nyan looked admiringly at Deep Chumai and praised, Chumai, your bow and arrow just now was very powerful. Deep Chula put her arm on Deep Chumai's shoulder and replied, of course, this is just when my sister is sick, if she recovers, she will be able to shoot hunting animals a thousand miles away, no problem, nothing, Deep Chumai shyly replied, nothing. Walking to the front of the casino, Hao Lan Yan raised his eyes to observe. He exclaimed, this is the silver wave that you two talked about, it is truly full of the aura of gold, especially that golden dice, I like it. Deep Chumai replied, that's right, the world has come here so I already know, Deep Chula said in a mocking tone, how come, it's very big, right? Hao Lam Yan replied, very good, this casino must have a lot of gold, let's go in and look for treasures. Suddenly, Hao Lam Yan discovered something unusual. He looked startled and surprised. Hak Lam Yan quickly said, it's not okay, quickly run away. After that, Deep Chumai and Deep Chula immediately fled. Hao Lan Yan hid in a corner and quietly looked at the situation. A giant hand appeared. His steps made the road's surface shake. When Deep Chumai witnessed this incident, she silently exclaimed in confusion, this is it. A giant walked in front. Deep Chumai silently asked herself, is this huge thing also a zombie? The giant waved his hand and struck a palm forward. Then, it sat down on the ground, its eyes glowing. The giant screamed like crazy, making strange sounds. The giant created an immense amount of energy, causing Hao Lam Yan's group to frown and look at him. The glass panels of nearby high-rise buildings were also shattered. The giant continued to scream tirelessly. Deep Chula silently wondered, could this be an evil ghost? When Hak Lam Yan heard that, he looked surprised and exclaimed, Evil ghosts, Deep Chula silently replied, Previously heard others say that evil ghosts are mutants of zombies. The destructive power of evil demons is very scary, one demon can fight against hundreds of zombies, but I didn't expect to meet it here. Hearing these words, Hao Lan Yan silently asked, Is evil ghost really that powerful? Hao Lan Yan pondered for a moment, then he took out a small stone. Then, Hao Lan Yan bent down close to the ground. Following the hole under the car, he immediately threw the stone forward. Veen kicked the front shield, creating a loud sound that startled the giant. The noise attracted his attention. The giant demon looked around. Hao Lam Yan saw his actions, and he silently exclaimed, he was tricked. 
when he took the other thing and held it in his hand. A zombie controlled by the blue man appeared above his head. The zombie stared at the giant with sharp eyes. After that, the zombie immediately rushed towards the giant demon. Use the spear in your hand to stab him right in the back of the head. Hearing a strange noise, the giant turned his head to look. He had one hand holding the zombie in his palm. The zombie controlled by the blue man was frightened and quickly shouted loudly. The giant brought the zombie close to his face. Then, put the zombie directly into your mouth to swallow. Only the zombie's hand was seen lingering between the giant's teeth. At this moment, his face suddenly stiffened a bit. Suddenly an explosion rang out in the giant's mouth. Hao Lam Yan stood to the side and thought to himself, thinking that the evil ghost only had strong destructive power, but he didn't expect that he was quite intelligent, and his speed was not slow. I'm afraid that with my current level of magic, I can't control it. Suddenly, the system goddess appeared and said, Guess right. This startled the blue man. The system goddess appeared before the blue man. Hao Lam Yan was bewildered and quickly looked sideways looking for something. The system goddess quickly reassured me, Don't worry, they can't see me. The evil ghost evolved through taking over 10,000 zombies and became a high-level zombie, currently the host cannot control it, but... Killing evil spirits can get special rewards and lots of gold. The mission duration is 3 days to destroy special evil demons and zombies. The reward is 100,000 gold coins. The remaining time is 71 hours, 59 minutes, 55 seconds. Hao Lan Yan thought with excitement, 100 million gold coins and a special reward. Suddenly, Hao Lan Yan looked surprised and stared at one place. Deep Chu Mai was confused and asked, Mr. Lan, let's take a detour to find gold. Hao Lam Yan said, No, I have to find the gold, but I also have to kill this evil devil. Hao Lam Yan secretly thought, If we were to find gold, this evil ghost would be a hidden disaster. Deep Chu Mai secretly sighed, But the evil ghost is so powerful, how can we deal with it? The blue man thinks differently, but killing it can not only eliminate the disaster. You can also get a lot of gold and special rewards, so why not have fun? Hao Lam Yan said, Don't worry, I have a plan. Hak Lan Yan hugged Deep Chu Mai tightly and ran away and said, Quickly follow me. Hao Lan Yan silently said, First, we need to find a safe place to rest. We will hide from the evil spirits and enter the casino through another door. Right now, they are splitting up to carry out the plan. On the way, we will avoid the zombies, reach the fifth floor of the casino. We will find a room with a nearby corner, quite far from the zombies here, relatively safe. Going to a certain room, Lan Yan quickly stopped and said, You guys are waiting here for me. I went to explore and see inside. Hao Lam Yan walked to the front door. He slowly opened the door, a squeaking sound rang out. Hao Lam Yan looked inside to observe. Inside the room, furniture was scattered on the ground. A shadow of someone appeared. Seeing that, Hao Lam Yan smiled and said, Sure enough. There are zombies, the overbearing blue man approaches the zombies. Because it was dark, Hao Lam Yan didn't notice there was mucus on the ground. He calmly stepped in and got the problem. Hao Lam Yan silently wondered why this floor was so slippery. He fell face down, then slid forward. The blue man's face hit the edge of the bed, he whispered, caught off guard, why were there so many on the floor? Wait a minute, with this feeling, Hao Lam Yan suddenly realized something. Deep Chula and Deep Chu Mai quickly ran over and called out, he was so arrogant. The two of them stared at Hao Lan Yan with surprised expressions. They saw seductive women's pajamas. Hao Lam Yan was enjoying the fun, constantly raising his hand to touch something. Hao Lam Yan has fallen into a dark path with no way out. Deep Chula could only watch helplessly. Hao Lam Yan used both hands to touch the bust of a female figure. Deep Chula looked contemptuously at Hao Lam Yan. Deep Chula got angry and quickly threw the woman's photo to the ground. After that, Deep Chula hit Hao Lam's head. Hao Lam Yan silently groaned, What did the zombies just see were clothes hangers and hats? Deep Chula sighed and said, I said, this interesting house is your plan. Hao Lam Yan replied, It was just an unexpected incident, I just wanted to find a place to replenish my energy. Deep Chula saw the pile of food in Lam Man's overbearing hand and drooled. Both of them ate deliciously, Lam Yan said, Okay, if I want to deal with evil spirits, I have to go make some preparations. Deep Chula asked curiously, Then shall I go with you? 
Hao Lam Yan coldly replied, No, there's no need. You stay here and protect little beauty, leave such heavy task to me. Deep Chu my kindly advised, then Hao Lam be more careful, Deep Chu la likes to talk, then your apple belongs to me. Having finished speaking, Hao Lam Yan immediately left. Hao Lam Yan stood still outside the room. He happily smiled and said, Then, the plan begins. It's actually not difficult to find a gold pot. But if you want to deal with evil demons, you have to earn money to upgrade your strength. And here, the blue man walked to a room, he raised his hand and pushed the door open. Hao Lam Yan stood high, he continued, It's not that. Is it a place to scan for zombies? Suddenly, someone arrogantly attacked from behind. Hearing the movement, Hao Lam Yan then glanced and followed. A huge zombie appeared behind the overbearing blue man. He exclaimed in surprise, So strong, it's you. The zombie looked fiercely at the blue man. Hao Lam Yan was so scared that the hair on the back of his neck stood up. After that, Hao Lam Yan used martial arts to entertain the zombies. Immediately, the giant zombie was successfully controlled by the blue man. The giant zombie looked confused and lost its soul. Suddenly its eyes lit up, marking the beginning of Hao Lan's control. Hao Lam Yan led the way, the giant zombie followed behind, he loudly ordered, Go! Hearing the command, the giant zombie immediately went on duty. Hao Lan Yan said, Become my automatic device. Make money for me, then the giant zombie immediately went to destroy the zombies loitering in front of the casino. Hao Lam Yan secretly said, As a time management master, I also have to find the gold treasure. Looking from that room, he seemed very excited for this adventure. After the experience, Hao Lam's face was drenched with sweat. He panted and complained, he had searched all the recent floors, and there was nothing. I've reached the last floor, if this is still not a gold warehouse, I will kill it. The office also needs to be so pompous, this is my room. Wait, could it be that the gold warehouse is here? Hao Lan Yan walked in front of the wedding photo, he silently exclaimed, These two people are so in love. Suddenly Lan Yan discovered something, he said, This is an agency. Not knowing there was no electricity, Hao Lan Yan reached out and pressed the device. Immediately, the door was opened. Hao Lan Yan expressed interest and said, If you have good luck, you can still use it if you don't have electricity. Looks like gold is hidden in here. But this security method is also fine. But based on this game, how can I stop myself? I crawled, the overbearing blue man dragged his body miserably on the ground. After finishing crawling, Hao Lan Yan switched to rolling. After rolling, he flew up again. Soon, Hao Lan Yan overcame the first obstacle. Walking to the door of the secret room, Hao Lan Yan whistled and said, Okay, let me see what's inside. Hao Lan Yan uses his magical eyes to observe. Hao Lan Yan exclaimed with a panicked face, What, that's all, a letter. With his treasure trove of gold, the overbearing blue man fell to the ground in complete disappointment. He regained his determination and told himself that he had to see what the letter was hiding in there. Having finished speaking, the overbearing blue man knocked on the door. Hao Lan Yan angrily walked inside to observe. He held the letter in his hand and read it with disgust in his eyes. It is written above that the wife can watch many interesting things when she is not at home. Hao Lan Yan then opened the letter. He happily said, This is not, your pants are also taken off, what are you showing me? Does this photo hide anything, it's a waste of my time. The system goddess appeared to remind the host. The controlling zombie was killed but earned the host a lot of money. Hao Lan Yan's amount of money at this time is 51 million, 10,200 dong. Hao Lan Yan exclaimed, It's really a big deal for him. If the gold storage plan doesn't go through, then it's better to upgrade, go first. The goddess system said, welcoming the host. Hao Lan Yan leveled up, his dong became martial arts dong, followed by red DM dong at a price of 2,000,000. Hao Lan Yan is in the process of being promoted. He felt the power, Hao Lan Yan exclaimed, it was this power, much stronger than before. The color of Hao Lan Yan's eyes has also changed. Notification system, successful upgrade, congratulations to the host, upgrade Dong magic to red DM Dong, after leveling up, you can control Dong by at the same time, also gain new abilities, eagle eye remaining money again 31,000. Hao Lan Yan happily exclaimed, being able to control two sorrows at the same time, this is also amazing. That's right, what is this eagle eye? 
The goddess system replied, you should slowly discover this yourself. However, after leveling up the skills, a new system of functions is activated, which is truly consecutive. The 10 consecutive bow is even higher than the last round. The prize is also more generous and the probability is also high. Do you want to try it? How Lam Nyan said, excellent, of course I tried it. After that, Lam Nyan bought the eagle's eyes at a very high price. His remaining money is only 11,000. The system threw out a strange object to Hao Lan. Hao Lam Nyan held the shirt in his hand, looked at the lotus flower, and looked confused. Hao Lam Nyan was bewildered, not understanding what happened. The system goddess said, keep looking, maybe you'll find something good. Hao Lam Nyan angrily replied that he did have this good thing. He held it in his hand and continued, although the toxin extract could not completely cure Tu Mai's illness, it could reduce her infection. Suddenly, there was a small box that attracted Hao Lam Nyan's attention. Hao Lam Nyan secretly wondered, this is not it. After that, Hao Lam Nyan took his bag under his arm and left. Somewhere, there is a zombie with a long tongue waiting. Hao Lam Nyan felt that, so he turned his head to look. Hao Lam Nyan secretly sighed, it's not good, sadness is difficult to deal with, but it caused that. After that, Hao Lam Nyan took out a treasure and said, infrared protection system. At this time, the zombies discovered the existence of Hao Lam Nyan. They stuck out their tongues to show their long-standing desire. At this moment, the zombie immediately rushed forward to attack Hao Lam Nyan. At the same time, Hao Lam Nyan successfully activated the infrared rays. Then, a cannon appeared midway, with its massive size, the gun blocked the zombie's path. An explosion sounded, as if the long-tongued zombie had been destroyed. The remaining two zombies could only stand and watch in bewilderment. Hao Lam Nyan calmly observed his actions. Hao Lam Nyan looked at the bodies of the two zombies. Hao Lam Nyan's face suddenly became tense. At this moment, the two zombies fiercely stared at the blue man. Then, they rushed forward. Unfortunately, they activated the agency. This made Hao Lam Nyan look helpless and exclaim, I'm dead. The agency immediately activated creating a formation. Hao Lam Nyan stood in front of the fence and muttered, how could he avoid it? The bullets continuously flew towards Hao Lam Nyan. Immediately, the pair of falcons was updated to Hao Lam Nyan. He uses a pair of falcons to overcome challenging obstacles. The bullets continuously flew in a chaotic, directionless manner. Hao Lam Nyan silently wondered, what was going on? From the beginning the bullet's speed had slowed down. Could it be that the Dujinshi skill of Red DM Dom could be the eagle's eye? It turns out that the eagle's eyes can see the moving trajectory of objects, which gives the brain more reaction time and slows down movements. If so, Hao Lam Nyan put his hand in his pocket. He took out a glass of wine. While sipping, he overcame the barrage of bullets with ease. And the zombies here are scared and running away. Hao Lam Nyan drank while bending his body and dancing along with the rain of bullets and the zombies are still frantically running away. Truly two different extremes, one person is relaxed, the other is full of bullets. After a while, Hao Lam Nyan yawned and said, feeling a little sleepy. You should still finish the work quickly. Suddenly, two zombies with ferocious faces turned to look at the blue man. They angrily approached the office. Strongly grasp the gun in your hand. A fierce explosion rang out, shocking the whole world. Hao Lan Yan appeared in the mist and smoke. He smiled arrogantly, said arrogantly, and at the same time controlled the two Dom by plus the eagle eye, then there was no problem in dealing with evil spirits, now. It's time to move on to the next plan. Hao Lan Yan led two zombies to the front of the casino, he exclaimed in surprise, why was there so much smoke and dust? The sun began to rise higher and the black mist also dispersed. In the garden behind the casino, the scene becomes poetic. Hao Lam Nyan walked and sang passionately. Hao Lam Nyan secretly said, Today he harvested a lot of things. Why did it suddenly get dark? The blue man became tense. A giant zombie appeared next to the blue man. He fiercely stared at the blue man. The devil frowned angrily. He clenched his teeth as if preparing to do something. With the evil devil's huge body, it blocked the natural light. Hao Lam Nyan said calmly, Not expecting that I haven't looked for you yet. On the contrary, you came to the door yourself. The evil devil aggressively bared his ugly teeth. 
Then, use your hand to hit hard to make the fountain break. He used one hand to crush each large stone, causing smoke and dust, obscuring vision. Hao Lam Yan jumped up high and said with a proud attitude, It's me. Hao Lam Yan looked proud, as if he had planned it in advance. At the same time, there was a car coming with sharp spikes exposed. Hao Lam Yan looked at him in surprise and then exclaimed, What? The car rushed forward with no signs of stopping. Then, it parked next to Hao Lam Yan. Kwok Duk put his hand towards Hao Lam Yan and said, Buddy, get in the car quickly, evil spirits are not easy to deal with. Hao Lam Yan looked disgusted and didn't bother to answer. After that, Hao Lam Yan got in the car and the two of them left together. Hao Lam Yan said, Thank you, luckily you came in time. Kwok Duk replied, You are polite, my friend. At this moment, the evil ghost was extremely angry. Kwok Duk said, Be sure, I will speed up. The evil spirit took large steps to chase the rear of the car. Its footsteps caused the ground to shake violently. Kwok Duk skillfully drove the car, overcoming each obstacle. Unexpectedly, evil spirits blocked the path of the two of them. Hao Lam Yan smiled proudly and said, I'll say it, it's better to leave it to me. After that, Hao Lam Yan immediately sat in the cockpit. Kwok Duk asked confusedly, Wait, do you know how to drive? Hao Lam Yan replied, Sit firmly in, let me see how powerful this car is. Kwok Duk sat next to him and shouted in fear, Hey, look at the road. Hao Lam Yan drove as fast as flying, making Kwok Duk scream continuously. Suddenly the whistle blew, the news started, Rishuo, it was 86, there were two 86 cars going up the mountain. Hearing this news, Hao Lam Yan immediately sped up. Hao Lam Yan uses his skillful driving skills. Try to overcome the pursuit of evil spirits. Evil spirits have blocked the path of Hao Lam Yan. Faced with this situation, Hao Lam Yan teased and said, You're an evil ghost, I'm so angry with you. Hearing these words, the evil ghost was confused and did not understand what was going on. The evil ghost was angry and stomped hard, causing the ground to crumble. The cars nearby were overturned. Not stopping there, the evil devil enjoys causing chaos and everything that stands in his way. Then, the evil ghost reached out and grabbed the car that the blue man was driving. Kwok Duk realized the dangerous situation, he shouted loudly, Drive faster, the evil ghost is about to chase you. Hao Lam Yan smiled and said, Sit firmly, the front height limit, be careful, head first. When passing through the tunnel, the evil spirit immediately bent down and tried to catch the car. Yep, the evil demon slammed its head straight into the highway tunnel, its sinewy arm thrust inside, trying to catch the blue man. Guo Duk breathed a sigh of relief, why was Lam Yan's blinded owl screaming? Phew, I finally fell, I said, little friend, you. Lam Yan interrupted him, don't rush, it's still early. As soon as the blue man accelerated, the devil's tentacle grazed the roof of the car. He adjusted the rear-view mirror to make it easier to see. The blue man shook a few basic lines, and of course the evil devil's trunk could not reach him with much difficulty. The expressway tunnel is now completely destroyed. The hose gave a straight blow from above. Blue man turns the steering wheel. The evil spirits attacked him again. Kwok Duk didn't have time to put on his seat belt and kept shaking like a baby in the car. The entire highway tunnel collapsed. The blue man rushed through that dust storm. The evil demon was buried under a giant pile of rubble and stone. It grumbled and pulled back its strange trunk. The evil ghost stood silently looking at the car's shadow. This crazy guy is really creepy, he smirks mysteriously. Dusk fell on the city, Lam Yan took Kwok Duk home. He asked in surprise, why are you in such a dangerous place? Nearby could be the territory of evil spirits. Kwok Duk lamented, this is a dark night, there are evil spirits, there is very little sadness around here, I just need to hide from the evil spirits. Kwok Duk smiled brightly, that's right, brother, I'm Kwok Duk, what's your name? Lam Yan chose to answer, his last name is Lee, his name is Kui Hung. Kwok Duk shook hands to say hello, oh, brother Lee Kui Hung, lucky to meet you. Hmm, Lee Kui Hung, what's your last name, ha ha, little brother really knows how to joke. Kwok Duk respectfully invited, Brother, go this way, my house is right in the building in front. The two of them led each other into an empty hallway. Kwok Duk asked, How old is the little brother? Where did he live before? Did he have a girlfriend? Lam Yan thought to himself, This guy is so talkative. 
Little brother, in front is that room. Hmm, I took the key. Kwokduk didn't know that there was a pair of ghostly hands reaching for him. The blue man quickly grabbed that hand tightly. He pulled hard and the witch fell over. That woman is not a ghost, she quickly called, husband. The blue man was startled, husband, he couldn't believe his eyes. Kwakta quickly intervened, little brother, quickly let go, that's my wife. Lam Yan was confused, it turns out you still have a wife, Kwakduk explained, yes, after the end of the world appeared, my wife's spirit was not normal. Now I bring my wife and three daughters to live here. In the room, three women were playing around. The door opens. Lam slowly walked in. Hawaii was the first to greet me, Dad, you're finally home. The girl looked at the blue man curiously and asked, Who is this? Kwakduk rubbed his daughter's head and said, This is a friend I just met, go, pour me a glass of water, get some food. The blue man quietly observed each person one by one. A few of them discussed things together, Kwakduk recounted, Just now I went out to look for food, and discovered that brother Lee Kui Hung was being chased by evil spirits. I originally wanted to save him but ended up being saved by him. Tuatan continued, So isn't Mr. Li Kui Hung our benefactor? The girl sat down next to him. Holding Lam Yan's hand, Snow gently praised, Brother, you are so awesome. Vu Fuang also sat on this side and told him, Yes, that's right. Lan Yan felt like there was something unruly and not at all light. Kwok Duk looked outside to see, It was already dark, it was very dangerous outside now. He suggested, Brother, please stay here temporarily today. The blue man nodded and replied, I don't eat much, I won't cause trouble for everyone. Lily Mai walked out from the kitchen. The girl held a plate of food in her hand and offered it to him. You are our benefactor, come here and eat something, there is enough food. Lam Yan smiled widely, that's right, I haven't eaten in a few days, I eat very quickly. Then I won't be polite anymore. Humai received him while gingerly looking at Kwok Duk and his wife. After 30 minutes, the amount of canned food that Lam Yan had eaten had reached the roof, he let out a belch like a bellowing cow, he was so full. Kwok Duk's entire family was stunned by that mill. Kwok Duk laughed with tears in his eyes, ha ha, little brother, is it delicious? You also know that there is a shortage of men in the end of the world, my three daughters are grown up, if you stay, the food is not only yours, but they are also yours. Faced with that sincere statement, the blue man narrowed his eyes cunningly. Hawaii my expressed sympathy first of all, brother, stay. I know massage, it can help you feel more comfortable. Tuatan and Vu Fuang also attacked, that's right, normally my father wouldn't tolerate these foods, he really appreciates you, that's right. The blue man laughed with great joy, ha ha, having food and having beautiful women, this great encounter is also very enjoyable. Kwok Duk was also happy for him, so that meant he wanted it. The blue man suddenly interrupted him, but still stopped talking. In the end of the world, these trash foods have no nutrition at all. With three wives, my nutrition will definitely be deficient, do you understand, fat man? Kwok Duk suddenly frowned, little brother, are you kidding, if it was just this, no man would dare to refuse. Or do you have other worries, maybe you still have family members. He smiled mischievously, if necessary, you bring them here, from now on they will all be family. Lam Yan's guess was right, sure enough, the purpose of this greedy guy is to beauty and to la. Dare to save a stranger in front of evil spirits, in this end of the world there is already some doubt. What the hell is going down here, it's absolutely safe to stay in the nest of evil spirits. One more detail, when I walked in the door I saw this girl with a lot of mud on her body. The blue man came to the conclusion, it seems that this family is not as harmonious as its facade, so let me see what tricks you guys want to play. The blue man activates dong magic. The whole room was seen through. He was surprised, what a pervert, it seemed like his daughter and wife were both fake. Probably all of them were lucky enough to survive and be controlled by him. A shadow stood outside the door, making him feel guilty, wait, this is it. Devil, turns out that crazy person has been standing outside for a long time. Kwok Duk impatiently asked Lam Yan, little brother, what did he see? Why, thinking carefully, the blue man looked at him again. He stood up and replied, that's your condition. But I really like living alone in the end of the world. Thank you Kwok Duk brother for entertaining me, by the way, Kwok Duk became gloomy at this time. The blue man left, and the whole house became cold again. 
Guo Duk stood on the balcony, the girls were now trembling in fear, that one, him. Vu Fuing said without saying a word, he's not, he discovered something, already. Kwok Duk said nothing and slapped her in the face. Vu Fuing died trembling, Kwok Duk was angry, useless thing. I can't keep even one person, you guys make me so disappointed. Hmm, he looked frustrated. Vu Fuing glared at the old man. She hugged Kwok Duk's leg and begged, please, give me a chance. Or you can use a whip to beat me. Vu Fuing was terrified and begged, playing with me any way he wanted. Her tears filled her eyes, begging him. Kwok Duk just said in a cold voice, eat her, and slowly walked out on his knees. Lift the vulture off the ground. Drop on those straight teeth. The witch fell into it and the evil spirits bit it, it chewed and blistered, it was so haunting. The remaining girls were all shocked and lost their souls, Kwok Duk was satisfied, wasting so much of my food for him. Let him bring the woman next to him here. Kwok Duk stepped on the role of the evil devil, unexpectedly he was so unreasonable. He decided to play the card face up, if soft doesn't work, then use hard. Thinking that you can go easily, you're really naive. Kwok Duk remembered the beautiful little Latu Mai, those two women, are mine. That night, Hao Lam Yan walked alone in a small alley. Behind him, there was an eye in the corner watching. More precisely, it looked like a long tentacle, with an eye at the tip, quietly following him. Hao Lam Yan still kept walking. Coming to a place, he suddenly stopped and smiled. Then suddenly changed direction. The other tentacle followed a little later, saw him speed up and followed. But when he reached a certain corner, he looked in and saw no trace of Hao Lam Yan anywhere. Confused eyes looked around. Suddenly, a sound came from a house. The tentacle followed the cry to find the place, through the window, it looked inside. In that room, there were two zombies, one skinny, one fat, dancing. The eye on the tentacle was stunned, not knowing what to comment. It immediately cut off the heads of those two zombies. It turned out that the tentacle was controlled by a little evil ghost to fall Hao Lam Nyan, but when it lost track, it was repeatedly kicked and cursed by Kwok Duk, stupid. Following someone also leads to loss, it's so stupid. After defeating the evil little devil, he breathed heavily and said that it seemed like he could only use that trick. He pulled the bow and ordered, go. The little evil ghost carried him along, moving his large body forward. At this time, Hao Lam Nyan was standing in front of an old, worn-out stall. A piece of paper suddenly flew over. Looking at its torn corner, he immediately thought of one thing, isn't this the photo from when he was in the insurance warehouse, do I need to get the other half? When putting together the photo, Hao Lam Nyan was so surprised that he had a speech impediment, wait, this is not, that, that is not, shit, that is it. If that's the case, then I can't. A moment later, in a large building, on the roof was a large yellow dice. Deep Chula exclaimed in surprise, What, you said the evil ghost has been controlled. But my sister and I were noticed by him. Deep Chumai quickly covered her sister's mouth and signaled her to keep quiet. Then he turned around and asked, How Lan Yan, did you pay attention to anything when you came back, I guess that fat guy won't stop. How Lam Nyan held a bag in his hand and replied, Of course, so we have to quickly take the medicine and leave this place. He laid out a bunch of medicines and treasures, red toxin, hydrogen, alcohol, and anti-infection medicine. Don't look any further, there's another treasure here. How Lan Nyan put down a box, the two sisters watched him open it curiously. Inside was a sniper gun, surprising both of them. Deep Chumai picked up the gun and asked, How Lan Nyan, where did you get it? He immediately waved his hand and said, Come over here for a moment, I'll tell you too. The two sisters innocently moved closer, arrogantly turned on the lighter and said seriously, This is confidential, you two are not allowed to tell anyone else. These supplies are all from me. There was a hook out of his pants, his hand pointed down. The two of them looked at each other speechless, he even smiled and teased that the two of them could try. The two girls knew they were being teased and looked at him with murderous intent, while the overbearing blue man was still talking non-stop, this place not only has supplies, but also has a jet-accelerating whirlpool that looks amazing. The next second, he was dragged on the ground by Deep Tula, in her hand she held a huge hammer, he struggled desperately but failed. What followed was an earth-shattering scene, the sound of beatings was loud, Deep Tuma even had to hold up a sign prohibiting looking up. 
A moment later, Hao Lan Yan, who was all bruised, came out and asked, Little tear, is it okay? She replied, almost okay. Her eyes sharply questioned, Hey, were you peeping just now? The overbearing blue man jumped up and objected, I don't care. After applying the medicine to herself, Deep Chula came to help apply it to her sister. She gently advised, Sister, to hold back for a moment. Deep Chu Mai lay down on the bed, took off her coat, and Chula took off the bandage. The wound seemed a bit painful, so when the medicine was applied, Deep Chu Mai couldn't help but frown and groan. The wounds were treated carefully to avoid infection. Suddenly, there seemed to be a slight vibration. The alcohol bottle on the table suddenly shook slightly. While changing her sister's bandage, Deep Chula saw it and wondered if there was an earthquake. Hao Lan Yan also felt it, so he used eye magic to see what was happening. Outside, the little evil ghost was moving closer to them, in his hand he was carrying Quak Duk. He is extremely pleased. The corner of his mouth slightly curled up in a smirk. The little devil roared loudly. The sound of its scream was resounding, shaking the entire neighborhood. Hao Lan Yan couldn't help but think, it turned out to be him, he didn't know what to do. The little devil's feet stomped on the ground. It spewed out a stream of white gas again. When its body comes into contact with the gas, it immediately swells and its veins turn blue like crawling worms. Even its face swelled bigger. It sat down on the ground, clasped its hands, its long tentacles moved flexibly. The little evil ghost opened its mouth wide again, and a light emitted from its throat. Under the loud sound, everything around was immediately affected, the truck and car tilted and collided. The windows of the abandoned building were shattered. The little evil ghost body emitted yellow light rings. Then, a large yellow ball appeared, surrounding it entirely. Looking at this scene, Hao Lan Yan was surprised. The strong wind blew causing Deep Chu Li to close her eyes, Deep Chu Mai also had to hold her skirt to prevent it from riding up high, Hao Lan Yan thought to herself, what is the devil trying to do? Perhaps. Hao Lan Yan tried to reach out his hand to feel it, breathing. That's not right, it's sound waves. The sound waves curled up, the amplitude transmitted into the little devil's ears. Its eyes lit up, the overbearing blue man tensed, opened, our position. Having been exposed, at the same time, the little evil ghost pointed in one direction, showing Guo Duk their location. Kwok Duk held his head in shock and scolded, Damn it, screaming makes my ears hurt to death, you want to force me to use a secret trick, hide there, right? Damn it, go over there and get them. The little evil ghost listened to him, immediately stood up and stomped his feet on the ground. It raised its paw. Kneel down to gain momentum. Then accelerate and run forward. Deep Chula immediately shouted and ran quickly. Then she stepped onto the window sill and jumped out very high. On the other side, the evil ghost chased at a fast speed, with a huge body, wherever it ran, it broke into pieces. Deep Chula was a bit shocked. The evil ghost jumped high, where it gained momentum, a column of smoke and dust rose, and its body rushed forward. Then he kicked down right where she was standing, creating a strong shock. Deep Chula landed on the ground and quickly retreated back. The little devil then bent down and stared at her. Deep Chula frowned and wiped the wound on her face. Quak Duk's cackling laughter rang out, I saw you, beauty. Deep Chula turned around and ran away. He raised his voice and called out, Hey, little sister, don't run away. Let me chase you and see, if you can chase me, I'll give you a treat. Seeing that Deep Chula was about to run away without seeing anyone, Quak Duk immediately ordered to capture her, the evil ghost. Immediately, the evil spirit stretched out his arm, a few centimeters away from catching her. Deep Chula shouted in horror, saving her life. Kwok Duk smirked and said, Stop struggling, even if you run, you won't be able to escape the waves of evil spirits. However, when the devil's hand opened, he did not see Deep Chula, he was surprised, where was he? The evil ghost looked around searching, Kwok Duk Angan called out in a long voice, Beauty, where are you hiding? Deep Chuli's figure appeared again, he laughed, seeing her. Baby, I'm here. The little evil ghost jumped up and chased after Deep Tula. It landed hard inside the building she had just run into. He carefully placed Quak Duk on the ground, he looked around and sneered, why did he run into the casino, then there is no way, oh dear. Quak Duk stepped down from the hands of evil spirits. He even deliberately adjusted the suit he was wearing and smiled and said, I have to see, what game do you want to play with me? Then he immediately turned on the light at Fumotuya. 
He shined his light into a dark street and began his search. The weak flashlight shines on the road. Kwokta called out as he walked, Baby, where are you hiding? Apparently, he saw someone who looked like he was covering his head. Because it was dark, I didn't know if it was Deep Tula or not, he grinned. The flashlight shined, and the person immediately hid behind the wall. He walked up to the statue, raised his hand to touch the other person's shoulder, Baby, I'm coming. But suddenly, he was thrown straight in the face by a pink towel. When he took it down, he still didn't know anything but was still interested in asking, Okay, I figured it out, then that's right. But this smell is a bit strange, just as he was stunned, a hand reached out. Without letting him react, he slapped Kwok Duk's face hard. The force of the slap was so strong that he distorted one side of his face. Knocked him out for a while, obnoxious. Kwok Duk fell face down on the ground. He covered his face and stammered, You, why is your power so strong? Also, your voice, how, how? At this time, the light was a little clearer, how Lam took off his hood, Kwok Duk looked at him in surprise, what a man. How Lam Yan smiled and asked, don't you recognize this little brother? Kwok Duk then analyzed the situation, he gritted his teeth and questioned, are you the guy who ran out of the tunnel? How Lam Yan let out an exclamation, it seems like you're not that stupid. Kwok Duk couldn't help but get angry, he immediately picked up his bow tie and shouted in order to kill him for me. Evil devil, as he finished speaking, the ground began to shake again. The evil ghost appeared fiercely, swinging his fist at Hal Lan Man. The huge fist came closer and closer to him. Kwok Duk laughed proudly, you go and die. Hal Lan Yan chuckled. Then he took off his coat and threw it high. The devil looked down with red eyes to see what he was going to do. Only saw shirts and skirts impersonating deep to ceremony on the ground. Hao Lan Yan was already wearing another outfit. The little devil stared wide-eyed at him. Currently, he is wearing a long pink shirt, which looks more like a woman's outfit. Kwok Duk was stunned and cried out in cold sweat, What happened? Could it be you? The little evil ghost suddenly brightened like a flower when he saw Hao Lan Yan in this form. Kwok Duk, not understanding what was happening, blurted out and cursed, What kind of reaction is this evil ghost? Next, Hao Lan took out something with a thorny surface. He threw it on the ground in front of Kwok Duk. Then he winked and said, Little devil. Let him kneel down, finish speaking, and blow a kiss with him. His high high ha ha laughter transmitted to the little devil, making it stunned. Kwok Duk was quiet at first. Then he held his head and laughed out loud, Do you think anyone can control evil spirits? You stupid name, it's really a dream. While he was pleased, suddenly his whole body was picked up by evil spirits. It forced him to kneel down on that thorny round object, his knees were even splattered with blood. Kwok Duk's face was distorted and he screamed in pain. Hao Lam Yan smiled coldly and said, It's not over yet. He formed a heart with his hands and shot at the evil ghost, saying, Let's try this next. The little devil happily signaled okay. Kwok Duk's sweat mixed with snot, he bit his lip and endured. Hao Lam Yan didn't know when he was standing behind him. He kicked him and forced him to the ground, his feet stepped on him. Still holding a whip in his hand, the whipping lesson began. Kwok Duk shouted in panic, wait a minute, what do you want to do? Hao Lan Yan ignored him, he immediately whipped down. His buttocks were whipped repeatedly. The pain was so much that it was red and swollen, he trembled and begged, the pain was so bad, he quickly stopped. Hao Lan Yan smirked and asked, what's wrong, don't you like to play like this? I see that your house hides quite a few of these things. Kwok Duk trembled and felt guilty. How did you know? If you want to play, I can give you my wife and daughter. Hao Lan Yan immediately frowned. What about his wife and daughter? Aren't those people virtuous? Aren't you using evil spirits to kill men and women, take over land and become kings? However, I find it interesting. How did you learn the devil's orders? Kwok Duk gritted his teeth, not knowing what to say. His butt was beaten and it hurt. After a while of fighting, he decided to tell the truth, because I was lucky, before the accident, I was just a security guard in the nearby area. Last winter, Old Kim and I went to the casino to look for food. Old Kim impatiently urged, Hey, Kwok Duk, please move faster for me, it's slow and slow. If the zombies don't come, I'll throw you out there. Kwok Duk rummaged around for a while and then got bored and cursed, Damn it, there's nothing. 
Suddenly, he turned and saw a skeleton wearing a luxurious jacket. He was curious, what was this? I don't know why, at that time I really wanted to wear that high-class suit, just wanted to experience what it feels like to be rich. So he immediately took it and put it on. The old man was looking out and exclaimed, Wow, this heavenly spirit. When he turned around and saw Kwok Duk already wearing a suit, he was confused. Kwok Duk, what are you doing? Kwok Duk stroked his curly beard and said, He really talks a lot, so it's okay. Suddenly, the place where they were standing shook. The old man thought it was an earthquake. As a result, an unexpected situation happened. The old man leaned against the pillar and looked out wondering why this earthquake was so intense. Through the old man's eyes, a large hand was reaching out to them. We encountered the legendary devil. The little devil looked inside with red eyes. Kwok Duk sat down on the ground in fear, stuttering, what the hell? The little devil's hand reached towards him. Kwok Duk quickly crawled back and cried out, saving his life. Don't eat me, save my life. At that time, I thought I was dead, but I didn't expect it to be an evil spirit. It just gently touched his head without doing anything, it really forgave him. After that, I discovered that as long as I wear this suit, evil spirits will not harm me, even. How Lam Nyan continued, even if he just made a certain move, the evil spirits would follow him and obey his orders. He approached him and asked, Do you know why? Kwok Duk mumbled, Why? Hao Lan Yan immediately took out a light and held it in front of him, here. On the photo is a small baby whose head is being rubbed by a woman in a pink shirt, and the man lying next to him is also very fond of it, his hand even placed on the bow tie exactly like Kwok Duk's movements. He couldn't help but be stunned, this was the baby, it was the evil devil's appearance before the mutation. Hao Lam Yan confirmed, yes, his father's suit, combined with his familiar movements, he considered him his father. Guo Duk immediately remembered his tiger's appearance just now, so he was able to command the evil ghost, just to put on makeup and imitate the movements of the evil ghost mother. Hak Lam Yan laughed and asked, what do you think? Kwok Duk immediately knelt down and begged, big brother, I'm sorry, I will change my ways. Please forgive me. I will return and release the women who have not yet come out. Every time he bows his head, he takes a few steps back. Hao Lam Yan coldly said, I don't care if you are a good person or a bad person. But you shouldn't target women. So, if he still saw me in his next life, Hao Lam Yan's eyes would become cold. Kwok Duk suddenly took out a bottle of green liquid and popped the stopper. He did not make any unnecessary movements and immediately let his tears dry up. Hao Lam Yan curled his fists in warning, remembering to know the way out. The powerful fist hit him straight in the middle of his stomach. Kwok Duk's eyes turned white and even spurted blood. Under the blue man's feet, the floor was already cracking due to his force. Kwok Duk was shot and knocked back several meters. It wasn't until he hit the game machines that he stopped. Hao Lam Yan turned his head and was about to leave. At this moment, the empty blue bottle of liquid fell to the ground. Behind him, Kwok Duk's continuous coughing sound came. And that vial of liquid also shot at Hao Lan Yan's feet. He turned to look and a horror scene happened. Black streaks appeared on Kwok Duk's entire body, which slowly spread throughout his body. Hao Lam Yan frowned, he spoke in a hoarse voice, it's not you. Feeling proud too soon, Kwok Duk's eyes were red, black things seemed to come out of his eyes. But the hole in his body seemed to be connected by them. It must be said that it was a very horrifying sight. Only then did Hao Lan Yan pay attention to the bottle at his feet. He picked it up and looked at it and couldn't help but be surprised. This is you. Did you give birth to abilities? I didn't expect that at the end of the world there would still be this type of functional drink. The wound on Kwok Duk's body gradually became smaller. He said proudly, little brother, you are very gout. But you forced me to use this, but I've already used it, so that's it. Today you will definitely die in my hands. He went from staggering steps to speeding up to rush towards the overbearing blue man. The distance between the two is getting closer and closer. Hak Lam Yan turned towards him, his toes pointed up. He raised his hand provocatively, come and go. Kwok Duk rushed forward, his hand reaching behind him. His face was hit by a blue man's punch. Once again, one side of his head was blown off. But he still leaned forward behind him. When I touched his shirt, he immediately held the overbearing blue man and backed away, he was quite surprised to see that he was still alive. He immediately reached out and kicked his ankle. Seconds later, both people separated, Kwok Duk retreated back. 
he collapsed to the ground, breathing heavily. But suddenly a dangerous smile appeared on his mouth. Kwok Duk, with half of his head crushed, held up a torn piece of pink shirt and laughed, you've been fooled. He then reached out and tore the cloth to shreds. Only then did Hao Lam Yan notice what was behind him. You pretend to want to fight to the death with me, but your goal is to tear my clothes and regain control over the evil spirits. At that time, he was still quite surprised, he did not expect that this drink could be reborn again. Guo Duk's face had been restored, he used a towel to wipe away the blood and said, he guessed right. But it was too late, he rubbed the red bow on his neck with water. Hao Lan Yan immediately frowned. At this moment, out of nowhere, the little evil ghost jumped up again. The place where it landed was exactly where the overbearing blue man had just stood. Kwok Duk laughed with satisfaction, it was very beautiful. But before he could rejoice for long, from within the cloud of dust and smoke, a blue man's overbearing figure appeared. He smirked and said, I haven't played enough yet. If that's the case, then I'll clean both of you up. Kwok Duk was confused at first and backed away. But the next second, he immediately said into the bow, Kill it, evil devil. Immediately, the evil ghost clasped his hands. Jumped down to face Hao Lan Yan. Hao Lan Yan spoke again in a deep voice, red ink. The ground suddenly became violently moving. Large rocks and flying objects blocked Hao Lan Yan's path. Hao Lan Yan was not afraid at all, he calmly observed the situation. He used copper diodes to observe things more accurately. A ferocious evil spirit is attacking the evil man. One of his steps caused the ground to shake. The explosions rang out creating a savage sound. The stones were pushed away by pressure. Thick smoke and dust obscured the sight of evil spirits. Hao Lam Yan was hanging on a small rope. Hao Lam Yan called out loudly, Hey, here, little devil. The eyes are not bad, just a bit slow. Hearing these words made the evil devil angry. He used a long whip to hit Hao Lam Yan. A blow from the evil spirit caused the wall behind to collapse. Another rope rushed like the wind. Evil demons use weapons, creating long ropes. It creates a formation, a network that blocks the way of the overbearing blue man. At this time, Hao Lam Yan calmly avoided each attack. Hao Lam Yan said with steady eyes, I caught you. Hao Lam Yan used his hand to hold the evil devil's tentacles. Holding the tentacle in his hand, the blue man seemed to have his own calculations. The evil devil raised his eyebrows in pain, he looked angry. Taking advantage of that opportunity, Hao Lan Yan tied the evil devil's arm tightly. Hao Lan Yan said proudly, little evil ghost, do you only have these few moves? Well then, it's our turn. Having finished speaking, Hao Lan Yan immediately rushed forward. He ran quickly towards the head of the evil demon. Hao Lan Yan stood on the neck of the evil devil. After that, Hao Lam Yan used a rope to tie tightly around the devil's body. Realizing that the situation was not good, the evil ghost looked confused and looked after him. Hao Lam Yan quickly passed the rope over his head. Soon, the final knot was completed. After everything was done, the blue man immediately left. The evil spirit quickly raised his hand and hit him hard on the head. After that, the blue man confidently jumped and landed coolly on the ground. Kwok Duk stood to the side with a surprised face and silently said, This, is this person a monster, fighting with evil spirits still has the upper hand. Hao Lan Yan said arrogantly, Is that all you are, little evil devil? When Kwok Duk heard that, he silently exclaimed, Damn it, the effect of my medicine is about to wear off, let's escape first. After that, Kwok Duk turned and left. The old man walked away, smiling strangely. At the same time, Deep Tula passed by to meet him. Kwok Duk sensed something unusual. Suddenly, Deep Tula pulled out his knife. Coldly slashed Kwok Duk's body. Kwok Duk's face was confused, showing pain and discomfort. The old man turned his head and looked surprised and exclaimed, Is it you? Immediately, Kwok Duk's wound was restored. The old man angrily said, Damn it, even though I can reincarnate. But being cut is very painful, you know. Having finished speaking, Kwok Duk immediately rushed to attack Deep Tula. Suddenly, a ray of light flashed through Kwok Duk's body, causing a hole in his body. Kwok Duk was in pain and screamed loudly, How could this be possible? Kwok Duk fell to his knees on the ground. From the opposite building, someone appeared. He raised the gun towards Kwok Duk. 
That is Deep Tu Mai who is secretly supporting Deep Tu La. Kwok Duk angrily said, How could you have sniper rifles? Deep Tu La replied coldly, You should still worry about your little life first. Deep Tu La pointed the knife into Kwok Duk's eyes. She said, Big Brother Hao Lan said, You can only do it today. Dying here, Deep Tu Li's eyes became sharp. In the quiet night in a small neighborhood, in a certain building, noises rang out. Suddenly, there was a continuous knocking on the door. There are two girls hiding in this room. The girl in the white dress said tremblingly, It's gone. The zombies are coming, they're coming, they're all motherfuckers, we're all about to die, we're about to die. As soon as he finished speaking, a fierce footstep sounded. The door immediately opened, causing the two of them to panic and not dare to move. A scary black figure appeared in front of him. A familiar voice said, Hawei Mai, why did you lock the door? Tua Tan wondered, what are you doing? Hu Mai trembled and replied, why is it you? I thought it was a corpse coming. Tua Tan said, are you stupid? I was outside the door calling for so long. Let's not talk about this anymore. I just climbed to the top floor and saw that damn fat guy and the devil had already gone to the casino. It seems they can't return right away. Now is the best chance for us to escape. Humai looked surprised and asked and ran away. After that, Humai laughed and exclaimed, That's great, the girl in the white dress continued, When Kwok Duk comes back, he will kill us. This news is truly yours. Before he could finish speaking, Huwemai continued, Coming at the right time. On the other side, Hao Lam Yan is trying to deal with evil demons. The evil devil was now tied up tightly, soon, he was able to successfully break the ropes. Realizing that the situation was about to get bad, Hao Lam Yan quickly ran away. The evil spirit raised his hand and placed it above his head. She struggled with all her might to untie the rope. The devil was now angry, his eyes were red. Hao Lam Yan, he thought to himself, could he escape so quickly? The evil spirit used his hand to hit the ground hard. He continuously attacked Hao Lam Yan. At this time, Hao Lam Nyan took advantage of the opportunity to approach the evil ghost. He quickly climbed up on his shoulder. Then, used the momentum to jump directly in front of the evil devil. Hao Lam Nyan used 18 moves in an earth-shattering manner. Seriously the universal right to attack evil spirits. Hao Lam Nyan struck a blow to the evil devil's chest. Causing him to immediately fall to the ground with a thud. The evil ghost fell painfully lying on the ground. His face was distorted. But he was soon recovering. Hao Lan Yan secretly said, It seems that if it is only destroyed locally, it will quickly regenerate. Little snake demon, he's very good at taking blows, right? Then what will happen if you try to explode that head of yours next? On the other side, Deep Chu Mai and Deep Chu La went somewhere. Kwok Duk was pushed to the horizon, the sword pointed straight at his face. Deep Chula thought to himself, the wound has begun to regenerate, if the medicine he took could cure her infectious disease. Deep Chula asked, hey, what did you drink just now? Kwok Duk arrogantly said, that's good stuff, no matter how injured you are, just drink it and you'll recover completely. You don't just want it, if you let me go, I will. Before he could finish speaking, his heart suddenly tightened. Kwok Duk screamed in pain, what's going on, my heart? It hurts so much, it's so hot. This is the side effect that guy said. Damn, it looks like the medicine's effectiveness is about to wear off, so let's run away quickly. Deep Chula asked in confusion, what happened, it seemed like something was wrong. His body began to transform. Kwok Duk said in panic, my hand feels like it was burned by fire. Kwok Duk collapsed on the ground in pain. Deep Chula boldly approached to observe. Deep Chula wondered silently, this is what it is. On the other side, Hao Lam Nyan took advantage of the opportunity. Use a rope to bind the evil spirit. Then, use your power fist on his body. Hao Lam Nyan secretly said, this evil little devil even knows how to use his hands to put his head back. It seems that after having my head broken, I became smarter. Then let's try this trick next. Hao Lam Nyan's face became determined. The evil devil's face gradually changed. Hao Lan Yan quickly approached the upper body of the evil ghost. At this time, the evil devil looked confused before this world situation. The evil ghost glanced bitterly at the overbearing blue man. After determining Hao Lan Yan's location, he struck him. 
Faced with this situation, a zombie controlled by the overbearing blue man became panicked. A dunk was directed at that zombie. Smoke and dust covered the entire sky. The zombie controlled by Hal Lam continuously delivers humorous attacks. This angered the evil devil's self-esteem. He immediately took action to eliminate the thorn in his eye. Those zombies were unharmed. It continuously teases the patience of evil spirits. At this time, the evil devil's anger reached its peak. He continuously attacked the zombies. Hao Lan Yan saw this scene. He thought to himself, just like he thought, Red Diem Dong could still control the zombie's body. But you evil devil, just worrying about what's in front of you won't do. Hao Lan Yan took advantage of the evil devil's vulnerability and soon climbed onto his shoulder. Sensing something unusual, the evil ghost stared with wide eyes. He quickly raised his hand and hit him hard on the ear. This blow made the evil demon unable to stand firmly. Hao Lan Yan thought to himself, good opportunity, this evil little devil's ancient bones were already broken, right at this moment. Suddenly, a fierce explosion rang out. Hao Lan Yan stood tall on Hao Lan Yan's shoulders, causing the evil ghost to look at him in surprise. Hao Lan Yan's use was earth-shattering. 18 limbs, creating an ultimate attack. Look at the reflection in the devil's eyes. The power of this attack makes even evil spirits confused. Hao Lan Yan used his horse and star fist to strike a palm at the evil ghost, causing the evil devil's body to crack into pieces. His mind was dizzy and he continuously screamed loudly. Immediately, his head was destroyed. The devil's face showed surprise at this attack. The evil demon fell painfully on the ground. His body suddenly became stiff. Hak Lan Yan calmly stood still and looked after him. Hao Lan Yan said, You just lie here and rest for a while, you little devil. The evil devil's body now began to change. Deep Chula suddenly shouted loudly, Lam Yan, quickly come here and see. Hao Lan Yan heard this, then looked surprised and said, It seems Tu Li's side has already finished the matter. Hak Lan Yan immediately went to Deep Tu Li's place. The two people approached Kwok Duk's face. At this moment, Kwok Duk whispered in pain, How could this be possible? How could this be possible? That person clearly told me that the side effect is just muscle laxity. Wouldn't it turn out like that? No way. Hak Lam Yan came closer and said hello, hello, Kwok Duk brother. Hao Lam Yan took out something to show Kwok Duk and said, this thing. Who gave you? Hao Lam Yan's sharp eyes stared at Kwok Duk. When he heard him ask this question, Kwok Duk was speechless. At this time, Kwok Duk's body began to melt. Kwok Duk was so angry that he was shaking, he said, I have to go find him, I have to. Hao Lam Yan asked, who is he, is he the one who gave you the medicine, and where is he now? Kwok Duk thought for a moment then replied, where is he? Where is this place, aren't we working? Hearing these words, Deep Chula asked confusedly, has he lost his memory, this damn fat guy, could it be that he is pretending? Suddenly, the light bulb on the ceiling had a broken wire. Immediately fell directly towards Hao Lan Yan. Sensing the dangerous situation, he turned his head to look. Hak Lan Yan quickly raised his hand to push Deep Chula back. Hao Lan Yan said, let's go quickly, it's about to collapse here, let's go out first, Deep Chula said hesitantly, but. Kwok Duk saw the two of them leaving, he was scared and shouted loudly, don't leave me. I, I'm in so much pain, please help me quickly, I can help you guard the door, be loyal to your position, and maintain your position. Hearing these words, Hao Lam Yan turned his head to look and secretly wondered, how did this fat guy turn into a crazy guard, could it be his memories? Back in the past, Kwok Duk continued, staff entering and exiting had to register. Hao Lam Yan thought to himself, it seems that the real side effects of this drink are really strong, it's a pity that I couldn't ask about the origin of this medicine. Kwok Duk said, strictly punish suspicious employees. Parking area is prohibited, at the same time, a rock collapsed from the ceiling. Directly pressed on Kwok Duk's body. There was a loud noise and smoke and dust flew. Luckily for him, the devil came to his rescue in time. Kwok Duk burst into tears, his eyes filled with tears, he turned around and exclaimed, I, you. I only saw the evil ghost breathing heavily, staring at Kwok Duk with an uncomfortable look on his face. The evil ghost looked panicked and continuously said something that Kwok Duk could not understand. Kwok Duk said confusedly, Who are you, monster? Kwok Duk was weak and afraid of the appearance of evil spirits. 
When the evil ghost stretched out his hand towards Quak Duk, he shouted in panic, The monster wants to eat me. Save my life, don't eat me, I don't want to die, I'm so scared. Little Quak Duk curled up in a corner. At the same time, the building began to collapse. Large rocks fell from above to the bottom. Quak Duk was scared and kept begging, I can't die, I can't die, go away, monster. Go and die, the evil ghost raised his big hand to shield Quak Duk. At this time, the building began to collapse, and a large chloroplast fell. Quak Duk looked confused and looked towards the evil ghost. Suddenly, the evil ghost was moved with tears and called loudly two times, three three. Hearing these two sounds, Quak Duk suddenly stopped. At the same time, the chloroplast fell and crushed the evil demon to the ground. The words kept echoing in Quak Duk's head, Husband, husband, I'm awake, hurry up and give me a hug, come here, honey, wife, the baby has peed, the baby isn't crying, mommy is changing the diaper, please give it to me, honey, I brought a lot of delicious food for you, hey, husband, you're still young, you can't eat that. Just eat a little, good baby, next time we'll eat it secretly, is that okay, baby? Darling, the happy past of Quak Duk's family was recreated, it was a lovely image of a little boy calling, Dad. Back to reality, the evil devil has been crushed and buried under the rubble. Deep Chula said with a confused face, is it over? Hao Lan Yan then coldly replied, no, not yet. As soon as he finished speaking, the ground began to shake violently. The chloroplast fruit began to be lifted up, and a pair of sharp eyes appeared. Deep Chu La, Deep Chu Mai, and Hao Lan Yan came closer to observe the situation. Deep Chu Mai takes the lead, Deep Chu La follows behind to observe everything, that is the lovely image of a little boy calling, Dad. Deep Chu Mai expressed surprise and said, In the dice, there was an insurance box, but there was no password, how could it be opened? Deep Chu La smiled complacently and replied, It's simple, just smash it out and it'll be fine. Having finished speaking, Deep Chu La took out a sharp knife. Deep Chula walked closer to the front and slashed hard with her hand. Unexpectedly, Deep Chu Li's knife was broken into three. Witnessing the scene, Deep Chula gasped. Hao Lan Yan forced Deep Chula and Deep Chu Mai out and said, You can't do that. Look at me, the blue man is starting up his arms and legs to prepare for action. Hao Lan Yan approached the password door. He continuously pressed each digit on the password door. The more Hao Lan Yan pressed, the faster and crazier he became. It turned out that Hao Lan Yan already had the password. Deep Chu La and Deep Chu Mai saw the photo in their hands, they both exclaimed in surprise, Photo. Password, Deep Chu La and Deep Chu Mai expressed surprise at this action. Soon, Hao Lan Yan entered the final number. A stream of light soared high, and the overbearing blue man followed it with his eyes. The door began to move according to the secret room. Right after that, the door was opened. Inside are mountains of gold and silver, and dollar coins piled up. Hao Lam Yan secretly exclaimed, Yes, I guessed correctly. As expected of being the casino's treasury, the money here is enough for me to return to the original world once. Deep Chu Mai wondered, Big Brother Lam Yan, how do you know the password to the safe? Hao Lam Yan held up the photo and said, Everyone can see for themselves. After the virus broke out at the end of the world, the owner of this casino wants to store the gold so he can use it until after the virus is destroyed. In order to prevent others from opening this golden cabinet, he wrote the password on a photo, then wrote the password on a photo, and then tore the photo into two pieces. Half of it was hidden in his workplace and I found it. The rest was in his jacket pocket, until after his death, Guo Duk took his clothes away. But that fat guy, after putting on his suit, didn't pay attention to the other half of the photo, even when I was watching, I accidentally dropped it. So it was just a coincidence that I got those two photos with the code, and picked up a great bargain. So that's the case, but what do you need this gold for? Now gold is basically worthless, this pile of gold is not even as valuable as a bottle of water. Then I'll do magic for everyone to see, Deep Chula exclaimed in bewilderment, huh? Don't, definitely don't take something out of your crotch. Hao Lam Yan raised his hand to touch the gold and said, Everyone, look carefully. Hao Lam slowly clenched his fists. After that, Hao Lam slowly sat down on the ground to do something. He used the system's ability to start counting gold. The system says, the gold balance is more than 200,000. Seeing this number, Deep Chumai exclaimed in surprise, Is this magic? 
Hao Lan Yan replied, It seems that this is also the time to tell everyone my true identity. Actually, I, Hao Lan Yan, looked serious. Hao Lan Yan continued, Actually, I come from another world. Hearing these words, Deep Chula stared with wide eyes. The atmosphere became quiet. Deep Chu Mai wondered, so you want to find gold to return to the original world? Deep Chu Mai secretly said, what he said was too absurd, but if he didn't say that, it would be impossible to explain his incomplete food in the disappearance of a pile of gold. Deep Chula asked again, will he come back again? Hearing this question, Hao Lan Yan pondered for a while. He gently stroked Deep Chu Li's head and replied, of course. When Deep Chu Mai witnessed this scene, she quickly raised her hand to cover her mouth in surprise. Hao Lam Yan continued, My woman is still here, why can't she come back? Seeing that Hao Lam Yan's actions were a bit unusual, Deep Chula asked confusedly, Who? Who is your woman? Deep Chula looked angry at this action. At this moment, Hao Lam Yan looked embarrassed and didn't know what to say. Deep Chula made a protest against Hao Lam Yan's words. This action caused Hao Lam Yan too much pain. He seemed to have fallen into 18 levels of hell. Hak Lan Yan sat up high, Deep Chula and Deep Chumai sat below. Hao Lan Yan said, Hey, the sun has already risen, why don't you act? As soon as he finished speaking, signs of movement began to appear from within the rubble. A large hand suddenly appeared above. Hao Lan Yan quickly grabbed it tightly, making it scream and struggle but couldn't run anywhere. He mockingly said, Okay, little evil devil, his body is so small, his strength is also great. Deep Chula wondered, what, are you saying he is an evil ghost? Deep Chumai continued, but why did he become so small? Hao Lam Yan replied that he was originally small, his previous giant form was probably his ability. Previously, when I was at Kwok Duk's house, I saw the baby in his body. At that time, I discovered that evil demons were not ordinary giant zombies that simply turned into monsters. He was like a child following orders from me and the fat guy. This proves that the child's own consciousness is the essence of the evil devil. After I saw the drink that could cause Kwok Duk's physical body to regenerate. I also want to keep the evil spirits to study the relationship between them. But the building collapsed so quickly, before I rushed out in front of the building, I could still see tears in the eyes of the evil devil. Hao Lam Nyan sighed and continued, I discovered that I still didn't know much about this world. So, little devil, when he heard him calling, the devil raised his eyes and followed. He lifted the evil devil into his hand with one hand. Then he glanced at it and said, tell me what you know. The little evil ghost had an uncooperative attitude and angered the overbearing blue man with his rude actions. Seeing this, Hao Lam Yan immediately let the evil ghost fall to the ground. Making the evil ghost fall on the ground, he threatened and didn't cooperate, right? The little devil tried to sit on the ground and raised his hand to wipe the sweat from his face. Hao Lam Nyan threw a few threatening moves and said, Come try this move. At this moment, the little devil looked angry and clenched his teeth. It then suddenly rushed towards Hao Lam Nyan. You speed as fast as a wind to attack him. Suddenly, Hao Lam Nyan took out a knob and placed it directly in the little devil's mouth. This made the little devil suddenly calm down. Its eyes became filled with emotion. Memories from the past suddenly came back, my husband and children were still young, I couldn't eat that, let me just eat a little. No, good child, next time we'll eat secretly. Don't let mom know if it's okay or not. Remembering those happy moments, the little devil suddenly exclaimed, three, three. Mom, the little devil's eyes suddenly became innocent. This also surprised Lam Nyan. The little evil ghost happily jumped up and hugged Lam Nyan and called out, Mom, so happy, so happy, Mom. Inside the system space, beeping sounds continuously rang out. Its mechanical voice rang out, the system was about to upgrade, please choose the upgrade direction, after completing the upgrade, new functions will be updated, and the original functions will be maintained, constant. Seeing that, Hao Lam Nyan was somewhat surprised and asked, Oh, what are the options? The goddess system explained that there are three ways to level up. Ah, pick up attributes, calf, underground city, Z, girl group. For picking up attributes, dropping attribute points, after getting them, directly enhances the attribute. Gain exclusive rights to the underground city, open a refuge at the end of the world, and practice fighting to become stronger. 
As for establishing a girl group, each time a girl is recruited to become a member of the girl group, she will win a huge reward. Currently, she has attracted 99 people. Now the host has 5 minutes to choose. As soon as she finished speaking, Hao Lan Yan raised his hand to block her mouth, no. He didn't know where he could get a suit to wear, his hair neatly combed and said, no need to think anymore, I choose the shirt. Forming a girl group is a grown man's choice. The system goddess was speechless, her eyes exuding deep doubt in life. But since it was his choice, she could only sigh and accept it, it was okay, the upgrade system bar immediately entered the flashing state. She added that after the system level up, the host can directly see all the girls that he finds sympathetic. When the favorability level reaches 100, the host can choose whether or not to be accepted into the girl group. Girl group members enjoy the rewards and protection of the system. Hao Lam Yan was so happy that she cried with tears of joy, this is truly amazing, this is really similar to the way I originally thought I wanted to form a girl group. The status bar only has one more line, system leveling is almost complete. Both one person and one system stood patiently waiting. The next second, the entire system's space changed. From when it was just monotonous blue, then it turned white. Then finally turned into a modern comfortable room. Hao Lam Yan looked at it with wide eyes, unable to hide his excitement and let out a loud cry. He glanced from here to there, each time he looked back it was a snap. He rolled on the sofa and expressed, this room is full of benefits, it seems that she also understands that, the system retorted, wrong, it's just a system based on the host's inner preferences, but just by creating a room like that, the overbearing Lan Yan immediately lost his emotions, so that's how it is. While he was lying down, the system screen suddenly popped out, and on it was the little devil's face. System notification, checking if the devil's favorability towards the host has reached 100, do you want to join the girl group, if you join, you can win a reward. The female system looked at the notification and was also surprised, the little devil is a girl, and her favorability is 100, so should she join the group? Hao Lan Yan curled his lips and smiled and replied, that's natural. The update panel popped up, girl group member, member 1 of 99, little devil, child, leprechaun 1, skills, evil eye parasite, disguise, sound wave search, all of it le pretend 1. System news, congratulations to the host for capturing the first member of the girl group, who can win the following rewards. Win fresh pork, 25 kilograms, win fresh beef, 25 kilograms, win, rechargeable battery, 2 pieces. Win the needle to steal the power, one time, one stick, win the crystal of unknown origin. Hao Lan Yan held up the plundering needle and asked, Oh, the plundering needle's ability, is this used to steal the superpowers of evil spirits or zombies? The goddess system confirmed, guessed correctly, the acquired ability can be injected into another person, to get another ability. Hao Lan Yan widened his eyes and asked, Huh, so what that fat guy drank was also a supernatural medicine he got. She raised her nose and arrogantly boasted that the system's products were high-end products, almost like that, but these were not cheap products. He continued to pick up the crystal to inquire, what was this crystal of unknown origin? The system goddess immediately said, this. That needs to be asked by the host to find out for themselves. Hao Lan Yan couldn't help but frown, his body full of question marks looking at the crystal. After a while, he decided to throw it into the pork barrel, so he could figure it out later. The goddess system reminded that the host's current balance is more than 300 million. Is it possible to return to the original world by opening the bronze gate now? Hao Lam Yan replied, yes, there's no rush, wait until I finish arranging Tu La and Tu Mai and then go home, but before that, there's something I need to ask. After that time, he slowly woke up and exited the system space. He opened his eyes and saw the little evil ghost happily calling for mom, mom, play with me. Hao Lan Yan looked at the progress bar above everyone's head and whispered, Oh, is this the progress of sympathy? How come we've only known each other for a few days and our sympathy is so high? But it's also true, after we got to know each other, we went through many life and death battles like that. After I return, I will definitely let their sympathy level drop. Thinking about it, he couldn't help but get excited, along with the little devil, he stood up and down and howled, the two sisters stood behind him and couldn't help but worry, Deep Chula asked, sister, what's wrong with him, could it be that first, did that fight cause brain damage, Chumai immediately said, it's possible, let's pretend we don't know, don't attack him, it will affect his recovery. 
Deep Chula then spoke up and suggested, Mr. Lam Nyan, let's give the little evil ghost a name. The little evil ghost who was playing around stopped when he heard that, what's his name? Then the little girl immediately clung to the overbearing blue man, constantly whining, Mother, name, name. How Lam Nyan frowned and reminded, Really, don't call me mom from now on, you know, the little devil started to cry. He looked at the girl and thought, seeing that she was so stupid and obedient, it was better to call her a kid. The two little sisters stood behind her and waited a bit. How Lan Yan calmly said the name, How K, both of them were speechless. But the little devil didn't know anything, still innocently mumbling the name, arrogantly. The next second he jumped up and down happily, shouting, Duh, duh. How Lam Nyan bent down and instructed, Okay, how K, when I'm not here, you have to listen to those two sisters, you know, the obedient girl nodded. Deep Chumai discovered the meaning in his words and asked suspiciously, What's wrong, do you have to go back? He replied, Yes, I have to leave here for now, I'll be back soon, but before I leave, I still have something to do. In a small house hidden behind the city, the house was so old that green moss had begun to grow. Inside the house, pieces of glass were scattered on the ground, along with red blood flowing down. The woman kept trembling and begging, please don't. She sat hunched over on the sofa, and in front of her, two girls seemed to be having an argument. I only saw Lily my holding a broken blue glass bottle with blood stains on it, and Tuatan was holding her injured arm with some difficulty. She asked in confusion, what exactly do you want to do? Humai's face darkened, her hand picked up the broken part of the glass bottle and she smiled faintly, what do I want to do, Kwok Duk has always spoiled you. If he knew you wanted to run away. What do you think he will do to you, on the chair, the woman's face turned pale and she kept muttering, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Tuatan tried to explain, when did you still want to compete for favor? Humai was angry to the point of blue veins in her face, and she spoke harshly, trying to compete for favor. It's a competition for resources, you idiot. The less food you eat now, the less you'll have. Since you're dead, I can live longer. Then she raised her hand to hold the broken glass bottle and said, You are in the blessing, but don't know how to enjoy it. In the end of the world, a woman like you, if it weren't for Guoda, you would have died long ago. Tuatan was so angry that she trembled and retorted, You call this survival, I would rather die outside. Leave, give me Kwok Duk's car keys, if you don't go, I'll go. Humai clenched her hands and said in a sarcastic tone, Oh, you want the car keys, the car keys are there. On the way to your royal spring, after finishing speaking, she suddenly rushed up. The hand holding the broken bottle hit Snowtan, but fortunately she reacted quickly and promptly leaned back to avoid the blow. But continuing to back down like that also puts her in a difficult position. And sure enough, a moment later, two of my lost her footing and lost her momentum. So she was immediately stabbed by a sharp glass tip on both shoulder blades. Finally, the snow bar's back hit the door. In her heart, she couldn't help but panic when she saw that the lily plum was still rushing forward, it was broken, there was no way back. Tuatmai raised her hand and screamed, then stabbed it down. Tuatan could only pull out a small knife and stop the glass tip before it stabbed into her. She tried to console her, Hawei Mai, please calm down a bit. But Hawaii didn't listen, she tried to use force to force the sharp tip of the broken bottle closer to the snowman, but she still persisted in resisting. At this moment, outside, Hao Lam Nyan's voice rang out, Hao K, it was here. The door was kicked hard by him, pushing the two girls against the wall, and the glass bottle in Lily's hand also fell down. Hao Lam Nyan and Hao K came in with a blade of grass in their mouth to say hello, hello, let's pretend to say goodbye. But when he looked and saw no one, he wondered where he was. Snow opened her eyes wide. The current state of her and Humai is the opposite of before, this time Huemai is in a situation surrounding her. Hao Lan Yan saw this and immediately asked, What are you guys doing? Humai was stabbed in the shoulder by Tuatan's previous knife, she groaned in pain and then fell to her knees on the floor, seeing that, he sighed, it seemed that there was no peace here. Tuatan sighed and asked, Why are you here? She suddenly remembered something and quickly ran to the door to look. Wait, is there also Kwok Duk? Hao Lam Yan calmly said, dead. Tuatan was immediately shocked. What? Hao Lam Yan frowned, looking puzzled. Why? Tuatan still seemed to have doubts, constantly asking, is he dead? Did you kill him? A while later, when everything was explained, the two sat on chairs facing the clear snow but the atmosphere was strangely quiet. 
that state remained for a few more minutes. Finally, Hao Lam Nyan had to speak up first and ask, What's wrong? Do you want to avenge that fat guy? Tuat Tan immediately clarified, No, it was a good kill. That pervert's karma is very heavy. It's just that you came here for that. Hao Lam Nyan immediately put the bottle of liquid that Kwok Duk drank earlier on the table and asked if he had seen this before. Tuat Tan looked and then replied, I haven't seen it yet, but I know what he wants to ask. You want to find a boy called Brother Chin, right? Hao Lam Nyan Bao, continue. She could only recount that every two months, Kwok Duk would sneak out in the middle of the night. Last month, I just saw him meet a man, he called him bro. That day it was raining, the snowman sitting on the stairs saw him go out and immediately followed him. The man with the last name Chin asked, how is the devil? Kwok Duk gingerly replied, he is very good, ah, still the same. That person, realizing his faltering tone, immediately waved his hand, pushed him to the ground, and yelled at him, rendering him useless. At this moment, a bolt of lightning struck, the man's cold eyes looked at Kwok Duk threateningly, if in half a year, if you do not evolve, I will kill you. Returning to the present, Hao Lam Yan heard the story and couldn't help but wonder, wait, do evil spirits still evolve, what kind of person is that brother? To it my honestly replied that she wasn't sure, but I dare say that this bottle was given to her by him. Because on brother Chin's clothes, there is a similar symbol, Hao Lan Yan silently picked up the fluid bottle and looked at the symbol. After asking everything, he immediately put the bottle in his pocket, then stood up and said, Okay, I've asked what I needed to ask, so see you later. Tuat Mai was surprised, looking at him coming to the door, she quickly stood up, Wait, wait. Tuat Mai blushed and said embarrassedly, I prepared to pack my luggage and go to the survivalist space. Do you want to go with me? Hao Lam Nyan smiled and replied, I also want to, but unfortunately there are two girls waiting at home. Bye bye, if fate comes we will meet again. He left, leaving Snow Mai alone in the room. She gently clasped her hands and muttered, if I was also, then it would be good. Space system, Hao Lam Man is standing in front of the bronze door. The system goddess asked again, asking if the host was ready. Hao Lam Nyan remembered that he had already made arrangements for Tu Le and Tu Mai. Before leaving, he left enough food and water, and the zombies nearby had all been exterminated, it seemed safe, mind is back. After thinking about it, he immediately decided, okay, let's go. Hao Lam Nyan reached out and pushed the door. The system announced, open the copper gate, minus 1 million gold coins, the balance of gold coins, 213 million, 0, 010,200 dong. The door opened completely, and Hao Lan slowly walked in. His figure became smaller and smaller. The door also closed until he could no longer see his figure clearly. At this moment, the system added that the return time this time is 24 hours. 24 hours later, when the copper gate is opened, it will be teleported back to the end of the world. The speeds of the two worlds are the same. Position is the last open position. Hao Lan Yan stretched out his arm. The system's space slowly disappeared. In front of him right now, was a wooden door. He raised his hand to turn the door handle. The blue man's overbearing eyes exuded shock. Hao Lan's eyes widened as he looked at the surrounding scene. In front of Lam Yan's eyes was a scene of bustling crowds of people and towering high-rise buildings. The sound of an engine rang out, a helicopter was approaching a high-rise building that was destroyed in one corner. On the roof of our building, the blue man is standing alone in the wind. Hao Lam Nyan narrowed his eyes. The plane's sound became louder and louder, the propeller then stopped. A series of footsteps stomped down there, running quickly forward. A group of people dressed in black suits and dark glasses pulled out guns and pointed them straight ahead. And the person being held at gunpoint was the overbearing blue man. A pair of high heels stepped down. A girl wearing a tight outfit, her whole body hot, smiled and said, He is indeed not dead yet. Looking at the person in front of him, Hao Lam Nyan couldn't help but frown and think, just needy. Just look at the person in front of you with pride and say, my beloved blue person. Hao Lam Nyan was not weak and smiled and said hello, hey, long time no see. The helicopter landing on the building completely stopped. As long as someone helps him down, he walks and talks, he feels like he hasn't seen her for a long time, Hao Lam Nyan, even though everyone said that after he was hit by a plane, he would definitely not be alive. Chi Nu's steps finally stopped and he stood up straight, but without seeing his body with my own eyes, I still felt uneasy. 
just looking at the overbearing blue man in front of him, the whole person was extremely tense and thought, hum, what exactly happened, why did he seem like nothing happened? Could it be that he doesn't have any peerless martial arts to tell me? It's impossible, there is no technique that can resist being hit by a plane without being harmed at all, now his body must be severely damaged everywhere, just being injured, just try hard. She gritted her teeth, she couldn't be fooled, she had to take advantage of his illness to take his life. Hao Lam Yan just smiled and said, why do you look so tense? Are you thinking about whether or not you should kneel down and ask for forgiveness? Just hearing this, my whole body was very tense, but I still tried to force myself to say, ha, please forgive me, are you telling a joke, I'm about to die, but you're still pretending, I really admire you. Hao Lam Yan was stunned, speechless as he thought, could it be that this woman thought she was seriously injured everywhere, she was just struggling, right? Hao Lam Yan smirked provocatively, whether it was pretending or not, you just came to try to find out. I just wanted to be told to be speechless, but still gritted my teeth and said, I hate the look that I'm sure of winning, but you don't look at other people like that. Don't think that since you are a great master, no one can control you, today I will force you to kneel down to beg me. Even though the two of them were only master level martial artists, just using that thing, after speaking, the two master level people, Meng Fei Long and Meng Fei Tiger also stepped forward, blocking the person of Chi Nu. As long as you confidently declare firmly, killing him is more than enough. Hao Lan Yan scratched his nose inexplicably, oh, what the hell are those pants? The man in black wore a counting box in front of the two people, Mon Fai Long and Mon Fai Tiger, and respectfully said, invite. Two people opened the box and each received a blue needle. The needle is inserted directly into the neck, and the liquid is injected into the vein. The liquid seeped into every blood vessel, the whole body of Tian Fai Long and Tian Fai Tiger trembled, and blood vessels also emerged because of that. Hao Lam Yan opened his eyes wide in surprise, this is it. Just crossed his arms and laughed proudly, from the beginning to the future, the master, the great master, each level truly has red flags that are difficult to overcome, with the two of them, it is truly impossible to beat him, but but. Immediately after that, with just a snap, the clothes of Mon Fai Long and Mon Fai Tiger were torn, revealing their muscular muscles. The bodies of the two of them also turned red, looking extremely scary, just to explain, this medicine can increase their strength directly ten times faster, far surpassing that of the great sect, master, even you can't beat them, sir, your era is over. I will let you die without a burial place. At this moment, a voice rang out, wait. Hao Lam Yan immediately turned to look and couldn't help but be surprised, it was her. On this side, just frowning tightly, it's you. A pair of black high heels stomped on the floor. Dufan stepped forward to block the blue man's face, coldly declaring, Let me see, who dares to touch my body? Hao Lam Yan stiffly scratched his face, his whole body blankly asking, Ha, huh, your person. Dufan turned around and said, You saved my life, I will definitely protect Alpha Nu Ada. Just smiling like crazy, why did the boss who was so overbearing in Blue Bang fall into the path of being protected by a woman? Hao Lam Yan frowned, looking extremely angry and protective. Du Fan looked at Lam Yan and asked, Are you really okay? Hao Lam Yan said affirmatively, Don't worry, I'm fine. He stepped forward and cracked his knuckles, saying, Now, the ones who need to worry are you guys. The two strong flying dragons and strong flying tigers looked at the overbearing blue man approaching and also turned their knuckles ready for battle. The two looked at the overbearing blue man and gritted his teeth viciously, he looked down on our brothers, his younger brother, and was a brat. Mon Fai Long muttered, go deal with him, tiger. Hearing his brother's words, Mon Fai immediately responded, then rushed forward with the speed of an arrow. He jumped up like a fierce beast and threw a punch at Hao Lam Yan, but luckily Hao Lam Yan avoided it, leaving his fist pinned straight to the ground. Right after that, a large rock rose from the ground. In Hao Lan Man's surprised eyes, Mon Fai Tiger turned around and kicked three rocks in front of him. With a sudden sound, the kick became so powerful that it emitted a shock several meters high. Rubbles flew towards Du Fan, but all of them were gently blocked by her subordinates with their hands. On this side, the strong flying dragon also used his hands to shoot away rocks and soil. He looked at the scene before him, his face pensive and saying nothing. During the battle, the two strong people flying tiger and the arrogant blue man still looked at each other, no one would lose to the other. Hao Lam Yan still stood in a defensive position, his arms held in front of me and said, that's interesting. 
Then come here, Hao Lam Yan announced. Hao Lam Yan declared with a serious face, then let's show you the strength of the great master. Meng Feihu snorted madly, what are you bragging about, now I am. Hao Lam Yan's eyes lit up, a seal appeared in his eyes, a mysterious ghost shadow. In front of the flying tiger's eyes, a light suddenly flashed, and a long line formed on the ground. Mon Fai Tiger's expression became tense, he was no longer seen, but Hao Lam's figure was now behind him. The two subordinates of Du Fan here looked at Hao Lam Yan's moves and judged that this is the strongest technique of the Tang sect in legend. The other person also nodded in agreement, it seemed that was the case. Mon Fai Long looked at Mon Fai Tiger being attacked, and shouted worriedly, Tiger brother, behind. At this moment, the blue man waved his hand, a stream of light swirled around his body and flew like a tiger, as if trying to knock him away. Mon Fai Long saw that the situation was not good, he simply pulled out his tie and silently cursed, Damn, let me help you. Having finished speaking, Mon Fei Leo stomped on the ground with one foot, and his whole body rushed towards Mon Fai Tiger. The two of them used all their strength to rush towards each other, attacking the overbearing blue man together. But unfortunately, both of them were surrounded in the middle, outside were many overbearing blue people constantly moving, not knowing what was real and what was fake, why was the owl so slow, haven't you eaten yet? Mon Fai Long glanced at his brothers behind him and said, We have to sandwich bread, you up, I'll go down, I can't believe I can't catch him, Mon Fai Tiger nodded and replied, Okay. At this moment, Mon Fai Long discovered Hao Lan Yan's footprints, he shouted loudly, Over there! Both of them immediately rushed forward, simultaneously attacking the person in front of them. Looking at the people rushing in, Hao Lan Yan thought, just to say it right, these two master level martial artists have already surpassed the Grand Master's overall strength under the effect of the medicine. If I had fought with the two of them before, my chances of winning wouldn't have been too great, but the blue man's overbearing eyes lit up, and a circle seal formed in his eyes. He was as quick as lightning to escape the flying tiger's fist. I am no longer the Hao Lan Yan I used to be, Hao Lan Yan turned around and punched the strong flying dragon behind me with his fist. This punch sent the flying dragon flying high, causing the whole person to be seriously injured and spitting blood. Only then did Mon Fai Tiger regain his composure and turned around to look at Long Brother. His feet pressed tightly to the ground, the friction causing small sparks to shoot out. The tiger's strong eyes became fierce, extremely angry and shouted, If you dare to harm my brother, I will do it to you. Mon Fai Tiger's whole body went crazy, Look at me, I'm the king of diamonds. Mon Fei Tiger kicked and kicked straight towards Hao Lam Yan. But unfortunately, the blue man in front of him turned into white smoke and disappeared. Meng Fei Tiger's kick landed directly on Meng Fei Long's face. Mon Fai Tiger's face is pale, damn, dragon brother. At this time, Hao Lan Yan was behind the strong flying dragon's back, completely healed without a single wound. The blue man's two overbearing eyes lit up at the same time, mockingly saying, Well, I didn't intend to use it on these trash. The blue man's overbearing hand reached forward, touching the back of the dragon's strength. The blue man's hand radiated a dazzling golden light, the blue man continued, but he still had to let everyone know. Who was the father, the radiating light sent the flying dragon flying far away, his whole body crashed straight into the rock, his whole body flattened there. Meaning, the supreme Tathagata palm, a hand as big as a Buddha's hand shot out. Looking from afar, the building emitted a large plume of white smoke, proving how powerful the attack was. The crowd at the scene at this time had extremely scared faces, and sweat was also continuously falling. Dufan's mouth slightly raised, proudly saying, as expected of the man he likes. Her two subordinates were equally terrified, stammering, what kind of monster is this? Truly a formidable creature. As for Chi Nu, his face turned pale, unable to accept this truth, this, it's impossible, they are. The sect level martial artist was also injected with medicine newly researched by the company, but he lost. Hao Lan Yan narrowed his eyes, glanced at the crowd and asked, who else was there? The group of people quickly backed away in fear, hastily saying, Big brother, sorry, we surrender, please spare little brother's life. Hearing that, Hao Lam Yan immediately felt depressed, what, just now he was talking too much, that's all. Hmm, this is, at this moment, Hao Lam Yan noticed the vial that the two people had just injected on the ground. Picking up the medicine box, Hao Lam Yan wondered, why is this medicine bottle? 
just looked at Hao Lan Yan, gritted his teeth and silently cursed, Damn, why did Hao Lan Yan become so strong, I must. Tomorrow, I will let people know. Then, taking advantage of the moment when no one was paying attention, Chi Nu turned around and got on the plane to escape. At this moment, the cold voice of Hao Lam Yan came, Hey, did I say I let you go? Blue's overbearing hand was covered with blue veins. He turned around and said, You forgot what the consequences would be for betraying me. Now, guess what I will do to you? Only with a pale face and stammering question, You, what do you want? Will you forgive me? Hao Lam Yan smirked and said, This depends on her sincerity. Hao Lam Yan took out the medicine box and asked, Tell me who gave it to you, then I will forgive you. Looking at the face right in front, he just asked in disbelief, Really? Hao Lam Yan only faintly said her current situation, Now you can only believe me. Just biting my lips tightly, sweat kept falling, Here. In the end, I could only compromise and explain, This was given to me by a person named Chu Town, He is the general manager of a new type of weapons company, Getting this is the company's new project, research company. The person who designed the plane that hit you is also him. I was just threatened by him. Chi Nu's hand suddenly rose and placed it in front of Hao Lan Yan's chest. Full of affection, he said, Actually, I still love you very much. Can we start again from the beginning? Just with his red face hugging the person in front of him and saying, Bossy blue man, you still remember us. Listening to her talk for a while, the overbearing blue man finally couldn't bear it anymore and turned black. Enough was enough. Hao Lan Yan's hand pushed Chi Nu's hand away from his body, not forgetting to threaten and say, Hao Lan Yan, you still remember us. His eyes were just wide open, his mind was extremely confused, why is it like this, it's not like that, before he loved me so much, he listened to me in everything, why now? At this moment, Hao Lan Yan's eyes radiated murderous intent and asked, tell me, what was his purpose in killing me, and also, where is he now? Just like the whole person collapsed, he fell directly to the ground, his knees kept contacting the ground. She looked down and said, it seems he wants to get something in your area, as for where he is, I, I don't know, usually he contacts me. Hao Lam Yan grabbed Chi Nu's face, making her look straight at him and asked, what is he looking for? Chi Nu was scared, his whole body trembled and said, I don't know, he didn't tell me. Just with teary eyes, full of urgency, I really don't know. Hao Lan Yan's face became even more fierce, speechless as he looked at the person shaking like a leaf in front of him. Closing his eyes, Hao Lan Yan let out a sigh. He dropped the thread and waved his hand and said, Leave, I have to keep what I say, I'll let you go this time. After saying this, Hao Lan Yan turned around and left, leaving nothing to chance. Just to escape death, he quickly wiped away his tears, silently swearing in his heart, overbearing blue person, today even if you are soft-hearted, you will forgive me. But I won't forget today's humiliation, at this moment, the person in front of me spoke again, but. I only saw how Lam Yan stop his steps and not turn back and said, I agree to forgive you, but some people don't agree. Just with an extremely confused face, a slightly uneasy voice asked, who is that? I only saw Du Fan and his subordinates stand up and say, Little sister, why have you forgotten me? Initially, I was the victim in the plane crash into that large building. If it weren't for the overbearing person there, I would have died by now. Du Fan pulled back his hair. His eyes looked straight at him with a smile. We should consider this debt. Just stammering profusely in sweat. You, you. A moment later, her face was beaten until it was bruised, and her whole body was tied to a wooden pole and carried away. She struggled and screamed, who was standing behind, quickly let me go, the white-haired boy smiled and ordered, good, do it quickly, carry it downstairs for me, the ten-minute countdown begins, slow as smash you guys. On the other side, Hao Lan Yan walked to the edge of the rooftop and stood looking down, Du Fan slowly walked over. Hao Lan Yan suddenly spoke up and said, take all the secrets out of her mouth, and also help me find some supplies, Du Fan was skeptical, what supplies? He immediately gave her a piece of paper. Du Fan was a bit surprised at first. When she received it and opened it to read, there were many items written on it such as pistols, sniper rifles, bullets, medicine, medical boxes, pharmaceuticals, water. She couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat and asked, Do you want to fight? But during the time he went missing, all his accounts were frozen, and now he doesn't have any money left. But, with me here, I can help you handle it, as long as you agree with me on one thing. Hao Lam Yan snorted and said, Hao Lam Yan, am I short of money? 
Then he took out a black card and generously said, Take it, use it freely, if it's not enough, just find me to get it again. Back in the past, before entering the copper gate, the goddess system gave him this card and explained, This card is related to money in your system. In the original world there was direct money, pepper. Right now, he is still bragging, 99 black cards, isn't it cool, there is only one card in this world, Du Fon secretly wondered, this guy on duty, in such a situation, do you still have money? Hao Lam Nyan turned to look down at the city and said, okay, the supplies have been processed, then next. There's one more important thing I need to do. On the other hand, in a house, a man in a red shirt is standing next to the window. The guy was holding a cup of steaming hot tea in his hand, he asked if he had found Hao Lan Yan yet. Another person standing with his arms crossed leaning against the wall replied, not yet. That person had a long scar across his eye on his face, he squeezed the teacup in his hand and ordered, continue looking, even if it means digging underground, you must find that person for me. The young man in the blue shirt obeyed the order. Hao Lan Yan carried a bag of things and went to a place called Motel No. 6. He walked inside, and at this moment, there were two people sitting next to the stairs. He directly ignored it and went to the reception desk, where a person was sitting with his legs on the table. He tapped lightly on the table to signal. That person with a unique head of hair, eyes closed and eyes open, said, Go, the boss won't receive guests today. Hao Lam Yan leaned against the table and suddenly recited a poem, The Ancient Formula of the Earthquake, The Ancient Art of a River Through the Water in the Sky. As soon as he finished speaking, the other person was immediately surprised, you. He stood up straight and replied, the tides of the sea, the three rivers, and the waters of thousands of miles. Hao Lam Yan asked again, where are they? He scratched his head and said, they are in the basement, I will take you there. After that, the man with curly hair took Hao Lan Yan to a basement, he pointed at the door below the stairs and said, that's down there, my little brother hasn't gone there. Hao Lan Yan put his hands in his pockets and slowly walked down the stairs. He reached out and grabbed the door handle. Just opened it a little. Then inside, a hand reached out and grabbed his head. Hao Lan Yan used his strength to free himself from that person's hand. His eyes wrinkled and glanced at the other person. The overbearing bag the blue man carried on his shoulder was thrown to the ground. He leaned forward, hugged the man in red and pushed him towards the room. Then he swung around and struck a forward blow, the other person immediately leaned back and narrowly avoided it. At the same time, he also jumped back, a distance away from Hao Lan Yan. He snorted and then smiled. On the other side, Hao Lan Yan also laughed. The two suddenly shook hands. The man in red said happily, you're finally back, boss, he praised, not bad, good progress. At this time, several of his juniors also came out to express, Boss, we had a hard time finding you. Hey, boss, I bet you're definitely okay, boss, have you gotten stronger, have you eaten properly recently? Hao Lam Yan smiled and replied, Very good, tell me everything that happened recently. They immediately said yes in unison. In the small room, there were six people, Trong Hong sat on the chair and quietly told everything, that was it, the boss's original eight brothers rushed out into the world, now there are only five people left, us, if it weren't for that damn medicine, we wouldn't have it either. Because that's all it takes to hide from a woman, we've been hiding in a secret place recently. Boss, everyone is still waiting for your return. Hao Lan Yan knew everything, immediately squeezed the teacup in his hand and said, during this time, you guys have to suffer. But the current situation, for us, is not that bad, the enemy is in the light, we are in the dark, there are a few things that are more convenient for us to do. Trong Hong asked skeptically, what the boss meant was. Hao Lam Yan implicitly confirmed that starting today, we will all work in secret, protecting ourselves and at the same time digging out the power behind Chi Nu, I have to leave here for a while to handle a few things. But I have left enough capital for the company's operations, when I am not present during this period, Trong Hong will take over to manage everything, that's right, if anything happens, you can go find the remains of the creature that forced you, she will help. After listening, the five people said in unison, yes, boss. Early the next morning, the rooster crowed, signaling the beginning of a new day. At a custom seaport, everyone seems to be busy working. Even though it was early in the morning, there were already many people here. Hao Lam Yan stood looking at the materials stored in a large container and couldn't help but exclaim that the items on the invoice were already collected and worked efficiently. 
The white-haired man wearing glasses expressed, Mr. Lan, please wait a moment, I understand the letter is on its way. A moment later, Du Fan came over and asked, How are you satisfied, Mr. Hao Lan? He immediately blinked his bright eyes and snapped his fingers in praise, Not bad, but I still have something I want to ask you for help with. Du Fan was angry but still tried to maintain his image and asked, I said, Boss, do you think I'm an errand boy? Hao Lan shyly scratched his cheek and falteringly explained, Ah, no, she would be interested in this. Then he immediately brought out the bottle of liquid that Kwok Duk drank before, which was this liquid, and helped me analyze the contents inside. Du Fan saw it and wondered, Oh, this is Chi Nu's injection inside, it's not us. Hao Lan Yan immediately interrupted, No, you know right away when you see it. He opened the box, inside was a white mouse. He held the mouse's mouth open, then poured the remaining water inside for it to drink. Wait until the rat swallows all the medicine. Hao Lam Yan used his hand to cut off its head. But a second later, black tendrils appeared on the mouse's head. Soon, the mouse that had just lost its head had a new head regenerated, as if nothing had happened. The people of the spare room looked at such a series of things, everyone was stunned, what is this? The mouse was now almost complete without any dents. Du Fan couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat and ask, This regeneration ability is much stronger than that injection, where did you get it? If I can research and reproduce this medicine, what effect will it have? I will. Will radiate to the whole world. Du Fan sighed and held his head. She finally made a decision, Okay, I will help you with this, really? Using such a large drop to feed the mouse, what a waste. Hao Lan Yan explained, I'm not afraid that you'll think I'm letting you do some errands, so I have to pay attention to confidentiality. The professor behind Du Fan immediately assured, Don't worry, my Yu family is the largest biological science and technology company in the country, no one understands this medicine better than us. Hao Lan Yan said with satisfaction, That's good, when I'm not here, remember to take care of the gang's brothers who are too bossy for me. Du Fan was surprised, he had to go. He replied, Don't worry, I will be back soon, that's good. Hao Lam Yan suddenly turned around and smiled and said, That's right, I'll handle these two boxes myself later. Even though Du Fan didn't know what he was planning to do, she agreed, she frowned and thought, Lately, why has this guy been so mysterious? Information system, the time has come, the transmission system has started, the copper link door has opened again. Hao Lam still happily said to himself, this time we have collected quite a lot of supplies, little la, uh, little beauty can't help but be so happy. Just thinking about it, his face was red and his nose was bleeding. You're so bossy, can I give you a kiss? Without wasting time, the blue man entered the door. As soon as he returned, he heard the sound of running water. Hao Lan Yan was moved right in front of the bathroom, the hot water made the glass door foggy with mist. Hao Lan Yan seemed to imagine something, the blood from his nose just stopped running out like a waterfall. In the bathroom, although the hot steam obscured it, he still vaguely recognized the girl's silhouette, making him feel familiar. Hao Lan Yan's face turned red, he muttered, this is a new type of zombie, I can't ignore it. In the end of the world, you need to be extremely careful. Thinking about it, he jumped up towards the bathroom and shouted, Zombie, where are you going? The young girl in the bathroom saw someone trying to barge in and let out a cold snort. She immediately jumped up and tried to grab the intruder. The two collided with each other, creating a painful sound. Only to see later, the blue man was riding on her back, while he was rolling on the floor. Before he stopped, his face was pressed flat on the floor, his mouth screaming in pain. Because the woman was bathing, she still had some shower gel on her body, she knelt on the overbearing blue man's back and called out with a smile, Mom, it turns out that she is the tiny, overbearing little devil who has grown bigger. Hao Lam Yan stood still for a moment, but when Hao Kei saw him again, he was extremely happy and kept leaning forward, hugging his neck, calling his mother repeatedly. She even licked his face, after a moment of thinking, the overbearing blue man wondered, Wait, this familiar feeling, could it be you? At this moment, the door to the room opened, Deep Chu Mai brought the things in and asked, Hao K, after bathing, I will give you the clothes, Hao Lan Yan saw her and was startled. Looking at the situation in their hearts right now, Deep Chu Mai coldly asked, Why are you in the bathroom, big brother Hao Lan? Hao Lan Yan was startled and quickly explained, No, I didn't, Chu Mai, don't think nonsense. After that, Hao K put on the clothes that Deep Chu Mai brought, the little girl puffed her cheeks and said, New clothes, not comfortable. 
but she was only uncomfortable for a few seconds and then she was entangled again with Hao Lam Nyan, and he was engrossed in thinking, he was indeed overbearing, but only 24 hours after leaving the world, he became already a little lolly, no, let's think about these things later, what needs to be resolved now is. Deep Chu Mai frowned in question, didn't expect that even a child wouldn't forgive him. Hao Lan Yan awkwardly scratched his face, coughed twice and explained, No, I just wanted to use an unexpected way to explore the limitless abilities of evil spirits, and besides, I didn't know it when I started. Deep Chu Mai looked skeptical, Oh, is that so? Now I'm done trying. Should we play a game with Hao K? After saying this, she suddenly smiled coldly as if she had some hidden meaning. Hao Lan Yan didn't know anything so he asked, Are you playing a game? Hao Kei raised the ball and excitedly said, let's play a game, seeing that, he even confidently raised his nose and kicked the ball, then I'm very powerful. At that time, my soccer friend judged me to be like Messi, while he was still blabbing, the boss threw the ball to the ground, she lifted her leg and kicked the ball really hard. It rushed away at a breakneck speed, but Hao Lan Yan didn't even notice, he was still rambling. That year, I had a soccer match with a boy named Rondu. Before I could finish speaking, the ball rushed towards me, right in the middle of his face. Hao Lan Yan was sent flying backwards, hitting the wall hard, smoke and dust from the impact spread throughout the room. After they gradually dispersed, revealing the overbearing blue man's face, he was pressing his face against the wall, but the ball didn't have time to fall. He sighed helplessly, caught off guard, why was the force of the boss so great? When Ha Kei was played with, he happily shouted, so happy, mom, I still want to play. That evening, on the rooftop of the building, all three people seemed to be having a barbecue, a stream of smoke rising. A piece of meat is grilled over a fire, each drop of fat falls, the aroma radiates. Deep Chu Mai recounted the incident, only then did Hao Lan Yan know the reason. So, Ha Kei secretly ate the box of beef and pork I left behind, and then turned into the appearance of Lo Li. Deep Chu Mai confirmed, yes, she seems to be growing up and speaking more fluently. But even though his overbearing body has matured, his thinking is like that of a child, he doesn't even know how to take off his clothes when bathing, we still have to help him, it seems, I still have to teach him, it's a lot. Hao Lan Yan suddenly remembered, fortunately he was careful just now, otherwise he would have turned into something. Then, he pointed to the bags next to him and said, that's right, I've brought new clothes and equipment for everyone, you and your boss should put them on. After speaking, I don't know what Hao Lan Yan was thinking, but his eyes seemed to turn into heart shapes, his mouth kept giggling. Deep Chu Mai replied gratefully, really, thank you, and Hao Kei was still staring at the meat skewers. She had no choice but to stand up, lead the girl towards some cloths hanging nearby and say, okay, Hao Kei, let's change clothes, but Hao Kei's mind just wants to eat meat, Deep Chu Mai had to coax her, I'll change, once finished, big brother will play soccer with me, really, that's great. The two of them just avoided Hao Lam Nyan's eyes, but did not know that the firelight had made their shadows appear. Hao Lam Nyan looked at them and had a nosebleed. Deep Chu Mai was dressing while instructing Hao Kei to do it. Hao Kei, you take off your clothes first. Um, Hao Kei, you can't eat your clothes. Um, but your butt is very cold. Be good, don't move. Let me change your clothes for you. Hao Lam Nyan sat outside trying to calm himself down, but it didn't work. He had to control himself and shift his attention. That's right, can Ha Kei turn into a low Li because he ate that can of pork, or should I say, this is his ability, let me see. Thinking about it, he opened the interface system to look up the information, member attributes, Ha Kei, 5 adult stages, skills, parasitic evil eye level 1, camouflage level 1, sound wave search level 1, 1. After looking at the information, Hao Lam Nyan couldn't help but be surprised, oh, the childhood period became the adulthood period, could it be evolution, but it was for no reason, why did it evolve? The two people on the other side finally finished changing, deep to my bow, okay Hao Kei, let's go out, Hao Lam Nyan immediately turned around to look. The two girls came out, haughty in a lady's dress in low Lee style, while Deep Chu Mai wore a tight outfit that revealed her body curves, she excitedly called out, new clothes, and Deep Chu Mai friend shyly expressed it, my brother was shy, it seemed like the wrong clothes were a bit small, I was wearing them and it was a bit tight. This image directly caused damage to Hao Lan Man, blood from his nose flowed like a waterfall, he raised his thumb in silent exclamation, indeed the hard work of choosing was truly worth it, the brother's opinion is reliable. Right after that, he seriously sat down again and coughed and said, let's talk about the main thing. Hao Kei, can you turn into the low Li you are now? Hao Kei is facing a meat skewer. 
Seeing him ask like that, he innocently replied, it's not like he's changed, he's grown up. How Lam Nyan couldn't help but doubt, how could zombies grow up, it seemed very likely that they had already evolved, like zombies, they could evolve into evil ghosts, but how could they only eat meat, can it be transformed? However, if it were that simple, Ha Ke would have evolved to maturity long ago. In the end, the reason is that there is wisdom in the meat, or maybe. Hao Lan Yan was still very skeptical, so he continued to ask, Hao Ke, think carefully, besides eating meat, do you eat anything else, or do something, Hao Ke is eating a lot but still try to remember. Then, as if remembering something, the girl said, that's right, she also ate a red rock, it was very difficult to eat. Hao Lan Yan immediately realized that the red stone was the reward crystal from the previous round of that system. That thing can cause evil demons to evolve, so does Hake's previous ability to turn into a giant still exist? Whether it evolves or not, well, let's check a bit. Immediately, he took out a piece of paper from his pocket and held it up in front of the girl, saying, Hey, try to see if you can change into this look. Hake looked at the girl wearing a sexy bunny outfit on the paper and hesitated, This, me. Deep Chu Mai, sitting next to her, angrily reminded, Big Brother Lam Yan. Suddenly, the rooftop door was knocked repeatedly. The knocking was loud but there were no other voices. Deep Chumai said without a doubt that Tula had returned, her previous knife was broken, so she went out to find a new one. Then she stood up and walked towards the door, when she opened it, Deep Chumai happily teased, little tears, look who's home. But on the other side of the door, there was a stream of blue liquid falling to the ground. Haven't heard anything for a long time, Deep Chumai turned around, Tula, what's wrong? But in front of her eyes, it was not Deep Tula, but a zombie, its eyes staring at her with a disgusting smile, a blue liquid even flowing under its chin. It rubbed its teeth together, making loud noises. Deep Chumai turned pale, her pupils shrank in panic as she looked at those blue drops of fluid flowing down her face. The zombie was much taller than her, it raised its hand to touch her head. At this moment, something rushed forward, the blue man shouted loudly and lowered his head. Deep Chumai did so, and the zombie was then pinned to the body by the meat skewer. Deep Chumai was released, extremely grateful and said, thank you. Hao Lan, who was still chewing on the meat skewer, said, little beauty, hurry up and eat the grilled meat, if you don't eat it, the meat will burn, Hao Kei also exclaimed in sympathy, grilled meat, delicious. He smiled reassuringly, next, just leave it to me. The zombie gritted its teeth and reached out to pull out the wooden skewer stuck in its body. Little Beauty Deep, at this opportunity, jumped out of it and ran towards the other two people. Hao Lan Yan was a little surprised, this is it. His blood and the corpse from before are not the same, moreover. This zombie cannot regenerate, just thinking about this, this zombie rushed towards the three people, its speed was somewhat agile. Hao Lan immediately pulled out the iron needles and unleashed his 18th move, Troop Team Lang. Hao Kei looked at this action and his eyes glowed, wow, ma ma so cool. Hao Lan Yan used his internal force to press down on his feet. Then he jumped up, shooting long, sharp needles at the zombies, taste the specially prepared corn bamboo shoots of the corn team card. The zombie couldn't avoid it in time, ate all the needles into its body, and was even pushed to stumble and fall towards the door. Hao Kei jumped around Hao Lan Yan and exclaimed, mom is so powerful, I want to learn, can you teach me? I thought the zombie then died. But it suddenly moved its hand, then suddenly pulled out the iron needle stuck in its body. It then launched the needle towards the guy who was standing there. Hao Kei sensed something, so he glanced over. Seeing the needle approaching her, she immediately raised her hand and calmly caught it. The needle carrying the zombie's blood was held tightly in his hand by the handle. When she opened her hand, the girl winced, because on her hand, the places in contact with the blue blood were gradually corroded. Hao Kei saw this scene and was extremely surprised, here. This zombie is unlike the one encountered before, its blood is corrosive. Deep Chumai quickly shouted, gasped, and quickly released her hand. At this moment, on the zombie's side, the places where the needle had been pierced released a cloud of smoke. The zombie sat up and smiled sinisterly. From those holes, drops of green blood flowed out. When it stood up, its whole body was dyed with green blood, green streams of gas surrounded it. The zombie glanced towards the boss. Its long, slender body slowly walked towards the girl. Deep Chumai was so worried that she was about to rush towards her, arrogantly. But Hao Lam Nyan had already gone up before she said, Wait, wait a minute. 
On the other side, the boss still appeared unharmed. From her hand, an electric current emerged. The wound on her hand also gradually shrank, and soon there was no trace left. Hao Kei let out a loud sound and made a hand gesture like making a seal. Then a light flashed. His entire body lit up, his whole body transformed like in the movie Sailor Moon. The girl's appearance slowly changed. A little lolly becomes the appearance of Hao Lam Yan. In her hand she held sharp needles just like he did just now, the only difference was her round pink cheeks, she called this move Bamboo Team Lang Number 2. The other zombie saw that and was slightly surprised. Hao Kei jumped up, the same movement as Hao Kei threw a needle at the zombie. It can only stand still and endure the needles being stabbed into it. Hao Lam Yan was silently exclaiming, but he didn't expect that after Hao Kei disguised himself, he could still copy his martial arts, Deep Chu Mai exclaimed, so powerful. Hao Lam Yan was happy, if you add the evil eye parasitic and the sound wave search attribute written on the board, Hao Kei's fighting power is not bad. After winning, Ha Kei happily shouted, I won, I'm so powerful. Then she suddenly turned around, used Hao Lan Yan's face to make a two-way gesture with him and asked, Mom, isn't Hao Kei very powerful? Hao Kei suddenly shivered all over. He couldn't help but vomited, Deep Chu Mai hugged her stomach and laughed like she had a good harvest. Hao Lan Yan bit his lips and cried, his image was always great and powerful, so how could he face Tu Beauty again in the future, he really didn't want to see that appearance of himself again, any second, thinking about it, he angrily turned around and scolded me, scolded me, and quickly changed back to his original appearance. But when he turned around, facing him was the face of a zombie with its mouth wide open. Deep Chu Mai shouted in fear, be careful. The zombie didn't know when it arrived, it threw its arms around and tried to hug the overbearing blue man. He immediately deployed martial spirit. His eyes stared at the zombie and began to want to manipulate it, he even chuckled, since he started controlling you, it was only because he wanted to test the ability of the zombie, now. The zombie's eyes widened, the martial arts spirit seemed to have no effect on it. The system also notifies and controls failure. The zombie wrapped its arms tightly, and the overbearing blue man quickly bent down to avoid it. The overbearing blue man's eyebrows frowned slightly, this was clearly not an evil ghost, so why wasn't it controlled? Leaving, his hand produced a needle. The zombie opened its mouth, sticking out its long tongue at the blue man. But it's a zombie, so its movements are a bit slower than the blue man's. He then used a needle to poke its head straight from behind. Soon, a large hole appeared in the zombie's head. Its blood splashed everywhere. Seconds later, it collapsed to the ground, this time it was truly dead. System prompts, system information, killing special zombies, the value of money increases by 5. Looking at this announcement, Hao Lam couldn't help but be surprised, oh, is this a special zombie, before, the zombies that were beaten to death were all 1 million, this is only 5 million. The three people stood looking at the zombie's body, and the boss also changed back to his appearance. The little girl squatted down and looked at it, thinking, her flesh was torn apart. It seemed like he could eat it, he was about to reach down. On one side, Deep Chu Mai and Hao Lam Yan were stunned. He immediately ran over, picked up the girl's neck and taught her, bossily. You can't eat these nonsense things, you know, really, this habit of eating zombies has to change, remember. But when I looked closely, on the handle was a purple crystal. Hao Lam Yan's eyes widened. This is. Hao Lam Yan picked up the crystal and thought, this is not the crystal of unknown origin that was previously awarded to the star system. At this moment, the voice of the goddess system rang out, bingo. Unexpectedly, you found glass energy, so invite the host to enter the system space. Inside that space, Hao Lam Yan couldn't help but ask, is this type of crystal supposed to help how monster evolve? The system goddess couldn't help but praise, smart, so what else do you know? He replied, she once said that the evil ghost devoured 10,000 newly evolved zombies, and Hake only ate one crystal, then he had already evolved, plus this crystal was discovered in the zombie's head. The goddess leisurely drank her coffee and asked, oh, what happens after that? Seeing her acting like that, Lan Yan angrily snatched the glass from her hand before continuing. I guess, in the bodies of all zombies, there is some kind of energy, right, it's just the energy of normal zombies, so it doesn't form crystals, but zombies just need to devour other zombies, can all get energy, after the energy converges, it can form crystals, from which zombies also evolve into evil demons, am I right? 
The system goddess angrily hummed, in her heart she cursed in annoyance, she dared to snatch her coffee, she was tired of living. After talking too much, his mouth became dry, so Hao Lan Yan immediately took out his cup of coffee and drank it dry. He wiped his mouth and concluded, therefore, a certain amount of normal zombie energy must converge with a crystal, the more it devours, the stronger the crystal. The system goddess immediately confirmed that it was correct. That's right, every energy in a normal zombie's body is very rare, some things cannot even crystallize, occasionally, there are zombies that have energy after devouring other zombies, will endlessly desire this type of energy, then under the control of instinct, will constantly prey on other zombies. When the body gathers the energy of about 5,000 normal zombies, crystals may be produced in the head, like the one you just encountered, they will gain incomplete abilities, the body variations may also occur. After the amount of devouring reaches 10,000, it will produce huge mutations, they can restore memories and awaken all kinds of abilities, they are called evil ghosts. Something like that. After listening to the explanation, Hao Lan Yan also thought of a few things, no wonder Brother Chin said something about cultivating evil spirits before. So if Ha Kei continues to devour crystals, what will it evolve into? In his mind, he began to imagine countless shapes, types of powers, types of mutations, and types of aliens. Well, there's a bit of expectation to train the bossy guy. The system goddess saw his extremely suggestive face and criticized him. Young man, your way of thinking is very dangerous. Suddenly remembering something, Hao Lan Yan asked again. That's right, that zombie uncle team just now obviously didn't evolve into an evil demon. Why can't I use Dong magic to control it? The goddess immediately said, explain, what about that? because it has been controlled by someone else. How Lam Yan frowned, was he controlled by someone else? I understand, if I confirm these things I will do better, go first, the goddess system will not hold back, go. He turned around, and when he was about to leave, he turned around and smiled and said, that's right, thank you for your coffee, the lipstick smell is not bad. The system goddess froze. After reacting, she angrily shouted loudly and arrogantly. You dare to tease me again, this kid, you're getting bolder and bolder. Exiting the system space, I saw a deep Tu Mai and Hao K still squatting in front of that zombie. Hao Lan Yan couldn't help but wonder, Tu Mai, what are you guys doing? Deep Tu Mai turned around, her eyes filled with worry. She pointed to the zombie's waist and said, Mr. Lam, this one, this is the rag of Tu Li's dress. Hao Lan Yan was immediately shocked, what? Come, take your equipment, let's go find out the rules. That same night, three people held flashlights and moved forward. Hao Lan Yan asked doubtfully, Tu Mai, are you sure it's this direction? Deep Tu Mai affirmed, I'm sure, I saw her go into this area, because there is a knife shop in this direction, before, she said she would come here to search. At one point, she exclaimed, she found it. This is the mark that little left behind, but it is not complete, it was carved very quickly. Little lady, something might have happened. At this point, Deep Chumai couldn't help but shed tears. Hao Lam Yan patted her head to comfort her. Don't worry, it's okay, let's speed up. Suddenly, in the nearby forest, there was a chaotic sound of flapping wings from bats. Hao Lam Yan immediately shined his flashlight there. I could only see a slight movement in the bushes. At that time, there was a blue-haired girl running furiously, breathing heavily but not daring to stop. It seemed like something was chasing her. The girl's hair was a mess, her clothes were torn in some places, behind her was a group of animals with glowing red eyes following closely, the girl cried out in panic, trying to save her life. Lam Yan's flashlight shined straight at her. The girl wearing glasses cried and begged intermittently, please help me quickly, there's someone behind me. The three people arrogantly wondered what was behind them. At this time, a zombie beast appeared. Its teeth are sharp, plus the streams of drool flowing down look terrifying. The three people saw it, each of them had a thought, a zombie animal, being so close without even pulling out a gun, seemed like it could be eaten. Next, a few more zombie beasts came running, as if they were following a herd, and soon surrounded the four people. Deep Chumai wondered why there were so many zombie dogs nearby, the girl said, they chased me over here, I thought I would hide in the woods and not be discovered. Hao Lan Yan looked at the group of zombie dogs and judged, looking at their gestures, he also knew that he didn't want us to run away, these zombie dogs seem to be very organized, this is called catching thieves and catching them, the oligarch first, their leader. Thinking about it, Hao Lan Yan suddenly cried and asked, is it you? 
At this time, from the group of zombie dogs, a dog with a different red color than the other group came forward. As soon as he saw it, Howlam immediately pointed his finger and commanded, You, become my working tool. The atmosphere suddenly became quiet, and the sound of the wind blowing could be clearly heard. The leader zombie dog looked at him with a puzzled face. Howlam Yan collapsed for a moment, damn it, he failed again, what happened today? Immediately after, the two dogs on the other side rushed towards the blue man. The girl wearing glasses pretended to be worried and shouted, Be careful! The blue man's overbearing hand summoned weapons. Just as the two zombies were about to bite him. He then used the thorny mace to whip both of them at the same time. The girl wearing glasses saw that and exclaimed, It's really powerful, but where did that big stick come from? The two zombie dogs were killed, and Howland's gold coins were added to a total of 400,000. He carried the mace on his shoulder and said, Then next, it's your turn. Howland Yan gently stroked the tip of the hammer's handle. Then he suddenly threw that club towards that red dog, eating one of my clubs. The zombie dog stood still and did not move. When the mace was only a few centimeters away from it, it began to open its mouth. And when it opened wide, the mouth was not like a normal dog, but like countless tentacles spreading out. On each tentacle are sharp teeth. The tentacles tightly grasped the mace. It chewed loudly, crushing the iron mace. Drool flowed down its mouth, and it looked a bit disgusting. At this time, other zombie dogs also rushed towards the three girls. Hao Kei happily said, Puppy, I'm here. When the leader dog finished dealing with the club, it seemed like he was baring his teeth and smiling proudly. Hao Lan Yan takes a provocative stance, he has the ability, let's come try the trick and see how it goes. Seeing that, the dog opened its mouth and its tentacles spread out like flowers and approached him. The zombie red dog's tentacles rushed forward, but the overbearing blue man smiled faintly and disdainfully, the speed was too slow. No woman can block this move of mine, let alone you who are just a dog. Having finished speaking, Howlan Yan used only his bare hands to use his hidden soul-destroying palm, directly hitting the long muzzle of that zombie dog. After beating him, he exclaimed, Wow, how could a dog have such a flashy mutation? The zombie leader dog suddenly sensed danger and immediately started sweating. How Lam Yan's eyes were cold and he died. He slashed down a beam of light, only to see the tentacles being chopped into pieces. And the zombie dog was also cut into two halves. Make the smoke dissipate. On the ground there was only the cold corpse of the leader of the zombie dog. The bossy guy also ran over to show off. Mom, those three puppies, I'm done with them. How Lam Yan turned around and looked at the dog's body. It died without closing its eyes, a pale purple light emitted from its head. Howlang kindly took out a crystal from the dog's mouth. Hauke pulled his sleeve and called, Mom. The little girl fiddled with her fingers and said, Well, since the zombie dog has been destroyed, he's a bit hungry. Howlang Yan was a bit hesitant, but then he said, Okay, crystals are okay, but meat is not. Being allowed to be overbearing is exciting. She quickly disposed of the zombie dog bodies, so quickly that the overbearing man was speechless. System notification came, killed the special zombie dog, and won 50 million assets. Hao Kei took the crystal and immediately put it in his mouth to eat. The girl wearing glasses was confused, this is the girl. Deep Chu Mai put her arm around her shoulder and said, Don't worry about it, why are your hands so cold, are you scared? She replied, a little. Chu Mai wondered again, that's right, why are you alone outside in the middle of the night, it's very dangerous, the girl wearing glasses looked sad and falteringly explained, I, I'm not originally a person, just now I encountered a zombie dog. My name is Uu Na Na, my brother and I hid in the store next door, but today when I came back from looking for food, it was already late, on the way home, I wasn't careful enough to cause trouble for the zombies, my brother beat me up, lost track of those zombie dogs but myself, thank you everyone. If I didn't have to meet you, it could have been me. How Lam Yan coughed twice and said, It's nothing, we were just passing by to scan for monsters. He looked at the sympathetic voice on Yuna Na's head and couldn't help but feel bored. This girl, after being the hero to save the beauty, why did she only have a little bit of liking? It's a bit interesting, I must attack her. His eyes lit up, this made Chumai extremely angry. She then ignored him and went forward to introduce herself. Hello Na Na, my name is Tu Mai, that girl's name is Hao Kei, and the bad name behind that is Hao Lan Yan. 
Ooh na na nodded and then urged, Um, to my, we should still quickly leave here, there are more and more zombie dogs here, I'm afraid later. Deep Chu Mai was also worried at that time. The zombie dog was dead. Chu Li Sign was nowhere to be found. And there were so many zombie dogs in this place. He was arrogant. He said Tula had perhaps. Wu Na Na asked in surprise. Tula, could it be a girl wearing a short skirt like you? Deep Chu Mai quickly shook her body and asked. What do you know? Have you seen her before? Where is she? Wu Na Na told in fear. I, when I came out in the afternoon, saw her being taken away. Sorry, I was also scared at that time. So, but I knew where they went. 11 Bamboo Factory, an abandoned place in the city of Chuan Chao. There was a group of survivors gathered there. The city of Chuan Chao, in an abandoned factory, looks quite large. Below the entrances, there are people guarding them. But no matter how you look, everywhere still exudes a strange coldness. Chu Mai was suddenly covered by Lamb Man's mouth. He reminded, Shush, be careful, there's someone. Deep Chu Mai asked in a low voice, he was so arrogant, why are their clothes so similar to the zombies just wearing them? How Lam Yan replied, yes, I saw it, maybe there is some connection between them. The walls everywhere are very high, if you climb the wall, there will definitely be a lot of noise, Chu Mai said impatiently, Mr. Lan, should we find an entrance somewhere nearby? He said, no rush, let me see the situation first. Having finished speaking, he immediately used his eyes to see through it. In a corner of this abandoned factory, he saw a group of people seemingly doing something, that is. Someone is on patrol, the movements are very neat, is it a soldier, that's not right, the person guarding the door is not holding a gun, nor is he carrying any weapons on him. It's a bit strange, are the civilians undergoing military training, why are they guarding here? It's not right, it's not right, this is not human. These things are all zombies. Deep Chumai couldn't help but be surprised, these are all zombies, but they look very similar to humans, and don't have the typical actions of zombies, it's probably all under control, the situation isn't looking good, look I have to quickly go save little La. Having finished speaking, all four of them stood up. Suddenly there were footsteps coming, wait a minute, someone is coming from behind. Quickly hide under the car, all four people immediately crawled under the nearby car. Those people came, as if they were dragging someone, only to hear screams, let me go, you guys quickly let me go. Save lives, can you understand human language? Under the car, hearing the scream, the overbearing blue man frowned, oh, this voice sounds familiar. The other person was still screaming. She was Huey Mai, being dragged away, she couldn't help but despair, damn it, isn't it enough for you to capture Tuatan and that old woman, why don't you spare me? When Hak Lam Nyan saw her, he immediately confirmed that this was Huey Mai. She kept screaming in vain, let me go, quickly let me go, save my life. At this time, Hao Lan Yan was a little confused, strange, why did these zombies capture humans, did they want to use them as food reserves? It seems like Tuatan and the others have been captured, so it's easy to get out, but how can I get in? Not knowing what to do, he suddenly looked at the zombie guarding the door. An idea suddenly flashed in his mind, yes. In the blink of an eye, he immediately took down the two guards at the door, then took their clothes and put them on, he gave one set to Deep Chu might aware, once finished, he could blend in there. Before entering, he instructed, Na na, you wait outside for us, after we save the people out, we will gather with you, you na na agreed. When finished, Hao Lam Yan and Deep Chu Mai glanced meaningfully at Hao K. When she still didn't understand anything. Having been dragged by both of them the same way the zombies did before, okay, let's go. Both pulled her and reminded her overbearingly, don't glare, yes, stick out your tongue, don't move. Wu Na Na pushed the mirror to look closely at the three people, Hao Lan Yan could kill evil spirits alone, maybe killing someone is just a small thing. She suddenly licked her lips, revealing a sinister smile. Cute little dog, he just helped me perform a good play, even if he died, it was worth it. Time is running out, sir, don't let me down. The blue man's team closely followed the previous group of zombies. Once inside, he suddenly noticed a cluster of white flowers. But if you look closely, you will see a tomb, with a series of cross-shaped wooden stakes placed around it. Deep Chu Mai saw him slowing down and urged him, Hey, if you don't hurry up you won't be able to catch up. The zombies ahead seemed to enter the warehouse. When three people approached, they immediately escaped and hit against one side of the wall. The door closes automatically. When it completely touches the ground. 
Then suddenly a scream rang out through the sky. Hao Lan Yan was shocked to hear this scream. The ground suddenly shook, he couldn't stand firmly and fell down, there was an earthquake. Deep Chu Mai's shirt was caught on a small nail, accidentally, it tore a piece of her shirt, the vibration also made her lose her balance and fall on Hao Lan Yan's body. She blushed. But at this moment, the button on his chest popped open, revealing an indescribable scene. Hao Lan Yan accidentally saw it and immediately blushed, trying to control his expression. Hao Kei innocently touched my chest and asked, It's so big, why doesn't Hao Kei have one? Hao Lan Yan quickly took out a white shirt from the system, covered his eyes and gave it to Deep Chu Mai Bao, she put it on first. He then turned away and Deep Chu Mai quickly changed her clothes. At this moment, Hao Lan Yan discovered something. He looked at the wall full of pictures and couldn't help but wonder why there were so many nails on the wall. On it, there were pictures of children, but one child's face was crossed out in black. In addition, it also has drawings with childish innocence. Hao Lan Yan muttered, This is, why does an abandoned factory have this? Hao Kei was looking at something and called out, Mama. Mom, what is this? The girl is pointing to adjacent squares with numbers, from 1 to 8. Hao Lan Yan frowned, These symbols, photos and messages left behind, it seems like there was a group of children here before, but now. I'm afraid there's a lot of good and a lot of bad. Deep Chu Mai finished changing her clothes and came over to announce that I was done. Hao Lan Yan immediately urged, Let's go. He lifted the white curtain in front and entered. As soon as he entered, he suddenly stopped. His eyes were somewhat certain that it was her. When Deep Chu Mai looked at her, her face turned pale, her hand covered her mouth to prevent herself from screaming and asked, Are you familiar? In front of them is a withered body, hanging upside down on the ground, of a woman, arrogantly saying, She is Kwok Duk's wife, forced to pretend to be his wife, we met twice before, but why did she turn into a dry corpse, it seemed like the blood and water from her entire body were sucked clean. The time she was arrested, maybe like Tula, we have to hurry, Deep Chu Mai suddenly tapped on his back, he was arrogant. Looking above, he immediately looked up in the direction she pointed. On the ceiling, there was not only the body of that woman, but also countless others, all hanging upside down. A terrifying scene. Deep Chu Mai couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat and ask, Big Brother Lan, those zombies don't directly eat people, so why are they hung up there to suck out the blood? He replied, I don't know, but this doesn't seem to be a good omen. Chu Mai worriedly expressed, We have to hurry and save Tu La, otherwise, I'm afraid of her. Hao Lan Yan immediately reassured, Name heart, let me see how it goes. He then performed clairvoyance. Looking around here, there were no traces of zombies, but instead there were red blood stains on the ground. Strangely, why were those two zombies nowhere to be seen? It was obvious that they had just been seen entering, inside and then closed. Wait, these blood stains are. Hao Lan Yan frowned and reminded him to follow me. The three people came to the mouth of a deep hole, he speculated that the traces of blood came from this dark place, I guess the zombie just now came down from here. Hao Kei looked down and hated it, did he really have to go down there, it was so dirty. Hao Lan Yan affirmed that if you need to pee, it could be down there. Just like that, the three people climbed down, Tu Deep coughed a few times in discomfort, the stench of blood became stronger and stronger, his nostrils were very uncomfortable. After a while, all three also set foot on the ground, where there seemed to be a pool of fresh blood. When I looked at the flashlight, I saw some dry bones in the corner. At this moment, a loud cry came from the opposite direction. Deep Chu Mai even had to cover her ears, Hao Lan Yan Bao, the tremor was even more intense than now, it seemed we were getting closer and closer to the place that caused the concussion. Being able to make this scream, what kind of monster is it? Hao Kei suddenly pulled his shirt. The little girl said in fear, Mom, let's not go forward anymore, I feel like there is something bad up ahead, making Hao Kei feel very scared. Hao Lam Yan sat down in front of her and reassured her, Hao Kei, my little sister is also here, we have to go in to save her, if you feel scared, use your disguise to become smaller and hide inside her body, can I do that? He whimpered and nodded, yes. Hao Lam Yan couldn't help but think, but it could make evil spirits feel scary, what kind of creature was this hiding? Without delaying any more time, the three of them headed out, okay, let's keep going. Every step they took, they saw dry white bones. The road seemed long, they kept walking like that, until they saw a beam of light coming from the small window. Seeing that light, Hao Lan Yan couldn't help but be curious, is there electricity here? 
He reached out to push the door, but to his surprise, the door was unlocked. Deep Chu Mai and him silently nodded to each other. The door was pulled open. Inside, there was a room decorated in a princess style, with beautiful pink tones. On the chair, there was a person wearing a red and black dress, which did not match the room at all. Deep Chu Mai was surprised, why was there another girl? The girl was applying lipstick to her mouth and immediately laughed. Suddenly, she turned her head back 90 degrees, while her body was still facing forward, she asked, How do you know, I am a girl? Deep Chu Mai quickly covered her mouth in surprise, wondering how she could talk. How Lam Nyan said, No, that's an evil ghost, it seems we can only deal with him. Just as he was about to move forward, Deep Chu Mai suddenly stopped him, Wait, let me try. Then she went up to say, Well, this beautiful lady, my name is Chu Mai, can we go inside and talk? The evil girl immediately turned around and fixed her hair and head. After finishing, she stood up, she lifted her skirt, smiled warmly and replied, Okay, my name is Fan Bao, you are the first guest of this year, please come in. Come in quickly, no need to be polite. Hao Lan Yan was a bit surprised, it turned out to be a thing, Chu Mai had seen evil spirits with intelligence, could talk, wanted to seduce to know more information about Tu La. Fan said he was struggling to find something to complain about, he said he didn't have anything nice to entertain guests with, oh that's right. Everyone, let's eat some food, she brought it up on a covered tray, but still saw a few flies flying by. Deep Chu Mai refused and asked, thank you, do you live alone here, before that, did you see a girl like me passing by? Fan said to put the other tray of food on the table. Then he started to raise his hand to poke his cheek and think, it seemed like it was there, maybe auntie took him to Du Du's sister. Deep Chu Mai eagerly asked further, wonderful sister, do you know where she is? Fan said again, pretending to be innocent, where is the magic? It seems like I haven't seen her in a while. Where have you gone? She clenched her hands and kept repeating the same sentence over and over again. Fan Bao's eyes opened, the light in her pupils disappeared, where did she go? She was wonderful. After she finished speaking, she knocked down the tray of food on the table. Inside that plate, was a hand that was covered in flies. Fan said in a dark and cold voice, someone tell me. Where have you miraculously gone? Now, not only her plate of food, but her whole body was surrounded by flies. Hao Lam Nyan immediately pushed Deep Chu Mai behind him and reminded him to be careful, her spirit is not stable, it looks like she will explode. Fan said the person had signs of cracking skin, she kept mumbling, where is the wonderful sister, Miss Tan, why don't you bring her here? Why? As soon as the words ended, a flock of black flies poured out like termites. They swept away the hand just now until only a dry bone remained. Deep Chu Mai was surprised, were these insects his superpowers? The insects became more and more numerous, surrounding Fan Bao's body, Hao Lan Yan immediately warned, let's walk slowly behind, don't alarm her, the space here is too small, it's not easy to deal with. Overbearing, turning small and hiding in my pocket, the girl nodded and quickly shrunk back to a small size. Then jumped in and sat on his chest. Hao Lam Yan gently opened the door. But in the end, she still caught Fan Bao's attention, she turned around and asked, did you guys take M's, miraculous away? Quickly give her back to me, then she immediately sent the insects flying towards the three of you. Hawk Lam Nyan and Deep Chu Mai quickly turned around and ran as fast as they could. Fawn slowly walked towards the door, her face was covered with insects, only one eye was clearly visible, she kept repeating the words, I want you to be magical. Fawn Bao is frantically chasing behind Deep Chu Mai. In a dark tunnel, Deep Chu Mai was running away. She panicked and said, if we keep going at our current speed, sooner or later we will be chased, we have to find a place to hide first. Hao Lan Yan suddenly discovered a path, he silently said, there is a way. At this time, Fan Bao was slowly walking forward. Fan asked in a confused tone, where did you go? Going before the turn, Fan Bao stopped. She smiled and said, so she was going that way, don't rush, I'll be right here. After that, Fan Bao immediately followed behind the arrogant group of people. At this time, Hao Lam Nyan used his yin and yang eyes to observe. The sounds kept echoing in the tunnel. That was the sound of rats running away. Fan Bao's evil energy radiates throughout the road. The insects surrounding her created a very scary feeling. Fan said he was angry, screaming, hateful, where did he go? At the same time, Hao Lam Nyan received a notice that he was given an additional 500,000. 
The system goddess said, the first time you kill a zombie mouse, the reward is 5 million. Hao Lam Yan said, is a zombie mouse worth that much? Looks like we have to kill a few more. Deep Chu Mai quietly observed the situation, she transmitted the sound, he was back. Fan said, where have you gone? Why don't you tell me where sister Ju Ju has gone? That's really not polite, Miss Tan doesn't like impolite children. Why don't you tell Fan Bao where she went? Fan Bao will be very obedient. Fan Bao suddenly turned his head to look and continued, could it be over there? Deep Chu Mai said with a panicked face, he looked over here. Fan Bao looked sad and said that he really wanted to go in there and take a look, but if he disturbed him while he was doing research, he might die, so it was better to run away. Yes, the makeup on my face is darkened, I have to go eat with Master Chin later. No, I have to quickly go back and put on my makeup. Deep Chu Mai was confused and asked, How land big brother, he just left like that, it seemed like there was something wrong. Wrong wrong, right now, How Lam Yan and Deep Chu Mai are next to each other. Deep Chu Mai's heart rate is gradually increasing, the atmosphere becomes awkward. Hao Kei innocently called out, Mom, what are you two doing? Deep Chu Mai panicked and quickly explained, I didn't mean it. Hak Lam Yan reached out and forced Deep Chu Mai into a corner and teased, What's wrong? Why do you run away after eating? You don't want to take responsibility. Suddenly, a voice spoke in the darkness, Haven't we kissed enough yet? Hearing the familiar voice, Hao Lam Yan immediately looked after him. Hao Lam Yan replied, Interrupting other people's happiness is a crime, don't you know? Chu Tian said coldly, Just kissing and doing nothing else is really a crime. The human was disgusted, the little angel slowly approached the blue man. In this tunnel, there are a lot of zombies tied up here. Hao Lan Yan said, The real criminals are the animals like you who harm people. He thought to himself, these ceilings were full of dried corpses like they were in a warehouse, but the difference here was all female corpses. In addition, on the ground there are basically bibliographies related to medical anatomy, here it is clearly aimed at research on people of the female gender. Chu Tian glanced at Deep Chu Mai, he looked surprised and exclaimed, oh, that girl. She's an evil devil, but why is she with that group of lowly people? Chu Tian said, even though I don't know how lowly people like you can get in here. But it comes at the right time, we've been lacking experimental materials lately. Having finished speaking, the little angel took out his demonic hand. He proudly used it to attack a group of overbearing people. Chu Tian said, the experiment will start immediately, don't expect the two lab rats to be able to run you away, they will soon be just like you. Deep Chu Mai shouted loudly with a panicked look on her face, bossy land big brother, there seemed to be someone over there, it was. Hao Lam Yan expressed surprise and exclaimed, she is not. At this time, Tuat Tan was tied tightly to the bed. Hao Lam Yan looked at Tuat Tan's seductive body, his nose bleeding continuously. At the same time, the system made a beeping sound. The system goddess happily announced that you have a new mission order. Hao Lam Yan angrily shouted, go, don't stop me, I'm very busy. The system sends a notification, the mission is to rescue the hostages, find and defeat the strongest lair of the evil devil, the reward is the opportunity to draw prizes ten times in a row, property value and a large mysterious reward. Hao Lan Yan looked annoyed and said, hey, the strongest evil ghost is not a kid anymore, but how many evil ghosts are hidden here? The goddess system replied, what kind of attitude is that? If you know, go find it yourself, go for it. After saying that, the system goddess immediately left, Hao Lan Yan tried to call out, Hey don't go, I'm your master, why every time you ask, it's like you didn't ask. Then, Hao Lan Yan loudly called out, Hey, little devil. That girl is my friend, I must take her today, there is another blonde girl, hidden somewhere. Chu Tian secretly said, Blonde hair, could it be the person who was brought to teach her Tan's laboratory? Chu Tian smiled complacently and replied that he was about to die but still wanted to save people, you experimental subjects have no right to bargain with me. However, she is nobler than you humans, as an evil demon, I will absolutely take action against my fellow humans. Hearing these words, Hao Kei looked petulant. After that, he said teasingly, I won't let you harm my mother. Hao Lam Yan laughed and said, Hey kid, you want to compete with me, I'm afraid you're not sure of winning, the last time someone fought with me, the grave had already grown a head of grass. Chu Tian smiled sarcastically and replied, about to die but still speechless. Chu Tian secretly scoffed, even calling that name Mama, very soon you will know the evil nature of those mobs. 
Tiu Tian raised his voice and made a condition, I give you a chance to survive, you should kill each other, whoever lives to the end I will spare that person, how about that? Hao Lam Yan replied, if you want to separate us, you are too incompetent, I will take everyone away, leaving no one behind. Hearing the answer, the little angel angrily said, if that's the case, then no one can leave here alive. As soon as he finished speaking, the little guy immediately used his hand to hit the wall next to him. A source of dark energy began to surround. This made Deep Chi Mai panicked and glared at her. She shouted loudly, that black shadow, close the door. Black shadows began to rush towards them. Deep Chi Mai said, it seems this shadow has his special ability. A hand reached out to grab the flashlight. Hao Lam Yan quickly pushed Deep Chi Mai and shouted loudly, be careful. Hugging me tightly, Deep Chi Mai was scared and hugged Hao Lam Yan tightly. The black shadow began to grow larger and larger. Deep Chu Mai shyly said, Be careful, this dark environment is not beneficial for us. Hao Lam Yan quickly reassured, Rest assured, I saw through his actions, not to mention the darker the environment, the more beneficial it would be for me. Having finished speaking, Hao Lam Yan immediately stepped forward and said loudly, Hey, don't bully girls like that. Scum, if you're good, just rush over here. Tiu Tian was provoked by Hao Lam Yan, he shouted angrily, Shut up, you don't understand anything. I am not scum, all of this is for your wonderful sister. Having finished speaking, the little angel struck a palm towards Hao Lam Yan. Tiu Tian was bitter, gritted his teeth and said, Those men are the ones. Those scum guys harmed her wonderfully. Go back in time three years ago. On the departure platform, there was a rustling sound. Hello survivors, our house belongs to the survivors, we have built a bad place to avoid zombies at the police station, if you hear this news, please contact us immediately, us now. Don't worry everyone, teacher Tan will be back soon. At that time, we will bring a lot of delicious food to everyone. An angry boy shouted, stop crying, Kuang Duong, I will protect everyone like Miss Chin did. Hearing that, Kuang Duong raised his hand to wipe his tears. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door from outside. The noise grew louder and louder, causing them to panic. The door opened, three large men appeared. Du Du smiled and said, Principal. The principal smiled cunningly and said, You're wonderful, little concubine isn't here, you're lonely too, right? The two guys standing next to him smiled cunningly and continued, Wonderful lady, I've liked you for a long time. Du Du replied in fear, Principal, Teacher Tran, Teacher La, what are you talking about, you will scare the children. As soon as he finished speaking, he gave me a painful slap. The principal pressed Yao Yao on the sofa, laughed loudly and said, Girl, please give me some honesty. Please be obedient and listen to what I say. If you don't want anything to happen to the children, cooperate and don't move. You're amazing, my penis is very big, please be patient. Du Du was so scared that she burst into tears and begged, please save her life, please don't. Faced with this situation, that boy immediately attacked the scummy principal. He threatened, stop, I won't allow you guys to harm my wonderful sister. The lawyer glanced at the boy fiercely. He said in a low voice, classmate Tiu Tian. If he doesn't listen, he will be locked up there, and the little guy will be thrown out by him. Tiu Tian said in pain at that time, Teacher Tran, I beg you, quickly stop the principal and he shouted back immediately, please save my wonderful sister. He whispered, little Tian's classmate, me. He smiled cunningly and said that he would miraculously save her. After that, he immediately closed the door, leaving the little guy outside. It seems that the little angel's life has fallen into darkness. Tiu Tian said with tears in her eyes, I was not wrong, everything I did was for you to magically return to everyone. What's wrong is those damn men, no, those scum guys. You damn men, let you experience a little, what is called the despair of darkness. Hearing these words, Hao Lan Yan thought to himself, she is a wonderful sister. The cruel research of Tu Tian Lak, could it be all for the sake of bringing her back to life miraculously? Tu Tian Lak now attacked Hao Lan Yan. Hao Lam Yan stared wide-eyed at his attack. Hao Lam Yan was calm before his attack. Sharp thorns pierced the blue man's overbearing body. But in the blink of an eye, Hao Lam Yan had escaped, making Tu Tian Lak surprised. Hao Lam Yan held the notebook in his hand and said, Why are you so slow like an old man? Hearing the voice, Tian Lak was startled and turned around to look. 
Hao Lan Yan calmly looked at the pages of the book and said, I've almost finished the book. How do new people react? Tu Tian Lak said, If that's the case, let you despicable bunch develop a little of the power that makes others despair. Tu Tian Lak thought to himself, You lost your concentration just now, you shouldn't, use half of your strength. Despicable, come experience the power that makes others despair. Immediately, Hao Lan Yan was tied up. Hao Lan Yan groaned in pain, unable to breathe. My whole body is about to crack. Now you know how powerful I am. After that, Hao Lan Yan smiled mockingly and said, I lied to you. Just this little bit of strength, I think, should still be called the strength to disappoint others. Seeing this, Tu Tian Lak exclaimed in surprise, How is that possible? Hao Lan Yan replied, Nothing is impossible. Over here, Deep Chu Mai untied herself and asked, Tu Tan, are you okay? Tu Tian Lak Chut smiled to show cunning. Immediately, countless hands surrounded Deep Chu Mai and Tu Tan. Deep Chu Mai instinctively quickly hugged Tu Tan to protect her. Hao Lan Yan realized the seriousness of the situation, he panicked and shouted loudly. Suddenly, there was a flash of light. Hao Kei quickly rushed to the rescue. Hao Kei said, Mom, please rest assured and leave this to me. Hao Lan Yan said with a proud face, Then just play around as much as you want, but don't ruin him, I still have something to ask him. Deep Chu Mai replied with a smile, Don't worry, this little bit of strength is still lacking, playing football too much. Tu Tian Lak said angrily, That little evil ghost was causing obstruction. Hao Lan Yan said, If you don't have the ability, then use your brain to take hostages and threaten me. Hao Lan Yan walked in front of Tian Lak. After that, Hao Lan Yan gained momentum and jumped up very high. He said, you are an uneducated brat. As soon as he finished speaking, Hao Lan Yan immediately rushed to fight with Tu Tian Lak. Soon, Tu Tian Lak was seriously injured. It has not stopped here. Hao Lan Yan hit him again in the chest, causing the word heaven to fly several dozen meters away. He fell painfully on the ground. There was a violent shaking sound. At this time, Tu Tian Lak lay motionless on the ground. Hao Lam Yan walked closer and said, Don't worry, I only caused you some internal injuries. Continuing to fight will not benefit either side, so it's better to make a transaction. Tu Tian Lak replied indifferently, Stop acting hypocritical in front of me, next move, I want your life. Tu Tian Lak secretly thought, Hateful, if Tu K was here, I would absolutely not be humiliated like this by this despicable person. Hao Lam Yan raised two fingers and said, The composition is small. Perhaps you have a reason to hate people, but good and evil are chosen by yourself, not by birth. My purpose in coming is to save people. As long as you tell me where the blonde girl like her is and stop this perverted experiment, I will agree to help you. After all, I am the only one who understands the art of resurrection in this world, this world. Hao Lam Yan, a good man, Hao Kei stood aside and exclaimed, Mom is great. Tu Tian Lak replied, Do you want to trick me? Then I will kill you once, see if you can resurrect or not. Hao Lam Yan replied, It's too embarrassing, I can resurrect. Tu Tian Lak screamed, Stop joking, I've been studying medicine for so long, I still haven't researched the method, what ability does a despicable person like you have? Tu Tian Lak secretly said, Everyone blames me for not researching a new method to make M's, do you do you suffer, but for now only Teacher Tan's experiment will have any effect. I need many people to complete the experiment, not even one of you can escape. Tu Tian Lak looked fiercely at Hao Lam Yan. He laughed mockingly and said, Despicable person, this time I'll see where you can run away. Hao Lam Yan focused on observing the situation. He immediately created a barrier for protection. The atmosphere is starting to become tense. Tu Tian Lak secretly said, It is the sound of the bell that Teacher Tan summons everyone. Damn, forgot that today is Sunday, the penance ritual of those scum. Quickly stop for me, just one more moment and I will have one. We cannot let everything go in vain. Teacher Chin's ability has constrained my actions. Combined with my injuries, I had to retreat first. Tuatan said, the darkness is gradually disappearing, could it be the effect of the bell ringing? Hao Lam Yan thought to himself, could it be that the sound of the bell could weaken the power of the evil devil, no matter what, defeat him first, after all, that little devil is worth up to 500 million. At this time, on Tu Tian Lak's neck, there are eyes that are gradually separating. It rushed directly out of Tu Tian Lak's body. It showed wings and rushed towards the darkness. 
Hao Lan Yan asked in surprise. What was that? The system quickly replied. The host wanted to know, so he should pay 10,000 for the visit fee. The host has spent tens of thousands of assets and is providing the target for analysis of the host genus, which is a nerve protoplasm of unknown origin. Hao Lam Yan secretly thought, what, those crippled pants don't belong to that little devil, its goal is Hao K. The nerve protoplasm can separate and reproduce, using space to travel through space to cover human eyes and quickly sneak attack on the parasitic target. Hao K held his head in pain and lamented, my head hurts so much. Hao K's whole body now began to change. Deep Chu Mai panicked and ran over to ask, it's dangerous over there, don't go there, Hao K replied, Chu Mai, my body doesn't listen to me anymore. The system said, the controller can use it to let evil spirits or zombies commit acts of betrayal, the overbearing blue man secretly thought, being able to control even evil spirits, the person behind it is not simple, perhaps he is the person who previously controlled the zombies to sneak up on us. Hao K's body began to feel uncomfortable. Hao Lan Yan shouted loudly, overbearingly. Hao Lan Yan quickly reached out to hold on. Hao Kei shouted loudly, Ma Ma. At this time, Hao Kei moved further and further away from Hao Lan Yan's reach. Heaven said, leave your little lives here. Wait until I meet Teacher Tan and I'll deal with you guys later. With hostages in hand, they will definitely come looking for death, the death of that boy. Of course this girl will awaken and join us. Having finished speaking, Tu Tian Lak immediately led Hao Kei away. Hao Lam Yan shouted loudly in panic. Hao Kei tried to move and said, his body was about to move. Hao Lam Yan shouted loudly, damn little devil, let her go. Damn, his superpower can still penetrate walls. Immediately, Hao Kei and Tu Tian Lak disappeared before his eyes. Hao Lam Yan was confused and quickly looked up and down. A loud noise rang out, the overbearing blue man said cautiously, be careful. He thought quietly and then said, this is it. At this time, the zombies were running away in droves. Hao Lan Yan secretly said, their goal seems not to be us. It seems that the sound of bells and insects can completely control zombies. Perhaps in the past, my martial spirit bronze lost its effectiveness because of these reasons. They all went in the same direction, perhaps the boss was also taken in that direction. The system goddess said, congratulations to the host for successfully rescuing the hostages and for winning the lucky draw ten times in a row, would you like to start? Hao Lan Yan was curious and said, let's try our luck, the trouble will be bigger later, let's see if there's anything good. After that, the system returned to him a series of 50% magic magic coupons on the plate. Three pieces of zombie fluid mask, one radio communication device, one box of emergency supplies, the overbearing blue man said with a disgusted look, are you playing, you're just being stingy. Suddenly, Hao Lan Yan's face changed, wait, this mask. After that, he was busy doing something, deep to my asked in confusion, Hao Lan big brother, what are you doing? Hao Lan Yan turned around. Causing the two of them to scream in fear, bossy big brother, why have you turned into a zombie? Hao Lam Yan quickly replied, I have a plan, you guys put this mask on first. The system notifies, consuming two pieces of mask solution. Deep Chu Mai wondered, what will we do next? Hao Lam Yan replied, take advantage of everyone who is still paying attention to look for Little La, I'll go save Hao K, that's right, perhaps Little La is locked up in the spring tomorrow prison, the two of them have melted into corpses, ghosts can probably blend in. Tuatan angrily said, was the traitor Xuan Mai also arrested? Hearing these words, Hao Lan Yan then asked, Traitor. At that time, Spring Mai was scared and quickly begged, Don't arrest me, please don't arrest me, I'm willing to do anything for you. Tu Tian Lak then replied, It's okay to forgive you just once. But what do you plan to get in exchange? Xuan Mai replied, There were two women here before, I will take you to arrest her. Just like that, Tu Tan was taken away, she desperately shouted to save her life. Spring tomorrow, do you dare to sell us out? Tu Tian Lak mockingly said, Dirty people are really interesting. Wait after using them, the next person will be you. Xuan Mai quickly asked, Didn't you already say forgive me, I will help you capture two people, as soon as he finished speaking, from heaven replied, I will give you one time and want two women, I hope you remember carefully. Tu Tan said, Passing by a blonde girl like Tu Mai, Deep Tu Mai quickly said, Then let's go. Hao Lan Yan quickly stopped him, wait a minute, Deep Chumai wondered, Big Brother Hao Lan, what strange thing did you pull out again? 
Haolan Yan replied, This is a communication device, if you have any problem, you can contact me at any time, remember to be careful, Deep Chu Mai replied, Okay, Haolan Big Brother, you also have to be careful. At this time, deep in the shabby cave, the overbearing blue man mixed in with the zombies. Even Fan Bao is here. The group of wonderful criminals was also arrested. The evil ghost said, Please master the penance ceremony for this week's sinners. At this moment, there were footsteps coming from inside. Everyone bowed solemnly in greeting. Master Tan said, Everyone should come and testify for the hundredth time of the sinner's repentance. The zombies just stood there stupidly listening to what Teacher Tan said. They continuously applauded admiringly. Haolan Yan secretly wondered if he was the brother that Tuatan had said, no matter if he was an evil demon or something the strongest, if he dared to touch his own person, he should destroy the Enlightenment group. Chu Ka happily said, Repent, you despicable people. The cruel principal quickly replied in fear, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have humiliated you, please let me die. The evil villain knelt to the side and quickly continued, That's right, scum people like me can't continue to live anymore. As soon as he finished speaking, the group of people were immediately slapped hard in the face by Tu Ka, causing the principal to collapse on the ground in pain. He whispered and begged, Master Chin, I am guilty, I was wrong, please, please kill me, Master Chin coldly replied, the old rule, he'll first and then be punished, I want them they don't live as well as die. Hearing the order, Tu Ka stepped on the bear teacher with one foot, held the whip in his hand, and replied, yes, Master Tan. Master Tan said, There is no place in heaven or hell to accommodate you. Waiting for you is only eternal punishment. At this time, the principal was so scared that he peed his pants. Chu Ka said with a disdainful face, Despicable people, you only deserve to repent and live rather than die. After that, Chu Ka immediately took action to punish these three despicable people. Teacher Tan lightly snapped his fingers. Right after that, the zombies immediately jumped up. Teacher Tan said, go, let the sinner experience a little taste of himself. The group of people saw the zombies coming, they were scared and shouted, monsters don't come here. Don't, he was immediately crushed to the ground by zombies. The principal screamed in fear, let me die, let me die. I don't want to be tormented anymore. Haolan stood to the side and continuously exclaimed, dumbfounded, this punishment is really scary, even though it is said that these tyrants have created karma and cannot live anymore, but they are humiliated by these lurking female zombies, it's true that life is not as good as death. At this moment, Haolan Mian sensed that something was wrong. He then turned his head to observe the situation. Haolan Mian looked surprised and said, zombie cat, it seems to be holding something in its hand. The zombie cat continuously let out a few meows, implying, stupid humans, quickly get the paper, on the paper is written, follow the zombie cat, it is your guide. Haolan Mian held the piece of paper in his hand, with a confused look on his face, he exclaimed, this is it. At the same time, a dark shadow appeared. Stepping out from the inside was from heaven with a cold expression on his face. Teacher Tan sensed that, so he said, you're late. Tu Tian Lak then said, I'm so sorry, Teacher Tan, because there was something on the way that's why I'm late. I came to introduce to everyone, she is a bossy girl, she will be a new member of our evil. Hearing these words, Teacher Tan used his observation ability. Then he raised his hand towards the boss and said, Come here, come here, kid. Hao Kei looked scared and silently wondered where this was. The body is also not under its control. Could it be that the person in front was playing tricks? Haolan Yan observed below and saw that Teacher Tan's body temperature was normally 36.3 degrees Celsius, Ha Kei's body temperature was 20 20 degrees, and the zombie's temperature was 18 to 20 degrees, 22 degrees. Normal human temperature is 36 to 37 degrees. Haolan Yan secretly exclaimed, Hao Kei is really here, unfortunately he is not the strongest evil ghost. The system goddess said, host, this time you only guessed half correctly. Serpents are humans who still survive after being attacked by a virus, these people are called super mutants, because they possess superpowers, after the apocalyptic virus outbreak. Zombies are like a cancerous cell that spreads around the world, the vast majority of infected people will not have to die but will turn into zombies. But among tens of thousands of people, only one person can have the ability. They are like people chosen by heaven, turning into super mutants. At this time, Teacher Tan kept calling out to you, quickly come over here, kid. 
you can soon become a part of our big family. At this time, Hauke was trying to fight back, at the back of her neck, there was a distraction from evil nerves. The people from heaven saw this, they exclaimed in surprise, this is her. Resisting the control of the protozoan nerve. Fawn exclaimed, is this child an evil devil, why does he look like a human? Tu Tianlac then explained, arrogantly accompanied by a pair of human men and women who sneaked into the laboratory with me, they wanted to save the blonde girl who was captured the day before. Moreover, the overbearing person even called that person a mama, it was very clear that that despicable person was taking advantage of her. Teacher Tan secretly said happily, it seems that Hao Kei has lived with humans for too long to have a human nature, it seems that she has to restore her nerve protoplasm first before it can take effect. Tian Lak, you rescued her, this is very well done, as soon as he finished speaking, Tu Tian Lak quickly replied, thank you Master Tan for your compliment. Tu can say, Lak Lak, he was deceived, that little goblin is a human spy. Teacher Chin laughed and said, Hao Kei is just a child, she needs to be properly educated. Okay, Tu Ka, take Hao Kei to change clothes, Tian Lak go prepare dinner with me, hearing the order, Tu Ka and Tu Tian Lak immediately replied, yes, Master Tan. Afterward, he used a special ability to see something. Suddenly, Yuna now looked panicked and stared into Teacher Tan's eyes. Teacher Tan smiled triumphantly and said, Na Na certainly did not disappoint me, and the new member of the night is here. Teacher Tan used his powers to observe together. U Na Na remembers that someone said before, Little sister is safe, being alone outside is very dangerous, you guys take her home. At that time, U Na Na innocently said, Thank you for saving me. Little did she know, she fell into Teacher Tan's trap. U Na Na pretended to be a deer again, she pointed to the secret bunker and deceived people, My house is over there, if you don't mind, please rest there tonight. When the excited guy heard this, he happily said to his accomplices, Anyway, let's find a place to rest for a bit, then we'll have to bother my sister to lead the way. U Na Na just chuckled inside because her plan was about to succeed again. While leading these two people back to the base, U Na Na thought to herself, she has had enough of this dirty work, and wants to end all of this. On the other side, the zombie cat is excited about something. It meows to guide Hao Lam Nyan. Hao Kei was tied up and was dragged away by Tu Ka, hurry up, move your legs, Hao Kei refuses to submit, don't drag me, I'm not going anywhere. He shouted loudly, let me go, I won't go. Tu Ka didn't care about Hao Kei's resistance, she threatened Hao Kei, after entering the room, don't make trouble, otherwise I will eat the person you want to find, Tu Ka growled with a face, on the other hand, I'm a little worried, even the teacher can't completely control this girl, keeping her is quite dangerous, we have to quickly think of a way to treat her. In times of danger, he breathed a sigh of relief because he felt safe. Hao Lam Yan also realized that, Hao Kei felt him. After Tu Ka opened the door, he suddenly felt strange. Was a zombie cat walking around in front of her eyes, she realized, this wasn't Nana's pet cat. Upon receiving the news, Hao Lam Yan pondered, Nana's pet, could this cat be like the zombie dog she controlled, without nerve protoplasm? Looking at the cat grinning and joking, not afraid at all, the overbearing blue man was a little surprised by it, but this cat is really despicable. Hao Lam Yan remembered U Na Na's words, Na Na told everyone at that time, the kitten will guide him to find someone, in exchange let's kill brother Chin, Hao Lam Yan nodded, it seems Na Na I want to kill that teacher Chin and escape the control of the nerve protozoa. He saw Tu K leading Hao K inside, they were already inside, let me use my eyes to see what was going on. Inside that thick wall is Tu Ka's room. Inside is a glass door. Tu Ka led Hao K inside this glass door to a hot water pool. She told Hao Kei, quickly take off your clothes. As she spoke, she also took off her clothes. I feel embarrassed, I can get dressed and take a shower. Looking at the scene inside, the overbearing blue man's face turned red, oh my god, even though he said parents are responsible for teaching their children to bathe. The system quickly reminded him that the host should look at the gold inside the wall, not the girl behind the wall. Following the system's suggestion, the overbearing blue man turned around to look at the yellow wall, he squinted his eyes, oh gold mine. Hao Lam Yan is crazy, that's right, the gold mine is even more important. Hao Lam Yan wandered around to harvest for himself the dream amount of gold, continuously adding money to his personal fund. Nana's pet cat also sat silently looking at her. 
After a short harvest, Lan Mian wiped his hands and brought him a total asset value of 500 million. After panning for gold, Hao Lan Yan was attracted to something, oh this is it. He looked at the pink book on Tu Ka's desk, isn't that Tu Ka's, maybe there will be some useful information inside. It's not a book, it's a passport. Unfortunately, this tablet had a password on it, he looked unhappy, the password, how could I know? The system playfully popped up a hint, because the host had already achieved the goal of 500 million, and now the service was open and provided the password, which only needed 10,000 minutes. How lame Yan sighed at the system, you really can't do anything, only collecting money is the fastest, but I'm not short of that money. Having said that, the money was quickly deducted. The system also provided Xiao Ke's tablet password to Hao Lam. A few seconds into accessing the tablet, a notification appears, unlocking Tu Ka's girl's diary. Hao Lam Yan attentively read Tu Ka's diary, on the day of the month, the year 2029. Today there was a couple of teachers who were volunteers coming here, they were Master Chin and Sister Miraculous, they also gave gifts, give me a diary. In the diary, in addition to the notes, there are also vivid illustrations. Hao Lam Yan still continued reading, the day of Y, month, year 2, year 2030, since she miraculously arrived, Lak Lak was no longer disruptive, and began to study seriously again, moreover, in his eyes there was only I'm not happy with Sister Miraculous, Tu Ka hopes to quickly become an adult like Sister Miraculous, then Lak Lak will like her very much, also on the same day, today Master Tan and Sister Du Miraculous took us to the amusement park, it was so fun. Reading Tu Ka's emotional diary entries, Hao Lan Yan also has good views about M's, Du Du, it seems that after the outburst, Du Du stayed here to take care of the children. Hao Lan Yan pondered, then the group of people violated her and ran away, while staying at the orphanage, zombies invaded, in the end, he only saved four children, those four evil ghosts. Hao Lan Yan continued to read attentively, the day of pressing, the month of pressing in the second year was not 31, unable to adapt to life in the cave, the monk controlled everyone more and more strictly, even Fan Bao was strict, resentment, not knowing what the outside world is like, really wanting to go to the amusement park and have fun, benefit day, month benefit, year 2, no 2, 3, my teacher's experiment has completed a year, even though the monk said it was about to end, succeeded, but we only heard screaming from the next door, screaming in pain. Lak Lak said I didn't know if M's, Miraculous could recover and go out, but I hope not, Lak Lak was of Tu Ka. Reading this, Hao Lan Yan's facial expression became difficult to understand. He soon learned that it seemed that these evil spirits already hated the old lady but did not dare to say it. Hao Lan Yan smiled meaningfully, this time it seems things will become more interesting. Facing the space system, Hao Lam Yan is still busy trying to find a way to save people, I have already found Hao Kei's location and am preparing to save her, have everyone there found little a yet? To my side replied, we are processing the code in the surveillance room's jail and the siren, be careful, remember to keep in touch, Hao Lam Yan agrees, okay, the same for you too. Looking at the communication system, Tu Mai was bewildered, that was. Hao Lam Yan explained, this is Tu Kei's room. Tu Mai was surprised, what's wrong with Tu Ka's room? The zombie cat was still lying on the bed, its expression very relaxed. The trail of ghost eyes is slowly crawling into Tu Ka's bathroom. Inside, Tu Ka and Hao Kei were very happily enjoying themselves. Tu Ka told Hao Kei, see, this is the difference. You're complacent, just relying on your little student's body won't bring you happiness. Hao Lam Yan peeped and whispered to himself that our Hao Kei family was really far behind Tu Kei. The boss didn't care, the girl fell asleep, the little girl saw that and got angry, hey, do you know how to be polite, I'm talking to you. Tu Ka stared at Hao Kei, she had hidden feelings, this girl's crystal ability was very large, if she could swallow her then maybe. Thinking about it, Tu Ka quickly rushed to the boss's place, she thought that I would be able to be free. Fortunately, Hao Kei suddenly woke up and discovered the attack on the small body. The lost eye lifted its handle into the air. Being saved also made Hao Kuei feel startled. And Tu Ka is very unhappy, she is angry, lost, why did you save this stupid girl, if I eat her, I can get rid of the nerve protozoa. Lak Lak echoed back for the little guy to understand, only despicable people harm each other, I don't expect evil ghosts to kill each other. As soon as he finished speaking, happiness and joy wrapped around Tu Ka's entire body. Tu Tian Lak appeared to teach Tu K, moreover, Master Tan only temporarily reduced his control over us, perhaps also testing his loyalty to us. 
when he saw a little angel appear to teach him, he didn't listen and even screamed, you greedy thing. Tiu Tian also blushed and turned around to leave. He didn't forget to tell Tiu Ka, don't misunderstand Tiu Ka, I just came to announce, your dinner time has arrived. Tiu Ka didn't stop, she came closer and teased Tiu Tian Lak's ear, Lak Lak was so naughty. Tiu Ka also pinched Tiu Tian Lak's cheeks and used a flirtatious tone, people really liked you just now. Tiu Tian talked about something else, you should remove Hao Kei's superpowers from his body first. Hake feels a bit tired, very sleepy, and has no strength in his whole body. The girl felt the wound on her neck. Tiu Ka approached Hake and confidently said, My ability is to control cells, just now I just made the cells in your body become malignant, why, it's very uncomfortable, right? The little girl dispelled Hake, and didn't forget to show off her authority in front of her, just take it as a lesson for you. Howland man outside was breathing a sigh of relief. He was still attentively watching every development inside the bathroom, he was a little sorry that the little devil from there was one step too late and he would have had to take action, but having him there and being overbearing was still considered temporary, safe, dealing with two little devils at once is quite cruel. The system just popped up to remind Hao Lam Yan, reminding him, the bloody blood will call out the evil devil's wild nature, this time the nerve protozoa will take a step forward to control Hao Kei. The system adds that the overbearing demon is in the stage of maturity, parasitic about the nervous protoplasm, and the will is in a limited state. Hao Lam Yan didn't seem worried, don't be in a hurry, before saving her, let's upgrade the dong magic first, deduct my ticket, and make arrangements. The system also happily agreed, thank you. Entering the level up, the system reminded me that one magic coupon had been used up. Hao Lan Yan was not happy at all. Hey, every treatment costs money. How about playing with me? Quickly pay up. System without stopping. Continued to deduct Hao Lan Yan's money. It had cost 5,000 to unlock the Tai Am Dong. The corresponding amount of payment could cover all diseases and all kinds of minor diseases. Hao Lan Yan screamed, and the cat what the hell is the description of that golden umbrella? It cost 100 million to unlock the strange contract, fusing two types of dujutsu to awaken new dongjutsu for free. The system replied with a cold face, the money cannot be returned, but special services can be provided to you. How Lam Yan sounds interesting, what's up? Lam Yan stands in the middle of a changing system without understanding anything. He looked around and wondered. Where is this anyway? Looking at the miscellaneous zombies, the arrogant blue man turned around and scolded the system, the so-called special service was just for me to go into this dojutsu trial field, right? The system is stupid, it's free for you, what else do you want? How Lam Yan sighed, let it go, since it's already here, then let's go crazy. After Hao Lan Yan made up his mind, his momentum was so high that he felt extremely excited, my team, when the dong magic started, his eyes were coughing and burning. The system looked at Hao Lan Yan's appearance and added a contemptuous sentence, the host madness should be cured with dong magic. Inside Tiu Ka's bath, everyone had left to go of dinner. When Hao Lan Yan turned back, he was confused, where had they all gone? The system comforts the boss, don't rush, you can use the system to communicate with the group of girls. Hao Lan Yan tried to contact Hao Kei, Hao Kei can you hear me, try a little harder and I'll be right over. Hao Kei responded, it's okay mama, I'm very fine. At the dining room in the cave, the old lady was excited and welcomed the boss back to our big family. After the old man's announcement, everyone applauded warmly to welcome the presence of the old man. The old man continued speaking to Hao Kei. Don't be polite, this is specially prepared for you, I'm so hungry that I told you not to drink it. Hao Kei clearly remembered Tu Mai's advice, remember, don't take things from strangers, Tu Itan also added the advice, also, don't believe what strangers say. The old man didn't care about Hao Kei's face, he ordered and ordered the dish. The special dish was quickly served. A series of dishes were placed and displayed on the little slave's body. Seeing little La being used as a decoration like that. The person calling out loudly, she cried loudly. The old man has controlled the little La. He gloated and told the boss that she had her memories taken away, and it was normal for her to be in a coma. The old man's fierce eyes stared at him haughtily. Hao Kei was a bit scared of the malicious looks of the people at the dining table. Protozoa began to appear on the neck of the hatch K. Overbearing gritted his teeth in anger. But the crowd was too large, they rushed in and tore the straps. Seeing the mixed situation, Teacher Tan grabbed Little La, he held the knife to Little Li's neck. Not daring to take any more risks, she was stunned. 
Suddenly, Hao Kei's face lit up. Hao Lam Yan came to rescue Hao Kei and Tu Le. The chaotic crowd didn't understand anything. The old man grinned, this power is probably a special mutant, such a good test subject must have it. Hao Lan Yan successfully took back the little uh, he walked in and scolded people, kidnapped the young girl, causing the beauty to faint and fall into a coma. Holding little Le in his arms, Lan Yan arrogantly accused the old lady and the others, and also forced the students to do bad things. Lifting little Le up into the air, Hao Lan Yan radiated the protagonist's aura, he pointed at the old man's face and cursed, you are truly a corrupt person. Seeing that Hao Lam Yan was so cool, the little girl couldn't hide her joy and cried out loud, she put the sword on the ground. Hao Lam Yan tried to wake up Tula, little La. He looked at the brainwave map and knew that the brain's nerves were seriously injured and he had to treat her immediately. Having said that, Hao Lam Yan rushed to treat little Li's brain damage, the system did not forget to ask for money, the host, the treatment fee was 3 million. Agreeing to spend the money was effective, the asset value was immediately reduced by 300,000, but it also helped Tula wake up. She softly called, Blue Man. Little La looked shyly at the Blue Man, is it really you? Hao Lam Yan warmly replied, sorry, I was late so I let you feel upset. Little Li's affection for Lam Yan has increased to the maximum level after Lam Yan's overbearing scene in saving her. System notification, Xiaola pretended to be 1, Sword Skill Master was at level 1, and Patience was also level 1. The reward for having emergency canned goods is 30 boxes, the needle can be taken one at a time, the safe house is once for all, and the other reward is being able to cough with your eyes once. Hao Lam Yan looked at Tan brother again, you made a deal with him, brother Tan, if you harm little like that, I will definitely pay this debt. Tiu Tian Lak looked at Lan Man's aura and felt angry and hateful, why was this man so much stronger than before? Tiu Ka Chi quickly tried to hug Tiu Tian, I was so scared. Hao Kei happily walked towards Hao Lan Yan, Mama is so cool, where did he get this new design? Hao Lan Yan started to show off, are you surprised, this is the skin that is limited to the eye's skin, coughing and burning. Hao Lan Yan added, my team, activate the fusion card, fuse the contract. It is true that at that time the two hetero contracts were fused together. And of course, Hao Lam Yan couldn't miss that delicious opportunity. He used it to strengthen himself. Then finally, after successful fusion, Hao Lam Yan had his current appearance. Sure steps. Hao Lam Yan rushed back and forth to show off his personal power. Hao Lam Yan was very satisfied that this armor that was formed by this cough could fly at such high speeds. While Hao Lan Yan was still engrossed in the experience, the system did not forget to remind him that his burning eyes could make him possess the ability of an angel in seven minutes. Hao Lan Yan excitedly asked again, what she meant was that besides flying, there were other abilities too. The system happily implies that you have to research the functions of Du Jinx yourself, but I'll remind you that this Dojo 11 trip takes 24 hours, unless a new female group member joins. Turning back to the old man, he was still calm and smiling, even though you were not invited. Hao Lan Yan also seriously waited to hear what else he had to say. He slowly approached the overbearing blue man, but I really like your courage and ability. He sternly proposed to Hao Lan Yan, as my younger brother, I can spare you. Hao Lan Yan spat, I haven't been your big brother for many years, who would want to be your little brother? Hao Lam Yan pointed at Teacher Tan and asserted, If logically speaking, you touch my people, I should destroy your entire team, but these little devils are also being harmed by you. Having said that, Hao Lam Yan took out Tu K's diary as evidence, but unexpectedly, your students wrote everything down in the diary. Hao Lam Yan gradually accused Teacher Tan, including his dissatisfaction with Teacher Tan. Tu Ka looked at her diary in Hao Lam Yan's hand, she trembled in fear, she was dead, the diary was in his hand, if the teacher let him catch it. Hao Lam Yan said loudly to the little devils, the pain you have lost is wonderful. I have one final sentence, it's absolutely not a bad reason. Teacher Chin saw that everything was about to collapse, he shouted to interrupt the overbearing Lam Yan, shut up, and stop provoking our teacher-student relationship. He frowned, not wanting to say more to Hao Lan Yan, I will let you open your eyes a bit, the results of what I have taught you, he was upset in his heart, when I return I will settle the matter, with the kids writing diaries. When Master Tan finished speaking, the root cause began to work from Fan Bao's body. Fan Bao was the first to lose control, she started to attack, quickly returned M's, due due to me. 
In the face of Fan Bao's attack, Hao Lan Yan still protected Tu Le safely. The system also did not forget to remind the time limit, Hao Lan Yan, the host, has only three minutes left. But Hao Lan Yan did not flinch, he replied confidently, that was more than enough. Hao Lan Yan vigorously spread his wings wide. The two wings form a protective ball that completely covers the standing positions of Hao Lan Yan and Tula to block Fan Bao's attack. Teacher Tan just smirked at Hao Lan Yan's previous action and responded. Next is the control of Tu Tian Lak's body. Little Tian's eyes and nose were glaring, ready to attack the overbearing blue man. He screamed and threw his attacks towards the protective sphere where the blue man was standing inside. Hao Lan Yan also noticed the next attack coming from Little Tian Lak. Teacher Tan gently said to Hao Lan Yan, You have no way to escape anymore. Hao Lan Yan said softly, Is there no way to escape? I don't know what Hao Lan Yan intended to do, but his actions made Tula and Hao Kei a bit surprised. Hao Lan Yan still safely holds Hao Kei and Tula inside his body, he is confident that no matter what you do, it will be useless to me. The overbearing blue man and the two girls are gradually disappearing into the system. The system promptly notified, use the safe house for protection, the total stopping time was 3 minutes. The system, based on the host preferences, creates a new skin layer for the little Leu. All members enter system space, erasing the host's unique state. Hao Lam Yan very confidently said to Tula and Hao Kei, The system space is my area, everyone can rest assured and rest, except for me and the female group members, no one is allowed to enter. Tula looked at the clothes that Hao Lan Yan prepared for her and felt embarrassed, since when did I wear clothes like this? The system announced at the same time that everything here was created based on the host preferences. Tula was furious and scolded Hao Lan Yan, Hao Lam, is what she said true. Hao Lam Yan quickly explained, I swear I was forced to do this. He recounted the previous memory so that Little Le could understand that before, it was the Chin brother who put food on her body. How can I let you be naked now? The little tears still haven't subsided, I will definitely have to amputate the third leg of my cousin. Hao Lam Yan quickly consoled, don't rush, I will choose some equipment for everyone. He opened the system and spent money to buy equipment, the system did not forget to remind him, the host, that there was one minute left until the transmission. Hao Lam Yan cried, okay, then I'll choose some suitable things first. He looked at the shopping list, gave himself suggestions on what to buy, a change of clothes, spending money like this and having to dig up all the gold or when he gets home. The decision was made, Hao Lam Yan strongly pressed the button to close the order. His total asset value continuously declined. The two girls were happily dressed by Hao Lan Yan, Hao Lan Yan, what else do you want us to change into, we've turned into light. The system is urgent, host, the time is almost here, Hao Lan Yan is also ready, he snaps his fingers and arranges the transmission. Hao Lan with both hands, two beauties with cool sparkling outfits are entering the teleportation. Three people appeared in front of brother Chin, he couldn't help but be surprised, why did he suddenly become like that, are you playing with a shapeshifter, forget it, no matter what you wear, you can't escape. Hao Lam Yan sneered, I see you haven't clarified the situation yet. Hao Lam Yan happily told brother Tan that it was obvious that we had come prepared and wanted to see you off on your way. Brother Chin begins his manipulation, he calls out, my children. He infected the four little devil's heads, let them disappear. Xiao Kei realized with difficulty that this was not good, the Qin bandits wanted to completely control our bodies, so that we would not hesitate to sacrifice ourselves in exchange for great transformation abilities. Fan Bao also screamed and begged, Master, please forgive me, if this continues. Fan Bao screamed, I will turn into a complete insect. Hao Lam Yan remained calm, he proposed a plan to respond, of course you need to have insect prevention, insect spray. The system happily announced that the host had used Lambda 11 Halo Rin very effectively. Hao Lan Yan gently told Fan Bao, Little devil, you will be fine if you lie down for a bit with this skill. Fan Bao, I feel relieved, liberated. Fan Bao lay flat on the floor without moving. Looking at Fan Bao, Hao Lan Yan picked up the needle and continued, Little devil, the power of your abilities is beyond your grasp. Just like that, the needle peers straight into Fan Bao's body with the blessing of Hao Lan Yan, be a normal devil and live a good life. The system updated the situation very quickly, once the power gold was consumed, the evil ghost Fan Bao lost the power crystal and obtained the seed to activate the power. 
With the ability of a seed, the blue man is puzzled, can he activate his ability after eating this? It feels strange, isn't it a trick? The system is quite sad at the doubts of users. Our system's products are of guaranteed quality. If you don't believe me, go see the effectiveness of their equipment. On the side, Hauke was very excited to attack Tuk. Let's see how powerful his powerful counterattack is. Tuk is not easy to defeat. She counterattacked. Girl, didn't you suffer enough last time? Hauke resisted Tuk's moves with strong confidence. Tukin couldn't help but be confused, what kind of trick is this, not only does it block my ability, but it also absorbs it. Hauke very confidently spreads the silk, separates it and cleans it up. The bossy guy didn't stop there, she rushed forward and attacked harder, not only that, the little girl was beaten and thrown back. Hauke's strength successfully pushed Tuka flat on the ground. The injured little creature struggled to get up, so hateful, he took advantage of my ability to counterattack. It's Tu Li's turn, Tula is also ready to draw his sword. Tula quickly jumped up to cut off every bit of Tu Tian Lak's attack. Tula slashed furiously, not forgetting to praise Hao Lan Yan, Hao Lan usually looks very useless, I didn't expect that his eye for choosing a knife is also trustworthy. Tu Li's moves still maintain their form. Very quickly, she approached Tu Tian Lak, she told Tu Tian, winning or losing was already too clear. Tu Tian did not hesitate, but grinned at Tu La. Tu Tian secretly attacked Tu La, he aimed his move above Tu Li's head, making her exclaim that even in midair, she could hide these disgusting things. Tu La was defeated, the sword in her hand fell. Furthermore, Tu La was tied up by Tu Tian and was unable to move. Tu La looked at Tu Tian with hateful eyes, that disgusting thing, quickly get out of my body. Hao Lan Yan quickly rushed over, little La please try a little harder. Hao Lan Yan picked up Tu Li's sword, I will immediately come to save you. Hao Lan Yan powerfully launched the move, the dimensional martial arts slashed. When the little child was rescued, he screamed, he was arrogant. The loud sound of the bell shocked the cave. The zombies also felt this sound coming. They roared and rushed forward to attack the arrogant people. The number of zombies coming here at once is much larger, the sound of running footsteps is rushing. The old lady was quite satisfied, the sound of the bell could lure all the zombies within a kilometer around to come here. The old lady gloated and continued, since you will be the zombies' food, give up your meaningless struggle. The old man started something up again. Within 200 meters of the cave, the control range of the zombies' nerve protoplasm was within 200 meters. Ooh na na is trying to find a way, just losing the sound of the bell will lure the zombies closer, and Brother Tam will not be able to control many more zombies. The sound seems to be disturbed, ringing and rustling. The old man immediately realized there was a problem and had lost his voice. Hao Lam Yan regained his confidence and looked at his brother. The system rang a notification at the right time, Tu Mai requested contact. Tu Mai looks excited, he is arrogant, is everything okay over there, we have turned off the sound. Hao Lam Yan was happy, it's okay, the time was just right, Tu La was also touched when he saw Tu Mai, sister. Realizing that the two sisters needed to talk, Hao Lam Yan only told Tula that the two of them should not talk for too long. Hao Lam Yan turned contemptuously towards his brother, it's so embarrassing, my people turned off the bell. Brother Ching gritted his teeth angrily, without the bell I could eat you all. The door is being opened wide by zombies. They rushed in enthusiastically. But the zombies are under attack. Xiaowa also quickly realized this. Consecutive sneak attacks launched. Little La just lay there and got shot, what the hell? Something is rushing towards U Na Na's place. Is Nana's pet, she hugged the cat cat happily, my cat cat. Na Na happy, it's great that you're okay. This scene made Hao Lan Yan move to tears, or rather jealousy, shouldn't such benefits be given to male protagonists like me? Cat Mayu happily lies in U Na Na's heart. The overbearing blue man is jealous of the cat cat, the bastard even dares to laugh at me, the little lady next to him is always angry with the blue man, when has it been better than losing to play with the cat? After the reminder, the blue man appeared coolly in front of the zombies. He glared at them, he came at the right time, this old man is crazy. With a quick swipe, I don't know what trick the overbearing blue man just used. Continuously, martial arts are launched to deal with crowds of zombies. The more zombies rush in, the more calm the blue man becomes, making it easier to deal with them one by one. 
Before Hao Lan Nian's continuous slashing attacks, the zombies fell down dead like straw, their crystals also fell right into Hao Lan Nian's pocket. His net worth is continuously increasing. The overbearing little girl was so happy that she jumped up and down and cheered. Glass has not stopped being created because the blue man has not stopped. Hao Kei quickly invented a small stove, the girl was heating these pieces of glass. It tastes like eating grilled meat, Hao Kei swallows hot grilled glass while shaking and praising it, it's so delicious. Wu Na Na hugged her pet cat, with a worried look on her face, she begged brother Tan to stop, Master Tan, even more zombies wouldn't be able to compete with that man and that greedy little girl. The new teacher squinted his eyes at Ooh Na Na, his voice lowered and said meaningfully, Na Na, you know very well what the outcome of betraying me is. Na Na doubt, betrayal. Yu Na Na cried out in tears as she accused teacher Tan, you are the one who betrayed everyone, or rather, your students, aren't we just mere tools that can talk? Looking at the three friends lying weakly in one place, Ooh Na Na continued boldly, you don't care about our life or death at all. Cat 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 was also dissatisfied with its owner. It showed an unpleasant expression looking at the old man. But the old man didn't care about what Yunana said. He glared, ungrateful and unfaithful traitor, I will personally kill you. When Brother Chin was about to harm Na Na, Hao Lam Nyan reached out to block his dirty hand. Hao Lam Nyan's stubborn and stubborn face, Brother Tan, Na Na is one of our people. The old man grimaced and replied, I'm liquidating the household, don't worry about money. Hao Lan Yan doesn't hold back, if you try to touch a strand of her hair, I will immediately destroy your hand. Yu Na Na witnessed this heroic scene and fell in love with Hao Lan Yan, she was afraid of implicating you and spoke up, you are arrogant, this has nothing to do with you, we have nothing to do with each other. At this moment, Tula was dumbfounded, wait, what did you guys hide from me when I wasn't here? No one responded to Tula, only saw that the overbearing blue man had just broken the old lady's finger. Tan brother is so angry, he dares to steal my people, let you taste the taste of betrayal. He awakened the central root in the zombie crowd. The blood of the zombies gathered into a point in the air. The scene made Hao Lam Yan a little surprised. Hao Kei also opened his mouth in surprise. She is surrounded by mystical powers. There is also a root on Hao Kei's neck that is being summoned by brother Chen. She is growing evil fangs, it seems like she is being controlled and turned into a villain. Hao Kei really could no longer control herself, the evil girl was rushing to attack Hao Lan Yan. Hao Lan Yan stood still, looking at the girl in bewilderment, could this be possible, Hao Kei? Looking at Hao Kei's cool appearance, Hao Lan Yan realized, this is the strongest evil demon. The boss is undergoing a great transformation, she is unleashing great power. Hao Lam Yan shouted in surprise, that's not it. The system looked at Hao Kei, she did not agree with Hao Lan Yan's point of view, only with this level, how could he be a strong evil demon? Hao Lan Yan also felt more relieved, that's good, I still I thought he was worth another 500 million. Chula took out her sword to endure the hardship, she thought to herself, if she hadn't awakened her powers, she would have died long ago. Her ears were hurt by the force spreading from her throat, the sound was so harsh that even if she covered her ears, she could still hear it. Fan Bao is also trying his best to hold his head and cover his ears, it's so painful, so uncomfortable. Insects are being expanded by Master Tan. He threw these ancient worms towards Hao Lam Yan, let's go, children. Continuously, the insects stuck to the bodies of Tu Tian Lak and Tu Ka. They invade and creep into the bodies of innocent students. Tu Ka and Tu Tian are slowly standing up. The two of you opened your eyes wide, looking fiercely at the overbearing man, looking for revenge. Along with that is the inciting voice of my brother, it's time for the game to end. I only saw Hao Kei at the top, followed by Tu Ka and Tu Tian, the three of them were dominated by Tan brother. Hao Kei was the first to step up, the little girl strongly rushed towards Hao Lam Nyan to attack him. Hao Lan Yan gently supported him and he was secretly happy, the nerve protoplasm of the little devils had all appeared, it was time to capture them in one net. Hao Kei, Tu Ka and Tu Tian Lak divided up to attack Hao Lan Yan, but clearly no one was his opponent. The three people were dominated, their faces were fierce and they jumped towards the blue man. When Hao Lan Yan was about to block him, Tu La quickly rushed forward to block Hao Lan Yan, if you want to pass, go to me first. Chula successfully repelled the three little ghosts, she pulled Hao Lan Yan back. Tu Ka and Tu Tian Lak were beaten and rushed madly. A big fight broke out in the cave. 
Teacher Tan stood still, watching and laughing. His tricks were strong, but he couldn't hit them. As soon as he finished his taunt, the old man immediately changed his expression. What? Tiu Tian's face was confused. Tiu Ka was no less. The protoplasmic nerve is being controlled by the power of the little Lear. Hao Lam Yan confidently told old Tan, Brother Tan, little Li's ability can control that nerve protoplasm. Tula continued to move forward steadily, showing off her abilities. The nerve worms, one by one, were severed by the tears. The remaining nerve protoplasts are trying to connect with each other. Tiu Tian also used his last strength to fight back against Tula. Yu Na Na unfortunately told Tula that it was a pity that he couldn't completely destroy the insects, but also caused him to regenerate. Tula asked somewhat helplessly, is there any way? Wu Na Na came up with an idea, I have a way, this way is it. She looked towards the old lady and expressed, in one go, completely destroying the goo worms. While Wu Na Na was in the middle of speaking, Hao Kei seemed to be reborn, the girl was burning with anger and attacked. Unable to distinguish between friend and foe, the little girl rushed towards the child. Hao Lam Yan uses his words to provoke the Gu insect's nerves. Are you guys so ugly and still have the shame to scare others? Hao Lam Yan lightly waved his finger, acting decisively, disarming Hao Kei. Hao Kei has been intervened by the system, removing Hao Kei's right to counterattack. Little Le took the opportunity to take action, look at me. Hao Kei lost his strength and was confused by Tiu Li's attack. Hao Kei is too susceptible to Tiu Li's moves, she is being controlled by Tiu Le. Hao Lam Yan here becomes more serious, leave the next thing to me. Tiu Ka, Tiu Tian, Fan Bao and Hao Kei had Hao Lam Yan extend Tiu Li's power to free them from the old man's control. Hao Lam Yan tried to capture the nerve of the protozoan. But the old man didn't think it was that easy, he grimaced, the nerve protozoa couldn't be caught, and normal fire absolutely wouldn't be able to burn them to death. Hao Lam Yan, on the other hand, felt relaxed, he explained to the old frequency that even if the protoplasm's nerves were severely divided or could travel through space quickly, it would not be able to overcome light and heat above 5,500 degrees. When I first started fighting, I was waiting for you to summon all the little devil's insects. The old man was angered, hated, and had to be deceived by him. Hao Lam Yan excitedly announced to the little evil spirits that you are free, the next path will be yours to take. The system also reported that the temple had been cured of injuries and illnesses, and the total asset value had decreased by 4 million. When everyone woke up, they were all grateful to their benefactor, thanking him. Hao Lan Yan felt shy, it was nothing, he was excited in his heart, this feeling of affection had increased again. The evil spirits have been saved, now we want to settle the matter with the old Chin. Wu Na Na's representative spoke up, the Chin bandits have always forced us to do dirty things, and even imprisoned the wonderful sister, receiving painful experiments. Yu Na Na accused bandits, your crime cannot be forgiven. Tiu Tian also agreed with Na Na, Master Tan, no, Brother Tan, I will use my own way to help you wonderfully. Tiu Ka also affirmed, Na Na is right, your people cannot be forgiven. Fan Bao screamed loudly and gave her back to us. After the four of them determined their opponents, they moved forward to attack the old man. The old man was surrounded and tied up all over. He was insulted by the general, beaten here, beaten there, blood spurted out of his mouth but he could not defend himself. The four evil ghosts still did not stop, they continued to attack him. The old man was beaten to a pulp, his teeth and mouth were chipped. After being beaten for a while, the bandits were no longer visible. Seeing only the shadow of smoke in front of him, Tiu Ka was bewildered, was Master Tan really dead? Tiu Ti also replied suspiciously, I think it seems like that, Tiu Ti expressed her doubts, but I didn't use my powers just now. Hao Lam Yan stood aside and thought differently, no, this probably isn't over yet, he thought to himself, the strongest evil spirit is yet to be found. Just like Hao Lan Yan's guess, a mysterious voice rang out in the cave, the children have all grown up and have their own ways of thinking, Master Tan feels very happy. The four evil ghosts were surprised by this voice, the monk spoke even more, I think wonderful sister also really wants to be with you guys. The four evil ghosts felt a bit scared, the chin thief continued, Sister Miraculous wants you all to gather together. At the right time, the system sent a message to Hao Lan Yan, the mission was to stop the Chin brother and the strongest evil devil in this area, the reward was a property value of 500 million and a large mysterious reward. 
Hao Lam Yan is very happy, he is eagerly waiting, the strongest evil devil has finally arrived, although a bit cruel, but his strength really makes others look forward to it. Hao Lam Yan's expression suddenly changed, but he didn't expect that the strongest evil ghost was her. He was engrossed in thinking about how to deal with it, but the task still had to be done, plus the promise he had made to Na Na last time, he must definitely complete it. Na Na felt extremely fond of Hao Lam Yan's prestige, her liking for him continued to increase rapidly. Hao Lam Yan tried to use the system to contact Yu Mai's side, but it didn't seem to go well. Why is your side so noisy? Can you hear what I'm saying? While trying to contact Yu Mai, suddenly there was a loud noise. Hao Lam looked towards where the sound came from. The noise from the big door gathered. Hao Kei expressed her worry. This scream was very similar to that time, and it was still getting closer. She scarily reminded Hao Lam Yan, We shouldn't go forward anymore, okay? I feel I saw something ahead that made Hao Kei scared. Hao Lan Yan remembered that when he first arrived Hao Kei also felt scared. Hao Kei seriously reminded Hao Lan Yan, Mom, be careful, that guy is coming here soon. Hao Lan Yan's face was very cheerful, he wasn't afraid of anything because he was proud of Hao Kei, Hao Kei's eyes were very good, he had grown up quite a bit now. The sounds of running and stomping on the floor became louder and louder. Chu Mai led the group of prisoners running very quickly to escape. Chu Mai ran and shouted, urging everyone to quickly follow, they were almost there. Chula was waiting, as soon as she saw Chu Mai, she was happy, sister. Chu Mai saw danger behind Tula and screamed, Tula, run quickly, there's behind you. The chaos became more chaotic and urgent. Prisoners ran away, even stepping on each other. They ran away on all fours because the scary thing was chasing right behind them. The strongest demon has appeared, it stomped its giant feet on the ground. Its appearance looked disgusting, everyone shouted to each other, there was a monster. The monster opened its mouth wide and let out a roar that echoed throughout the cave. Little Lo was a little scared, on the other side there was a big guy coming. When Tumai saw Tula still standing there stupidly, she quickly walked over and pulled Tula to hide, quickly run away, let's run out and then move on. Tuatan also urged the prisoners to hurry up. The bulky demon was crawling closer and closer to everyone. Prisoners can only urge each other to hurry up and run. Among the prisoners were several evil teachers who had raped Ems, miraculous, the principal also happily ran to the door, waiting for us. But it seems like heaven has not spared these bad guys. As soon as they were about to run out, they fell face to face with each other, oh, they're almost there. The principal fell to the ground and was bitter. Overbearing Lam Yan has blocked the lives of three evil teachers, I cursed at three of them, you guys. I teach them, when you repent, don't you want to die? The demon's move also jumped to grab the principal's head. The two accomplices could not escape the demon's claws in the cave. The principal who was caught still tried to find a way to escape. He told the blue man, I can help you escape now. The demon's eyes lit up. It fixed its eyes on the principal. The principal was grabbed by it and couldn't get out. A rumbling sound echoed down. The students saw the principal being punished and felt somewhat relieved. The demon told the four students, The enemy has already had its revenge, and the resentment between you and your brother should end. The demon transformed and became stronger. It roared and laughed savagely. The little angel raised his hand to block the demon's move. Little Tian quickly said to Fan Bao, Fan Bao, quickly take those weak humans away. Fan Bao shouted to the prisoners, You guys quickly follow me, I will lead the way for everyone. Hao Lan Yan also had his weapon ready, he assigned tasks to his teammates, Tu At Tan, Ko and Fan told them to take the hostages, Tu La Tu Mai, we are in charge of blocking the rear. Tu At Tan agreed to accept the mission, okay, everyone must be careful. Having said that, she and Fan Bao ran back to the prisoners to protect them, everyone should go quickly. The demon is still roaming around. The little guy cried out painfully, I couldn't block it anymore. Hao Kei saw this and came up with a move to help Tu Tian, Yin Ba Kong. The strength of both sides rushed into each other, approaching each other. The demon roared louder, it was not easy to defeat. There's something strange growing out of the demon's back. It showed the fierce appearance of a bandit and then happily said, then the game officially started. Looking at the demon's form, the four students realized that Master Chin and Sister Miraculous had merged, so the bandits had already parasitized the body of Sister Miraculous. The bandit controlled Miraculous, said to Miraculous, Hey Miraculous look, the students are all grown up, we haven't made games for everyone for a long time. 
Hao Lam Yan does not allow bandits to do bad things. He told him, it's too embarrassing. I just want to say one thing. Your game hasn't even started yet. It's already over. The fire began to be lit by the blue man at the tips of his fingers. He threw the fire towards the bandits standing. The bandits felt angry. He cursed, you ungrateful and ungrateful bunch. He gave reasons to manipulate the students. Did he forget that I was outside venturing to find food for you guys? He kept talking about reasons. Had he forgotten the wonderful reason why he stayed at the orphanage because he wanted to protect you guys? As he spoke, Chin Thief launched a counter-attack towards Hao Lam Nyan. Continuously, the primordial goo worms came out into a large cloud of smoke. They rushed straight to Yunana's head. The bandits still blamed her. Without you guys, she wouldn't have had an unexpected incident at all. Wonderfully controlled and crazy. Thieves take this opportunity to add fuel to the fire. Very soon, we will be able to reunite. The combination of magic and bandits is gradually growing stronger. Bandits control tendrils to gather force to capture a member. Tiu Tian tried to defend himself, but it was clear that he was no match for the monster. The tentacles stop in front of the position of the handle. The kind little guy shouted to protect Hao Kei, Chin Tian, the resentment between us has nothing to do with Hao Kei. The bandit did not listen to that plea, he controlled his tentacles to capture each evil demon member. Tula tried to use a knife to cut but it seemed to be unsuccessful, these lame pants looked quite soft, but she didn't expect it to take so much effort to cut. Tu Mai joined forces with Tula, she told Hao Lam Nyan, please leave the Lam Nyan here to us, hurry up and save people. Hao Kei is still temporarily safe with U Na Na. Hao Lam Nyan's eyes have started to cough, his eyes have started to cough, the number of times the reward outside is zero, the Dong magic is 24 hours. The blue man wearing the armor coughed and his eyes burned, the fire burning brightly burned the bandits. The tentacles are about to swallow Tu Ka and Tu Tian, the two of them struggled to call for help, quickly save me, bandit, even if I become a ghost, I won't forgive you. The tentacles don't want to let go, they stick together more tightly. Seeing this danger, Hao Lam Yan quickly rushed to rescue Tu K and Tu Tian Lak. The overbearing Lam Yan seems to be unstoppable. That's right, Hao Lam Yan's defeated expression was clearly visible on his face, hateful, still one step late. The bandits were extremely happy, this power was real. Hao Lam Yan thought about it, it seemed like he had to directly destroy the bandits' essence. After thinking about it, Hao Lam Yan decided to jump high and launch a diving move towards the bandits. He acted decisively and strongly. But the bandit is not dead yet, he is provocative, it is useless. He crawled up and continued, now me and Miraculous are one. Hao Lam Nyan feels a bit helpless and hateful, it seems that if he can't destroy Miraculous completely, he can't be destroyed. The Chin Bandit crawled up and challenged the Lam Nyan, she'll be in a hurry. He gloated, you will be a great witness of. He shouted loudly, his voice satisfied, the product was our level. The Chin Thief's body was tightly entwined with the magical body in the presence of Hao Lam Nyan. Hao Lam Nyan could only stand still and watch, he couldn't think of a plan to deal with it right now overbearing and covering his mouth in fear, this is it. Tula also feels bad, sister, I have a bad feeling, Tumai also agrees, so do I. There was a crack that was slowly opening up in the bandit's fusion egg and miraculously, a somewhat scary looking arm stuck out. Miraculous's face doesn't look gentle at all with a superior tone, let's worship. The demon's transformation was completed, the demon told everyone, this is the miracle of rebirth and nirvana. The system also quickly updates information about Hao Lam Nyan, the strongest evil demon, the first stage of complete form. Hao Lam Nyan finds it interesting, it's okay to transform into human form, but next time I absolutely won't go easy on you. The system sent a mission to stop the strongest Qin Ca and left demon of this area, the reward is a property value of 500 million and a secret big reward. Hao Lam Nyan Duang Duang is ready to confront, he provokes the evil demon to attack him, here comes the strongest evil demon. Hao Lam Nyan made up his mind, the promise he made to Nana I will definitely fulfill. Previously, it was true that Nana had told Hao Lam Nyan to lead the way to find someone for him, in exchange for him having to kill Tan brother, Nana's liking for Hao Lam Nyan increased when she heard him make a decision, willing to help her like that. Yu Na Na quickly realized the current situation, but Tu Ka and Tu Tian Lak had been sucked inside, will we be able to win? 
Chumai came to comfort me. Don't look at the blue guy who is usually useless. In fact, he is a man who says he can do it. Tula also contributed, although he can't do anything, but fighting is great, is first class. The strongest evil spirit excitedly said, Even if we continue to fight, we can't stop our family from reuniting. Tian Lak and Tiu Ka have already returned home, so what are you waiting for Na Na and Tiu Fan? Hao Lam Yan did not allow him to brag, he rushed up and punched the strongest evil demon, Unfortunately, you don't have that ability. Hao Lam Yan unleashed a succession of fire and light towards the strongest evil demon. Lam Yan shouted orders to the demon, after eating it all, he vomited it up for the old man. The strongest evil devil is as calm as a jar, he is proud and arrogant, it is useless. He snapped his fingers to initiate the move. He taught Hao Lan Yan, now we are god-level scientific and technological products, combining the abilities of Tiu Tian Lak and Tiu K, I can easily absorb your attack. The strongest evil devil felt unharmed by the attack of Hao Lan Yan, oh that's it. The strongest devil rubbed his biceps and felt very confident saying, it's okay, the wound can heal quickly. Hao Lam Yan smiled faintly, when will we continue to talk about this, do you think I only have this one trick? That's right, the strongest evil ghost was suddenly startled, what? Hao Lan Yan is stepping forward. Wow, he split. The strongest evil demon was a bit confused, this kid even knew the clone technique. Hao Lam Yan gloated and asked the devil again, how are you surprised, surprised? The strongest evil spirit stood still for a few seconds before Hao Lan Yan's transformation. If you're overbearing, you should confront him, if you're good, come over here and fight us. You keep provoking the demon, hit us. The strongest evil spirit is a bit bitter, do you think playing this game will work on me? Hao Lam Yan is not afraid, he still teases him, so what, then we will come up with a great trick, here's a great trick. Hao Lam Yan kept spinning around the strongest evil demon, making it dizzy. The three girls, Tu Mai, Tu La, and Na Na also admired with excitement. The strongest evil spirit feels confused, you guys don't fight me so you want to make me nauseous to death. At this point, Wu Na Na pushed up her glasses because she realized the weak point of the evil ghosts, the bandits had not yet mastered their powers. She felt that the opportunity had come, combined with Hao Lam and Hao Kei's moves, as long as we give him a chance, maybe we can handle this bandit. Nana's pet cat is also ready to be used. The cat begins to transform into a stronger zombie form. Tu Mai, Tu La were very surprised, this is a zombie cat. Hao Lam Yan also felt surprised about Yunana's pet cat, previously he thought that it was just a prostitute, but he did not expect that it could transform. Ferocious zombie cats rush to claw at the strongest evil. But evil spirits are not easy to deal with. The evil devil ruffled his hair and fought back. Nana's zombie cat aggressively advanced, the boy unabashedly bared his teeth, extending his claws to scratch at the evil devil. Instead of scratching with their hands, the zombie cat also swings its tail at the bandits. The zombie cat's momentum is high, not inferior to that of the bandits. Yuna now looks at her pet with pride, her ability can control and enhance mutated animals. The zombie cat seemed to feel Nana's compliment, it became even more excited. Nana is even more excited, the zombie cat after enhancement is really cute. The zombie cat continues to growl, threatening the strongest evil. But the strongest evil devil has been quiet all this time to see what the zombie cat does. Now it's time for the bandits to speak up, that's enough of this nonsense. The evil demon gently flicked his moves to respond to the zombie cat. Unfortunately, the zombie cat was hit. Fresh blood on its body continued to splash before the bandit's response. Ooh na na exclaimed enthusiastically, zombie cat. The strongest evil devil unleashes his strength, he teaches the opposite to Na Na, look carefully, this is called a sneak attack, you must also give your traitor some punishment. Said. The bandit took out a hook and chased after Na Na. Sharp claws are about to reach Na Na. Na Na is in an extremely dangerous state, her face is pale with fear. Fortunately, Hao Lam Yan appeared in time, he cut off the bandit's tentacles to save Na Na. Hao Lam Yan breathed a sigh of relief, luckily, he was able to catch up. Chula brandished her sword, she reported the situation to Tu Mai, her sister and I were okay over here. She passed the sword to Tu Mai, Tu Mai was ready to fight, okay, leave the rest to me. Tu Mai raised her bow, her eyes fixed on the target. Flicked it towards the bandits. The bandits have detected an attack. 
but as soon as he looked out to look for the strange object, it was shot through the heart by the little beauty's sword. The strongest evil devil was angry, careless, forgot that this girl knew how to discharge electricity. How Lam Yan also rushed forward with a confident attitude, that poor memory thing, don't forget that I'm still there. The evil devil was punched painfully by the evil man. The evil demon is crazy, it attacks Hao Lan Yan, he deserves death, stop quickly, Hao Lan Yan is faster, he can dodge everything, he's dragging his feet, he can't hit him. The clone version of Hao Lan Yan is also ready to attack. Hao Lan Yan does not forget to mock evil spirits, if you are so open-minded, we are too afraid to take action. The strongest evil devil, I don't know what kind of strongest, is now being ridiculed and laughed at by Hao Lam and his teammates. The devil is very angry but still tries to calmly say a few cool and colorful words, don't think that you can win against me. Hao Lam Nyan is just waiting for that, he will also be more serious. So next, let's play for real. The overbearing blue man rushes forward, the evil ghost relaxes, is that all? But Hao Lam Nyan is not easy to make mistakes, he reminded the devil, hey, where are you looking? Hao Lam Yan took advantage of the evil ghost loophole and punched him repeatedly, exactly on this side. But the evil spirits laughed blandly, you've been tricked. The evil demon clung tightly to block Hao Lam Yan's punch, it squeezed his arm. Hao Lam Yan suddenly froze, not having time to react to see what was going on. The evil devil has captured a clone version of Hao Lam Yan. The evil ghost smiled faintly and said gloatingly, he finally attracted a guy, do you think I can't dodge your attack? The evil spirit laughed loudly and abominably, I have already felt the great energy seeping into your body. Hao Kei shouted worriedly, Mama. Chu Mai, Chu La and Na Na were also scared, had the blue man been sucked in. The devil smiled evilly, sure enough, he attracted that rotten boy, that boy is the most dangerous, so he must be dealt with first. The strongest evil spirits freely aim at Hao Kei, Hao Kei and Na Na, if they don't rush, our whole family will be reunited soon. How could the main character disappear so soon? From within the body of the evil devil, the overbearing blue man smiled disdainfully and said, I'm afraid you won't have that chance. The devil was confused. What the hell was going on? Could it be that that kid was playing tricks like that? His overbearing and benevolent nature slowly appeared. He gloated and became a little more confident, so he gave up the word nothing. Evil demons were angered to death. How Lam Yan teased him even more. I intentionally let you smoke. Now who is the one who got tricked? The overbearing blue man in the evil devil's body is preparing to do tricks with him and cause him to be tortured. He destroyed the muscles and organs in his body. Hao Lan Yan stood inside his body and felt comfortable. I'm finally inside his body, I can do whatever I want next. He looked forward and realized, was that the energy center of the strongest evil demon. Once the object is clearly identified, Hao Lan Yan will take action, I will also let you know. You cast a move to destroy the energy center, I will tell you that inviting a god is easy, sending him away is difficult. The energy center of the strongest evil is being greatly affected by the sabotage of the blue man. The evil devil felt the pain, it roared, what is this kid doing in his heart? The evil ghost looked at his body in fear, his energy was really strong, I couldn't digest it at all. The evil demon screamed loudly, you damn brat, get out of my body quickly. Hao Lan Yan is not stupid, you tease him even more, aren't you very arrogant when you suck me, do you want to chase me away, dream on. Hao Lan Yan also determined that we needed to take further action, while he was still struggling, I had to find those two little ghosts. Very quickly, Hao Lan Yan found the trace. If you look correctly, the little devil is inside there. Hao Lan Yan had determined correctly, he happily waited for the results. What is this? In front of him was the body of the miracle. Oh that's right, two little devils Tiu Ka and Tiu Tian are trapped inside, Hao Lam Yan is very happy to see them, these two little devils are indeed inside. Hao Lam Yan nodded, sure enough, from the beginning, Brother Tan had planned to absorb all the evil spirits. Hao Lam Yan approached Yu Du's body, it was unclear what he intended to do. He was stunned for a moment as he stood before the miracle, that is. When Hao Lan Yan was stunned, the system rang, the burning eye only had three minutes left, warning of the host's energy flow, the burning eye only had three minutes of effectiveness left, Hao Lan Yan had no choice but to commit suicide, urging myself, it seemed like I had to hurry up. He wants to save the two little devils but has no clear move yet. Looking at Chu Ka and Chu Tian, Hao Lan Yan knew that, like Chu before, they were both mentally unconscious. 
How LAN's core starts, the system receives messages, and the host uses the eye of the sun. The system affected 2K and 2TN. Successful treatment cost 2,000,000. The remaining asset value is more than 260 million. The treated 2K and 2TN are slowly waking up. The two of them quickly realized they needed to escape their mental control. 2TN successfully pulled it out. He rushed down quickly. He held 2K and couldn't help but say in surprise to Hao Lan Yan, I didn't expect you would come to save us, Hao Lan Yan didn't say much. He urged the two of them, it's dangerous here, you two should retreat first, 2K agreed, okay, you also have to be careful. After saving 2K and 2TN, Hao Lan Yan moved on, next. Before he could clearly determine the task he needed to do, suddenly something big was about to change, causing him to panic. He looked at the stomach of the strongest evil devil, inside there was a small fetus, what exactly was inside, the strongest evil devil divided the energy to it. The evil devil's belly is fluctuating. After a few seconds, it clearly showed its evil, demonic face, smiling evilly. Hao Lam Yan was momentarily stunned by the scene happening before his eyes. The tentacles spread out again and grabbed Lam Yan's arms and legs. It tightened even more on his abdomen. The evil devil spoke up now, I have digested all the energy you injected, you are now just a fish in the tank. Hao Lam Yan calmly replied, why is it slower than I expected, you finally arrived. The evil devil inside his belly opened his mouth wide and screamed, now I will take your energy and give it back to you. After saying goodbye, the evil ghost with a fierce face spat out a stream of evil spirits towards Hao Lam Yan. At this moment, Hao Lam Yan was wrapped tightly by the tentacles, unable to move, and this attack was difficult to avoid. Hao Lan slowly raised his head, curled his lips and smiled contemptuously, that's all. At this time, the light had also arrived in front of Hao Lan Yan. The oil and gas locked the shape, Hao Lan reached out his hand to block the light, it immediately turned from an arrow shape into a lotus flower. Marshal Dao to target a divine palm, the overbearing hand turned into a golden beam, like a Buddha's hand, hitting the evil ghosts. The evil demon was suddenly attacked, it screamed in pain. The evil ghost outside was also seriously injured, his mouth spitting out a mouthful of blood. Hao Lam Yan grinned, open your mouth, I want to go out, otherwise I will make a hole in your head. The evil ghost felt pain at this time, his mouth opened wide, a stream of light shot out from there. The light is extremely dazzling. Hao Lan Yan carried 2K and 2TN out of the evil ghost body together. Outside, Wu Na Na looked at the three people who came out safely and was extremely happy and shouted, it's really good that everyone is okay. The boss next to him also agreed, I know you're a powerful mother, then a monster. The evil devil roared angrily, this rotten brat destroyed my core, energy was continuously flowing out, I was about to explode. Very soon, the evil demon's body began to crack open, then with a bang, it completely exploded. Hao Lan Yan also noticed the explosion on the other side and glanced back. Hao Lan Yan swung me out, forming a shield to protect everyone from the shock of the explosion. The smoke and dust cleared and the five people were safely protected. Wu Na Na's whole body was sweating and heaved a sigh of relief, it was finally over. Hao Lam Yan looked straight ahead and shook his head and said, No, it's not over yet. My reward has not been received yet. From the explosion, an evil ghost emerged from the front, he worriedly said, It's gone, my powers have been exhausted and I can no longer use the nerve worm to control magic. This time there's trouble, the magic is about to explode. I only saw the pile of meat in front of the evil demon begin to move. Then, the big pile in front of them started to explode, Ooh Na Na screamed in extreme fear, everyone quickly ran away. The evil ghost angrily cursed, damn it, why can't it be sensed? Obviously the magic is in my body, but I can't find it. He raised his head to the sky, screaming madly, wonderful is me, you can't suck me in. But at this time, Hao Lan Man appeared behind the evil ghost. He glanced at the person behind him and asked, annoyed, what this kid wanted to do. Hao Lam Yan looked at him, but said nothing. Hao Lam Yan glanced at the system and asked, Can the temple cure Miraculous's nerves, so that she can recover and become conscious? The system lightly clicked his fingers and said, Yes, I have the money, all right. Hao Lam Yan Tui was very sorry, but still gritted his teeth and nodded, Okay, take my gold money, right. The small system's eyes glowed like stars, he he, host, I will arrange it immediately. The system sound immediately rang, the remaining asset value was minus 2000 gold coins. 
Dirt and rocks were blown away by the tentacles. The ground shook and the pile of meat stood up. The evil kneeling maniacally rushed forward, chasing after the crowd. Right behind Yuuna Na is a monster with an extremely terrifying mouth. Uuna Na ran while turning her head to look at the monster behind her. But Hao Lan Yan was now behind the monster. The evil ghost glanced at the person behind him, full of doubt and asked, Why did you save me? Hao Lan Yan held a ball in his hand, inside was a baby devil, he said, You want to find this thing, right? Hao Lan Yan questioned and asked, Tell me, what exactly is this thing? The evil ghost looked at the evil ghost inside and thought, I didn't expect that guy to save me. He closed his eyes, helplessly telling the truth, she is the crystallization of my love and magic. He recounted the incident that year, I risked my life to save miracle. Except wanting to save lives. Hopefully it's our child. Even though I will stop at nothing to take advantage of this child, I never want to take their lives. It's just a pity that their supernatural powers miraculously saved their lives, and this child was also born smoothly. Then my plan completely failed. Almost killing his own child, speaking of this, two lines of tears slowly flowed out of his eyes. It's all my fault, I'm at fault with magic. Hao Lan Yan didn't pay any attention to him, and said lightly, in these lifetimes, go and talk to Du Du himself. Hao Lan Yan was sad in his heart, when he was blown up because he wanted to keep the pregnancy and miraculously use his temples to restore consciousness, he spent a lot of money, but in order to fulfill his promise to Nana, the strategy her, it's worth it. The evil demon looked up at the blue man, his eyes full of doubt. But at this time, the miracle also slowly rose up and said, This is not your fault, because you have paid enough for your child. The other guy looked at his lover and asked urgently, Is it really wonderful? Du Du looked straight at him and said, Fortunately with your previous efforts, I was able to give all the energy I left to you before it exploded. But we cannot sacrifice any more innocent people. His hand slowly moved forward, me. Miraculous magic, evil spirits directly hold magic magic in their hearts. He cried and said, It's already late, the person chosen by God has been monitoring everything. If our plan fails, they will definitely deal with us. It is absolutely impossible for us to continue living. Hearing these words, the three Yunana people also froze, their faces extremely scared. Hao Lam Yan didn't understand and asked, Who the hell is the person chosen by God? At this moment, the sound of the radio rang out, warning, the explosive level has started in three minutes, please leave here. Hearing that, the devil suddenly sweated and muttered in fear, they are also here. At the underground research center, a notification appeared on the computer screen, the research center's destruction sequence had been initiated. A girl stood up, clenched her fists and shouted angrily, this trash brother, he failed again. I said this was my last chance, but this guy is so arrogant. It is indeed a bit interesting, I don't know when the statue of Hao Lan Yan appeared in the girl's hand. The organization chosen by God is a mysterious and terrifying organization, they claim to be God's representatives, and are always in a world under surveillance. They said that super mutated people were chosen by God to form people in a new world, so they invited me to join, and they could also save miracles, so I agreed. The person chosen by God asked me to research the cause of mutants' evolution, and to seek more advanced evolution, but I don't know their ultimate goal. Hao Lam Yan nodded, holding the medicine packet in his hand and asked, Then what is the happy water that you gave Kwok Duk to drink? The old man explained that the happy water is a zombie virus that I have changed, after being sucked into the human body, in a short time, it can evolve and become stronger, but the side effects are also extremely clear, happy water can only be considered half of the finished product. Hao Lam Yan has another question, are you familiar with Chu Town? The old man shook his head and replied, not familiar, but I know where the mysterious person's virus vaccine research is. At this moment, explosions began to appear around him. Wu Na Na looked at Hao Lan Yan nervously and said, the self-destruction process has begun, everyone should quickly run away. Hao Lan Yan also said to the people below, we can't stay here for long, let's go out and talk more. Brother Tan spoke again at this time, it was already too late. Miraculous said next to him, or there is a way. Hearing this, Brother Tan nodded, yes, I understand. Their hands were clasped together, inseparable. Tu Tian went up in panic, Sister Du Du, Master Tan, could it be they? Du Du advised, Lak Lak listened, agree with me, you must continue to protect everyone well. Tu Tian had no other choice but to nod. 
Brother Tan looked at the lover in his arms and said deeply, This is the last moment we will be alone together. He looked at Hao Lan Yan again, You rotten boy, Oma and my students are all relying on you. Hao Lan Yan affirmed, Okay, I will accept them all in this class. After that, the arrogant group of people left together. With a loud bang, rocks and soil shattered and fell to the ground. The path in front of everyone was blocked. Yu Na Na is worried, he's dead, the passage on this side has also been blocked. Suddenly, a golden light blew away the rocks in front. Turning back to see how Lan's hand emitting energy. You spread your wings, let everyone hold on to them, everyone get on, don't worry, I'm a professional driver, it's okay. Then, suddenly, Hao Lan Yan flew like lightning, leading everyone away. The sound of the system echoed in my ears, my eyes only had 10 seconds left. 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, accordingly, Hao Lan Yan increased his speed and rushed forward. When there were 5 seconds left, Tula turned around and asked her sister, Sister, what should we do now? Tu Mai's eyes looked straight ahead, full of confidence and said, Now we can only trust Lan Yan anymore, never mind. With four seconds left, Tu Ka panicked and looked at the fire that was getting closer and closer, screaming in fear, I don't want to die here. Hao Lam Yan reminds everyone, little devil, don't move around, you're about to overturn the car. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, the sound of the system echoed in my ears, time ran out, my eyes lost their power. Accordingly, the eye disappeared, and everyone lost their support and fell down. Right now, Hao Lan Yan moved into his own space, only having to go into space to pause. The system pops out a notification, congratulating the host on defeating the strongest evil in this area, winning 50 billion, and getting the chance to draw a big mysterious prize. Looking at the reward, Hao Lan thought, could it be that they have? Okay, can't waste the opportunity they have created. Hao Lan Yan ordered the system, drew a mysterious prize, and started walking. The system raised its hand and pointed up. A lucky camera appeared. Hao Lan Yan reached out and pressed the spin button. The lucky camera rotates continuously. A moment later, the camera also slowed down, and the arrow bar slowly stopped. Hao Lan Yan looked at the reward in surprise. Boom! A huge explosion broke out, black smoke covered a corner of the city. Fan said he worriedly looked in the direction of the explosion, which was the location next to the restaurant. Tuatan tried to contact Hao Lan Yan, nothing will happen to Hao Lan Yan. Right under the explosion, a door suddenly appeared in midair. Tuatan raised her head in surprise, this is it. A white smoke flew out, the scene was extremely unreal. The door opened, an arm stretched out, the arrogant blue man wearing a jacket, full of style walked out, everyone, everyone's arrogant blue man has returned. But before it was cool for three seconds, a group of people rushed out and pushed the overbearing blue man to the ground. Everyone nearby quickly shouted and quickly dodged. Hao Lam Yan fell down, followed by four girls pressing on him, a very happy image. Above, Tu Tian hugged Tu K with one hand and held the rope with the other hand, slowly lowering it. Fan Bao jumped out, excitedly saying, Everyone is okay, that's great, but what's wrong with that traditional door? Hao Lam Yan lay on the ground, looking very happy and said, This is a very good question. Return to the time before, when Hao Lam Yan stood before the lucky wheel. Hao Lam Yan lost patience and coldly snorted, Hum, no matter how fast the speed is, it's just a joke in front of me. After determining the target, Hao Lam Yan immediately pressed the record button. The arrow stopped at the mysterious big reward box. The system excitedly shouted, Wow, the host's luck is really great. Then, a huge door fell right in front of the blue man's face, he exclaimed in surprise, this is it. The system behind explained that among the 99 saviors, he was the second person to win the mysterious big prize of this arbitrary door. Hao Lam heard this and had some doubts in his heart, the second person, too, so the first person is. The system introduces the function of this mysterious door, just when you open the door, think of someone you know, the door will automatically take you to that person, but remember, this magic weapon is only for one day, used three times. Hao Lan Yan studied the door carefully, thinking about the scene in his mind, three times was enough, otherwise he would go blind, the system didn't understand, his face blankly asked, huh, he said, what? Hao Lam Yan opened the door, smiled brightly and replied, I said three times is enough, I will get everyone out of danger. On this side, the group of people are falling into the fire pit. 
One arm reached out to hug Tiu Ka's waist. Tiu Tian hugged Tiu Ka with one hand, the other held Yuna Na's hand. But the situation is not very good. Hateful, I'm about to not be able to stand it anymore, but oh her straps. But those people had no one to hold on to them, so they fell more and more into the fire pit. During the emergency, Hao Lan suddenly jumped out and shouted loudly, everyone quickly entered the door. And just like that, instead of falling into the pit, everyone fell into the door of the blue man. Everyone went inside, the door closed, then disappeared into thin air. In the end, I used the arbitrary door to rescue everyone safely, pressing on Hao Lan Yan. Tu Mai quickly explained, Lam Yan, it wasn't my intention, Yu Na Na was also embarrassed, said, I didn't mean it either. Hao Lan Yan's face is stupid, as expected, there is still happiness in not dying in great tribulation. Hao Lan Yan's kind appearance rubbed the two people's heads to comfort them, it's okay, I'm the savior, it's okay for me to be a cushion for everyone. A cracking sound rang out, a fierce looking little tear appeared, the scared blue man quickly said, calm down, it's not easy for everyone to escape danger, I was just joking for fun. Little La told Hao Lan Yan's head, this look of mine seems like a joke, Hao Lan Yan screamed, save my life, the little beauty next to me did not forget to remind, Little La, just be gentle, Little La immediately protested, if he doesn't teach this lustful guy, he will definitely be as bold as heaven in the future. So what do you guys have planned next, Hao Lan Yan directed to everyone. Do you want to come with us? Chu Ka hugged Tiu Tian and excitedly said, Lak Lak and I must stay to rebuild the orphanage. Tiu Tian stood up and said, we have to fulfill M's, Du Du's wish. Fan Bao stood up and said, well, I will help too. Wu Na Na looked at everyone, as if she had something to say. Finally, Wu Na Na also spoke up, sorry everyone, I want to. Wu Na Na smiled sweetly and said, I want to go with the blue man to see the outside world. A hand reached out to hold her hand, go Na Na. Four people put their hands together, cheering for Uu Na Na together, we will always support you, let this forever be your home. Hao Lam Yan stood up and said firmly, I want to go with him to see the outside world, Na Na also felt moved and wiped her tears, thank you very much. Hao Lam Yan turned to the girls and declared, you can rest assured, everyone is free, but the end of the world is deserted and full of danger, so I decided to bring everyone there, base of fever survivors. Hao Lam Yan excitedly led the girls away, that's right, I am the savior, the girls did not hesitate to follow, young brother, you are truly our savior, so good, there, Tula looked extremely angry at this scene, humph, Tre Nam, Tumai quickly advised, Tula, don't get excited. A stream of bright red light shot up into the sky. The man holding the flare gun snorted, who needs you to come in, we have already contacted the survivor's base, the girl next to him was extremely annoyed and sneered, and was an accomplice of the evil demon kidnapper, like us, maybe you guys aren't anything good either. Tuatan said uncomfortably, ungrateful and ungrateful, your lives were saved by brother Lam. Hao Lan's face suddenly became tense, something is approaching, everyone be careful. A foot kicked out, a group of people were kicked out. A white-haired girl full of spirit came out, holding an evil ghost in her hand. The girl questioned the people in front of her, were they shooting bullets to ask for help? The man turned back, exclaimed in surprise, ponytail, cross wound, she is a zombie hunter, wormwood, the girl also said in annoyance, humph, why does it always have to be you, me? Hao Lan Yan asked somewhat confusedly, what the hell are zombie hunters? Little beauty next to him said, I heard they are golden bounty hunters, dealing with zombies in a special base for the living, leftover. The man pulled up his legs and ran away, not forgetting to say, that's what normal hunters do, Wormwood is not like that, she hunts just for fun, the girl next to her added, furthermore, she doesn't care about the life or death of the first hostage, the person next to her will be killed crazily by her, she quickly leaves this place, and after saying that, she runs away. And Guy Lo smiled disdainfully at the group of overbearing people, no wonder there were all these trash zombies nearby, it turns out, all evil demons hide here. Then, he took out a ball from his hand. The hunting game officially begins. The ball was then slammed hard onto the ground by the wormwood. Accordingly, a stream of light covered the whole place, and the other two people were therefore locked inside. It was too late, there was no time left. Tiu Tian stood up and said, We don't want to hurt anyone else, stay away from me. The little girl's eyes widened, looking at her hand in disbelief. What happened? Why didn't her powers work? Chu Ka was also surprised at this time and asked, Lack Lack, why can't my supernatural powers be activated? Na Na also shouted in panic, Me too. 
And Guy Lo explained, for you to die clearly, I use the goddess system's props, the power curtain, which can prevent all evil spirits from using skills for 500 years. How Lan Yan thought in his mind, goddess system, could it be that she means? The system now offers a mission again. The mission is to force the strongest zombie hunter card, a path, triple the reward, and a mysterious big reward. And Guy Lo throws out evil spirits, don't pretend to be stupid and stand there anymore, let's run, darlings, the hunted animal must escape to feel excited. The evil ghost kept flying towards the group of arrogant people. Hao Lam Yan and everyone stood up, ready to fight at any time, protect those little devils well, I will come and deal with that big guy. Hao Lam Yan slashed his sword, and the sound of adding money also rang out. Hao Lam Yan looked at the person in front of him and said, It seems that this older sister is the one who got the first arbitrary door. And Gai Lo said with interest, Are you the little wolf adopted by the new goddess system? Please let me find some joy. The two looked straight at each other, with an atmosphere of drawn bows and swords. I only saw a sudden sound. The two sides rushed into each other, so fast that only the remaining smoke could be seen. Chu Ka shouted in surprise, unable to see any more. And Gai Lo jumped up and punched Hao Lam Yan from above. Looking at the two sides fighting, Chu Mai exclaimed, So fast, the naked eye can't see their speed at all. Unexpectedly, there is someone in this world who can fight on par with Lam Yan. Little can trust Hao Lam Yan said, It's okay, he will definitely win. The other two objected, That's wrong, you guys don't know how scary she is. The scariest part of the road is that the stronger the opponent, the stronger she will defeat. In the blue man's eyes, his stats kept increasing, what was going on? Hao Lan Yan asked doubtfully, are your abilities constantly increasing? And Gai Lo smiled and said, rotten brother, this sister is an attribute checker. Hao Lan Yan asked, do you not receive these attribute points after checking the monsters, but directly increasing the corresponding attributes? The system now appears, explaining to Hao Lam Yan that this is the effect of the attribute check, the user can rely on their own will, at any time to distribute scores in various attribute categories. For example, now she will put her score on the ability attribute of the ability enhancement. As soon as the system finished speaking, the overbearing blue man's body immediately froze, unable to move. And Gai Lo walked over, looked at the frozen Lan Yan and laughed loudly, Rotten brother, please stand there obediently and become an ice cream. There's nothing fun about ice cream, how about we play two levels of ice and fire?